Milk. Crate. Marauder. You're rocking my universe. Hey -o. That's hot. That's hot. All right, we're looking for America's next whack packer. You know we have a whack pack. It's a very yeah. tight knit group. To get yeah. into the whack pack is very yeah. difficult. We put up five thousand dollars as a grand prize. Goldenpalace.net gave us the money. Goldenpalace.net, the internet's number one free casino game site. And we're going to bring in three finalists. We looked at the videotapes and narrowed it down to these three people. The first guy up is Dennis. He, Robin, he is a gentleman in a wheelchair, as you can see, and he's got some sort of breathing apparatus attached to him. It looks like a penis. <laughs> yeah, Dennis has got some kind of penis he sucks on <laughs> to get air into his lungs, and we're going to talk to him in just a second. We have uh, in the middle there uh, a gentleman by the name of, hold on, hold on, I'll get your name in a second, Mark. And then uh, standing next to Mark is another gentleman, and his name is Toby. So we've got Dennis. Mark and Toby. Yeah, and Mark likes to be called Bigfoot. And we, did, we used to have a Bigfoot, but he died. He died. All right, uh, what are you guys on with microphones? Are those hard wires? Okay. Check. There you go. Well, let me talk to Dennis first. Dennis, hi. How are you? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you? All right. You got you, you got the first thing a whack packer needs. What a cock. Uh, no, you've got a high voice. You've got an unusual, unusual uh, voice. You know what? Um, high pitch make, makes me look good. Yeah. How old a guy are you? I'm uh, almost 27. Almost 27. You look very young. Yeah. People say I look 17. Right. Now, well, he's in a wheelchair. <laughs> hey, leave me alone. <laughs> No, 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 I just want people to know because we're on radio. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Now, what's that uh, penis-looking thing attached to your mouth? Oh, um, well, uh, if you uh, saw the, um, the, um, the, the tape, I have three personalities. I have Dennis, which, you know, he's the conservative, the um, professional type, and I have uh, the Crazy Kenny, which is wild and crazy, and I have... Um, crazy Kenny? Crazy Kenny. Kenny, okay. Yes, and I have Denise. And Denise. Well, everybody, um, when I when I make a phone call, they're like, uh, ma'am, miss, um, Donna. Uh, and I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Are these characters or are you split personality? I'm pretty much split personality, Howard. You're saying when you become Denise, you're Denise and you forget about Dennis. Oh, yes, baby. Yeah. I'm speaking to Denise now? Uh, whichever one you want to talk to. I see. That well, would not be split personality. That would be him. Now, what the hell are you doing in a wheelchair? What exactly is wrong with you? I was um, struck by a car on a uh, s um, snowy day in um, January, and um, uh, the car hit me um, at, um, I don't know how fast it was going, but I was thrown through the air at 102 feet, and uh, I died. How old, how old were you when you got hit by a car? I was uh, seven years old. Seven oh, years old. And dear. you died. You technically died, they told you. Yes, I died. Uh, did you see any kind of afterlife? Yes, I did. What did you see? I, um... Did I you see fa fa fu fa fa -hui. No, what did you see when you died? I, I just saw the, uh, the, the, the great light, which um, to you guys would be, like, blinding, and um, this... This light, it wouldn't, it, there wasn't any hurting, there wasn't any coldness, there was um, just, um, there was nothing. And I heard a great voice say, go back, we're not ready for you yet. Yeah, I see. And and you believe that was God? Yes. God or whoever. All right. So what did he send you back for, to become a member of the web? <laughs> Evidently. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Dennis, uh, it's a sad life, and one of the things I Heck, always Howard, you know, the only time I can get a I can get a boner is take a Cialis, and it, it, it lasted for eighteen hours. So you have taken Cialis. Yes. And taken... what do you do with it when you get a boner? Do you have women? I had a girlfriend, and that's why I took it. And, well, uh, wait a second. Let me understand some. Let me understand your affliction here. You can't move your arms or legs, right? I, I have no thumbs. You have no thumbs. No, no, it's, it's just I can't move. You so. can't move at all. The only thing you no. move is you're like Christopher Reeve in a sense. Um, actually, um, a funny thing about that is uh, I was here in New York a couple of years ago, and I was at Madame Tussauds, and uh, there was this Christopher Reeve's um, statue in a chair, and yes. I parked right next to the chair, and I got looks <laughs> like you can't believe. Why? Why would people be angry with you for parking next to the chair? Well, they weren't angry. They were like... Oh, my God. <laughs> no. I guess you want to tell the president something about stem cell research. I bet you're all for it. Actually, I want to say, fuck him. Right. You want stem cell I, research. I am, I'm, I, you know, I voted for him. 
You voted for Bush and I, you're you're in a wheelchair? Yeah, and well, I didn't know at the time. So oh. I, I'm I'm like pretty much right now I'm like fuck you. Right. I mean, come on. Of course, there should be stem cell research. Maybe they'll find a cure for you. What yeah. do you got? What do you got? All your broken vertebrae and stuff. Well, the only vertebrae. Well, I had no ver broken vertebrae. I only had my C C one C two vertebrae pinched. Yeah. And um. And this did, 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 did that to you, right? It took away everything. It. Yeah, my breathing. Um. How I can't even come. You can't come. No. Would you ever consider doing a uh, stage show in Vegas as a Christopher Reeve impersonator? A fat one. Right. A fat Christopher Reeve impersonator. <laughs> Absolutely. I'd even put on the tights and everything. Yes. How did now, you get a girlfriend? Yeah. Well, now, now, take me back to not getting laid. Your penis doesn't work at all unless you take uh, medication. No. It, 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 well, um, for um, a quadriplegic, a hard-on is pretty much involuntary. So when you even when you have to take a dump, someone's got to wipe you, right? No, they have to dig me out. Oh, they take Hardy's dad. Yeah, they go get it. Oh. Well, plus they have to, Plus you what? can't even take a dump. Someone's got to just stick their hand up your ass and pull out a dump. Yeah, pretty much. Wow, is that embarrassing, or you just don't care? Uh, well, um, some of my nurses are pretty cute, pretty hot. <laughs> so I, you like it? Does the room stink when you do that? I don't. Really, I don't very much like it. Right? Does it smell the whole place? I have to light up a candle. Right, just to get the stink out. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do? You call for them and you say, "Hey, I think I might have to go." Or you don't even know. Um. Usually I get a suppository. I'm on the computer for a little while, and um. That'll do it. And um, you know, then I call them in. I'm like. Okay, I think I'm ready, and uh, well, they have to get me ready for the day. So, so they, they do that once a day. Yeah, yeah. No. So pretty no, much every other day. Every other day. So pretty much, you can't even tell when you're ready. They have to rummage around in your asshole until they find something. Yes. Yeah, hey, okay. Is it possible for him to go involuntarily? Like, if they don't get him for four days, will it just fall out? Well, no, no, not no, not really. No, it would never come out. So what would happen if somebody didn't get you for like five or six days? It gets ever... hard, and then it becomes almost impossible to get out. Hey, talking from the nurse, yeah. <laughs> That's right. So what happened? You had a girlfriend? How did you get a girlfriend? Well, um, I was involved in Syracuse in the um, advocacy um, awareness place. And, um, well, actually, I was an AmeriCorps um, member. And, um, well, um. I met this girl. She had CP. Is she hot at all? I thought so. Yeah. With CP, can you be hot? There's hot CP chicks, right? Oh, yeah. What, does she just walk a little fucked up? No, she's in a chair, actually. There's different levels of um, CP. CP. Yeah. Hey, I took care of a CP kid. He was in a chair. I ran right the hell out of there. I couldn't handle it. Uh, how the hell did you take care of a kid with CP? I didn't. It lasted three hours, and I ran away. He played a record, then left. Yeah. You know, you know, I found, you know, I found with dating her and being with the advocacy group that people with CP, they have no idea that they're drooling all the fucking time. How did you? How did you have <laughs> sex with a girl? That you? How do you get into the bed to have the sex? Well, she was pretty much immature. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, and I've been like this like twenty freaking years. So, um, she had no freaking idea about what sex was so she thought well with us laying naked and with um my monkey um positioning her that that was sex your monkey you have a monkey that helps you i had a beard i have a bearded monkey that goes with me everywhere <laughs> really wait a second you have a <laughs> monkey <laughs> that goes with you and she thought the monkey was going to position you so you could have sex with her well he's my nurse yeah yeah do you understand? Uh, yeah, he's joking. He's being he's being funny, right. and he's saying that he thought that she thought that if the nurse positioned him on the bed naked, that that was sex. I see. Yes. What's the monkey reference? That's what he calls his nurse. Oh, the guy that pushes him around. He told me not to use his name. Okay. I see. All okay. right. So okay. I, but I do joke around that he's my bearded monkey. So okay. you went to your That's monkey. horribly racist. Yeah, you went to. Your... Hey, does anybody want to spank my monkey? Wait a second. Let me understand something. Sorry, because I got to move on to the other two guys. We got to decide. We're fascinated. I'm really fascinated about. though. I hope I do get to the other two guys. But um, what you're saying is, you laid down on the bed. Yes. Uh, you had your, your nurse put you down on the bed. Yes. You, he undressed you. You laid yeah. there naked. You uh -huh. took a Cialis and your boner uh, erupted. She, she pulled on my crank for uh, a little while, and I, was, I, had a, I had a boner for 18 hours. Could you feel anything? Nothing. No, no but um, my monkey said it was quite easy, easy to sat, me. And she sat down on your uh, boner? No, she, no, she doesn't. She, she, she hand-jobbed him. She hand-jobbed you? Uh, yes. And did anything come out? No. Nothing comes out. No. Oh, isn't that frustrating? Well, well, you don't feel it, though, do you? Oh, no. Why do you want to oh, yeah, have sex if you can't feel anything? 
It, it would just be worth it, okay? Yeah, it just, it, do you like the idea of it? Hey, I've, I've even had prostitutes. <laughs> really? Yes. You, you've hired women to have sex with them? Yes, in, uh, in Atlantic City. And do, uh, white chicks, black chicks? Uh, the first year, white chick, and uh, the second year, a black chick, and a black chick rocked my word for for three freaking hours. Really? She sat down on your Cialis induced hard on and 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 uh, and jumped up and down on it. Actually, at that time, I wasn't taking Cialis. She, you know, she got me pretty hard. She got you hard without Cialis. Yes. How'd she do that? If you don't feel anything. I can, I can feel all over my body. It's just oh really? Yes. Boy, how great are whores? Exactly. I mean, look, can we just say God the bless? Same. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Wow. You got it already. What is that, uh, Bigfoot? I know what whores are about. It is because I had one from New York, it is, and I double tag teamed her. It is. Hey, can I tell you wow. something, Bigfoot? I figured we'll, this kid was a shoe in to win, but just hearing your we'll voice. We'll get to you in a moment. I'm almost done yeah, with this you kid. Know what? You wow. know what? I have to, I have Wait to, when you hear some of my stories. All right, I, we'll get I, to have to, I have to argue about that. What? I mean, I was all over the city last night looking for a whore, and, um, you know, I even asked these two black guys, and uh, they were going to set me up. But the one whore was coming from at, um, New Jersey, and she wanted six, $600. No. No. Sorry, I took a little long with her. You, know, how... <laughs> you fucker. If two black guys can't find you a whore, who can, right, buddy? Yeah. No. And, uh, you know what? She, um, he called back saying that she was going to um, come down for $600. I don't make that much. I can't even afford serious uh, serious radio. Do you have a do you how do you get serious radio though? I um um I listen to it on my way to work in Rome. I see. I'm I, a mentor and um a mentor. Yes. What is that? is that the uh, a horse with a unicorn that comes out of its head? No. I was a mentor. <laughs> Isn't that half horse, half human? No, that's a unicorn. Oh, unicorn. What is that? What are those called? Centaur. Mentor. Centaur. Mentor. What's a mentor? A mentor is somebody who who uh, tries to influence somebody to do something good. Oh, I thought a minotaur. Yes. I am helping these young men try to um, An inspiration. get a life. I Tell them where to get whores? No. Uh, yeah, I, I do that too. You have feeling in your penis. Yes, I do. You can feel if I touch your arm. Yes. Okay. I can feel if you touch all over. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you had any I, feeling. And if you want to bring uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. in to do a lap dance, I'm all for that. Are you gay as well? <laughs> um, Denise is gay. Or she's, you know, Denise. So Denise is a woman, so yes. he, would, right. he would enjoy that. You're not she gay. She's that. a heterosexual woman. Yes. That's right. Okay. So, all right, Dennis, we have a good idea. We're going to have to vote on yeah, these three guys. Yeah. Only one but guy Dennis? can win. Well, only one guy can win the $5,000 grand prize from GoldenPalace.net. I'm going to uh, turn my attention now to a gentleman named Bigfoot. Yeah. How are you, fine. Bigfoot? I'm fine. Well, we certainly need a Bigfoot in the uh, whack pack, I'll tell Why you that. Why is he Bigfoot? He's not that tall. What I'm size pretty foot? tall. It is. I'm six four. It is. I weigh two hundred and <laughs> two hundred and two hundred and eighty pounds. And I walk through the Bally House Motel flower bedded. What size is your foot that you call yourself <laughs> Bigfoot? Size fourteen triple E. All right. Why so are we continuing guy. the contest? <laughs> You'll see why in a minute. <laughs> Uh, Mark, it says here you're a schizophrenic and you suffer from sleep apnea, which, yes, uh, which means what? I've died 47 times in one night in my sleep. You die in your sleep. I've heard of this. Yes. And there's no way to fix this? No, there's no way to fix this. So the only you... way to fix this problem uh -huh. is you take <laughs> air and blow it up to your nose. Is, and the only problem with that would me, it makes my nose burn, it does, because of the air. You don't play chess, do you? <laughs> no, I don't play chess at all. all what right. is it for nine? <laughs> Uh, you well, say, well, he said he knew something about prostitutes. Yeah, what do you know about prostitutes? Well, I know about prostitutes. I had one from Vegas, it is, and she came up for two weeks, and I had the best time with her that you could ever imagine it is. Now, what do you mean schizophrenic? You have multiple personality disorder? Yes, I have multiple. What is the matter, Artie? <laughs> Artie's having a fit. Artie, you're going to be one of the judges. What are you doing? Oh, Jesus, I think I've already won now. I, I want to go get drunk with this guy. <laughs> Uh, have you ever, have you ever, <laughs> have you ever, uh, have you ever wished on a star? Yeah. Now, what does it mean, schizophrenic? Hey, do what you it hear means things? is I got more personalities in me than you can ever imagine even on your head. Wow. Schizophrenia doesn't mean I that. can have people throw rocks at me. And uh -oh, they, one of our whack packers just died. What's the problem over there? What? What is that? Horny beeper. Sorry. 
It's your beat. Right. Let well, the this... guy have a chance, will you? Well, hey, yeah, you, this... you had your chance. Hey, this guy with the deep voice, he's fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Denise? Yes, that's Denise. Hey, anyways, I had this friend... <laughs> I think that was the shit beeper where the nurse has to come in. And <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. If you become a whack packer, let me just ask the first guy for a second. Will you have your nurse come in here and pull the turds out of you? Oh. Absolutely, if you want me to. Wow, hey, you know what? I'll that even is have, a selling point. I'll even have, I'll have him pass me. You know, so weird. It's like it's like we don't know about what's going on with him. So he just started shaking, and Will just jumped back. What, what was weird. going on? What's you that want, shaking? You want to hear the rest of this? Yes, I do want to hear the rest. <laughs> don't of interrupt. This. All this right, I, I have sorry. a big foot. We'll get back to you, brother. <laughs> don't worry, pal. <laughs> I I have a room up at the Border Motel up in Derby. It is. <laughs> yes. He refused to clean my room. It is because I. I have coffee all over the place, ash, cigarette ashes and everything. He's so scared of me, he even is so scared to come up and clean the room. All right, let me understand. <laughs> do you hear voices? Yeah. Yes, I do. Uh-huh. Do you hear a voice laughing at you right now? That's already oh, that's Yeah, real. I can hear the one on the other side of you, you there want, laughing up the store. Why do you want to be a whack packer? Do you just want the money or you want to be... No, I, I'm... I'm going through a very rough situation right now right. because I got a very lengthy, oh, a, le a lengthy criminal record at least. Are you kidding? From B and E, breaking and, and entering. Yes, yeah. breaking and entering, <laughs> disorderly conduct, <laughs> uh, sticking my hand through broken windows. It is. And, uh, Why would you rob people? You seem like a nice man. Why would you? That do was that? back in my younger age. Uh, back in my younger age. How much uh, prison time did you do? 18 months, the longest time. Yeah, were you in prison with hardcore prisoners? Yes, did hardcore prisoners. Were you ever raped in any way? Did anybody ever have sex? Raped? Yeah. So he, he, he tried to play with my penis. He uh, tried to play with your penis. These are desperate some, men. Some of the other inmates. Anyone who would play with your penis must be desperate. <laughs> yeah, you were desperate, all right. Are you considered slightly uh, impaired mentally? He said yes, he's no, I mean, uh, I'm like a slow learner. Right. I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I do learn something, I learn it very well. I bet. Uh, because can you play I chess? took a driver's test, it is, <laughs> and I scored 100 just a member in the whole test through the whole entire thing. A driver's test it was? <laughs> yes, did a driver's it, test. Did you get it to school? I mean, did you go to college? or uh, uh, special school. Special school. Short How yellow bus. How long have you been a yeah, yeah. Old... In other words, when you went to school, you didn't switch classrooms. The classrooms stayed the same. Yeah. While the other kids would move around. Yeah, I'm the Me one too. who would make yeah. Fun of them and stick pencils up my nose and look right. like now, when you, now, now, when you were in prison, you said that the other prisoners played with your penis. Right. What, why, why would they do that to you? What was going because on? Because you were all hot and bothered, it is, and he thought I had a big wang, it is, and seeing I have a size 14 inch shoe. Did you have sex with this man? Did he jerk you off? Did he do something? Oh, he just kind of sucked on my cock, it is, oh, and yeah. uh, <laughs> wait, 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 waited me to me to put a little juice in his mouth. Right. I think I think that guy's the next whack pack. How does, how does somebody force you to do that? Were you forced to do that? I weren't forced to do it. I was kind of uh, <laughs> leered into it. I, uh, I'm one of these people. I, uh, I I get leered into anything yeah. so, so, somebody does to me. It's easy to trap you. Where did you learn how to speak? If somebody Tim told Sabian? me to go jump off a bridge, yeah. I'd probably go do it. Oh. I don't think Bigfoot's the next whack pack. The guy who blew Bigfoot. <laughs> uh, can we find him? Well, you say you do have a lot of sex. You say sometimes you do have to pay for it. And uh, Well, when is he not paying for it? Right. Have you ever not paid for it? Oh, well, I've done my share of not paying for it either. Right, good for you. Right. Right. Was good. that the second jail term? <laughs> and you say no, that you... weren't the second jail term, no. There are female Sasquatches. I've seen specials. <laughs> <laughs> and you two had a hard <laughs> You two had a horrible experience with a car. You were dragged 80 feet by a car, right? Yeah. yeah. On my back, it is, and I ripped the car, the, the person out of the car. It is. <laughs> well, I was hanging on to the door handle when you had the old fashioned door handles in yeah, it. Right, right. Luckily, I had a leather jacket on. Right. Luckily. 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 Yeah. And you lived. And I lived. It is. The back tire almost ran me over. It is. Now, oh. How, how did you get in this contest? Did someone submit you for it? Uh, yeah, yes. Somebody admit me. Mike Gallup. Mike knows me. you personally, and he said, boy, you would be perfect in the whack pack. Yes. Have that's how he done, did it. Have yes. you ever Good. done drugs? Drugs? Uh-huh. 
Uh, I used to. I don't anymore. He what did you him. used to do? I used to do everything it is. I could do uh, a lighter fluid in a plastic bag with toilet paper. and really? make Did light, someone explain to you that that's not a drug? I know it's not a drug. You would do lighter it, it, fluid in a plastic bag. And what right. would you do with this lighter fluid? Would you snort it or drink it? or what would you, Snort it. it is. You would snort lighter fluid. Hold it over your nose and oh, mouth wow. it is. No kidding. And, and it you, does. And you, and you get a big high off it. it is. And what and, would it do to you? It would make you euphoric? No, it, what it did it is I looked at a roadrunner on the side of the car it is, with those stickers it is. Yes. And I thought my head was pointed. Right, you thought you were a roadrunner. Yeah, I yeah. thought I was a roadrunner. All right, listen, you're well, very Well, you know, good... that stuff does damage brain cells. You're south. kidding. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this guy was a, a master, grandmaster chess player before uh, that happened. Listen, <laughs> you're good, and so is the guy before you. We're going to have a tough decision. Yeah. Bigfoot yeah. and Dennis have gone so far. Artie, it sounds like you're really intrigued by Bigfoot. Yes, I am. I, I, I like yeah, Bigfoot. The first guy's great, but Bigfoot, uh, you know. I have right. one more question. When was he diagnosed with schizophrenia? Uh, I was born with that. Oh, okay. All right. And uh, that means multiple personality, I guess. And yes, also, yes, mostly personalities. All right. Is there a girl <laughs> inside of you? Uh, no, it's no girl in me at this. Right. No. I'm all guy at this. All but right. even when you were in prison, uh, you don't think you're gay because you let the guy... Suck? I don't think I'm gay at this. Uh, I, I'm just one of those gigolos. I see. <laughs> I will go out with anything, anything... Will you will you feel bad if you beat this quadriplegic guy? I mean, I mean, I know that I it, won't feel bad about beating anybody. All right, good enough. I'm here for myself. At this. What is that, Dennis? I I said, uh, oh come on, beat me up. I've been looking for a good fight, even though I can't swing. <laughs> let's let's now. I want to give oh, our third candidate bigger boys than he has. All right, thank you, a Bigfoot. Now our third candidate is named Toby. <laughs> Toby is a star, a genuine movie star. I recognize you, actually. Yeah, from, from Toby Radloff, genuine nerd from American <laughs> Splendor, which is my best-known role. Yes. Wow. Were you in other movies besides American Splendor? Yes, I was in the movie Killer Nerd back in 1991. <laughs> my friend Wayne Harold from Lurid.com produced it. It is his first project. All right. Does every movie he in have the term nerd in the title? Uh, there was a bride, a killer nerd, that was made one year after that. Do you consider yourself a nerd, or do you find that an insult? I, I consider it an honor, because I was picked on a lot when I was in junior and senior high. A lot of the friends I hung around with were considered nerds. Were people mean to you? Is that the problem? Uh, Basically, people were mean, but I sort of like tried to shrug it off. I had problems coping with it at first, but I eventually learned how to shrug it off. Do you realize you're different? Do you understand that you're a little bit different, or do you, do you not get it? I always understood that I was different, and I am proud of, proud of, proud Where do you of the fact. Is he a little slow? Are you slow? Not as slow as some people. Right. But you, do you have a, a, were you in the slow class? Like <laughs> no, I was in normal classes. You were in normal classes? Yeah. Where did you go to school? <laughs> Bedford High School, Bedford, Ohio. So you, you graduated high school? Yeah, 1977. Were you ever so mad at the other kids that you wanted to go <laughs> Columbine on them and shoot them up? Or I had those thoughts at one time. The closest thing I'd say would be when I went after a kid with a hammer in shop class. Yes. And I and the teacher stopped me before anything could happen. What right. had he done? What did that kid do? The done? guy was harassing me to the point where I couldn't take it anymore. Was he giving you noogies? What did he do specifically? Uh, basically he was calling me a lot of crude names. What was the worst name he called you? Drug pusher. Drug pusher? <laughs> yeah. You because, think that would be sort of cool actually. Yeah, if... because I was so anti drug and oh. I'm still so anti drug I never, the, probably the most harmful thing I'd ever done was take a dose of NyQuil before going to bed after having a cold. And even that upset you. Right, because the NyQuil really knocks you out. Why would he call you drug pusher? I never really had any idea because some people thought I was weird. Other people <laughs> thought I was stupid. Other people thought I was crazy. People can be mean, can't they? Yeah, people... Especially teenagers can be mean. Teenagers, what do they pick on you? Do they pick on me a lot? And ironically, when I went to the class reunions later on, <laughs> a lot of people that used to pick on me are my friends now. Because you're in the movies. Yeah, of course. That's the way it works. Same with me. So he's yeah. of normal intelligence. What does he do besides acting? Can you make any money doing anything? I work at a veterans hospital. I 
been there for 26 years. That's where I met Harvey P. Carr for the first time. And Harvey, of course, is the uh, star. Harvey's the subject of American Splendor, the yeah. comic book, and American Splendor, the movie. <laughs> and I'm still friends with Harvey P. Carr. Are your parents like you, or are they, are they disappointed in you? My parents are proud of me, my mother and my stepfather. I never knew my real dad. Right. He ran out of town? He, ran out, he got my mother pregnant with me and ran out. Right. I understand that. So this is a big deal. How did you come to our contest, America's Next Whack Packer? Did someone volunteer you for this? Uh, Wayne Harold, the guy from Lurid.com, submitted the genuine nerd documentary DVD. Yes. I see. I see. Okay. Now, is he in a relationship? Are you a married man? I'm single and gay. Oh, oh you're, you're gay? gay? Yeah. Have you ever been intimate with a, a man? I have a few times, yeah. You, what I got a boyfriend him? who lives in Columbus. And, and, and how did you meet this guy? On the internet? High school. High school. Yeah, we. I met him in eighth grade, actually. And and when did you begin sexual relations? I'd say after we just basically hugged and then <laughs> sex didn't come to later on. Did you know you were always gay? or? Just... I've known about that since I was 12 years old. Right. And, uh, and, and now what do you do? What types of activities are your favorite to uh, engage in with a man? Basically, just safe sex, playing around, hugging, kissing. Uh, jerking each other off? Yeah. You like do that? Do you have trouble finding men? Not really, because I mean, I'm... I mean, I am in sort of a relationship, so I don't uh, go look them. Are you ever a bottom? Do you ever take it in the uh, behind? I have, but it's painful. It is too painful, and you yeah. won't go there anymore. Right. Will you put a penis in your mouth? I have in the past, yeah. Yes. And, and you've swallowed the, the... I have, yeah. What's that stuff called that comes out of it? Uh, it's called jizz, cum, spooch, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Right, and you have swallowed that. I have, yeah. Right. I remember from the movie you like White Castle hamburgers. Do you still love White Castle hamburgers? Still love them, yeah. That's right. your favorite? But I don't need them as much because I am trying to take a few pounds off. <laughs> well, I imagine when you get naked in front of your lover, he wants to see you buff and uh, with a six-pack. Yeah, he wa of, of course he wants, but that's yeah. going to be a while. Right, you're working on it. You know what we heard about him? What? Weird that he's got like a huge penis. Is that right? I'd say about eight inches. How do we know that? How do you even know that, Gary? Uh, the guy who made the movies told me. Not that they've done anything. He just has, has I guess he just told us. You have an eight-inch penis. Uh, pretty much. Um, there was a scene in Aberration Boulevard. It'll show up as an Easter egg on the DVD when it comes out. <laughs> There's a scene where I'm dressed in a diaper. Yes. And I cry like a baby, act like a baby in this movie. Wow. And I hire a teenage prostitute change my diaper and I'm like crying like a baby I got a pacifier in my mouth and I would say pee 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 and the prostitute would say if little corky if you want me to change little corky's diaper big corky's got to pay me fifty dollars corky's the name of the character in the movie and then I say poo 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 and then the uh, prostitute would say if you want to change my if if I want to change little Corky's shitty diaper. It's a hundred dollars. Right. Yeah. All right. She so. tells the story more like Tim. Yes, she does. Okay. Now look, here we have Jeez, three how gentlemen. How do we vote? This is going to be very hard. All three of these gentlemen, in my opinion, and this is my professional opinion. I've been at this game for a long, long time. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mr. Stern. Sorry? I know you have Mr. Stern. Yes, do you have any idea how many years I've been doing this? No, I don't. I know I've been watching you for quite a few years. Toby, do you know how many years I've been doing this? Uh, I know you've been on free radio before you went to Sirius. So it must, must have been at least 20 years. At least 20 years. Yeah. That's the correct answer. Yeah. That's absolutely right. So I've uh, been around the game. I know my whack packers. Yeah. All right. Uh, I would say that all three of you are excellent candidates. I am very pleased with what I am seeing here. Well, one more question for Bigfoot. How old is he? How old are you, Bigfoot? I'm 48 years old. 48 wow. years old. And, and what about you, Toby? How old are you? I'm also 48. All right. And I know how old Dennis is because he told me already. He's in his 20s. Okay. Hey, you're welcome. Uh, you're welcome there. Well, all three of you are excellent candidates, but it is time to decide who gets the $5,000 and who is a new member of the WAG Pack. Um, I'm sorry? Drum roll. Okay, drum roll. <laughs> I'm ready to vote. All right, let's... Uh, Toby, do you have some sort of uh, syndrome or something? I mean, it's a very, Toby, do you have some sort of weird... Uh, I mean, because it's a very... A, yeah. You're an unusual guy, you know what Condition. I mean? Yeah, some people say Asperger's, but I never really heard of Asperger's Asperger? until... Is that what you the gay Asperger's? thing? Asperger's? Asperger. As, no, Asperger syndrome. It's like has to do with some kind of, you know... You know, nervous tick or something, but I never really I was see. professionally diagnosed. It just that some fan Lucky had you. suggested it. All right. And and uh, and as I said, I never was professionally diagnosed. I mean, I have seen 
psychiatrists and psychologists in the past, but I hadn't seen a I see. shrink in years. Gary, go ahead. Asperger's is supposed to be this sort of odd form of autism, but one of the things right. that comes with it is you're supposed to be almost like Rain Man, really, really good at one particular thing. Oh, what are you really, really good at? Are you a great uh, Yeah, I'm player? a great storyteller. I'm a great... <laughs> yeah, I, sometimes I have a, a weird take on things like... Yeah. One thing that was brought up on the DVD was truth in advertising, where I would, like, make up fake commercials for various products. I've got a quick question, though. I'm first. a great breakdown. Before, sure. before you even go on with this, because we're running out of time, yeah. all three of you, I'm going to ask you to answer this question, and I'm first going to go to Dennis. Dennis, why do you want to be a whack packer? Well, um, I, I'll pretty much do anything. And my, I had this idea uh, last year that I wanted to start. A uh, production called uh, Disabled Porn. And, disabled uh, Porn? Yes. You're going to volunteer for Disabled Porn? Yeah. So that so that kind of activity would be enhanced if you were a whack packer. Let's go to Bigfoot. Why do you want to be a whack packer? Why I want to be a, ha a whack packer is because I want to find myself my own apartment building and run it. it is. All right. Very that good. way, people for, people for the homeless it is. Anybody would be lucky to live in your apartment building. And let's go to Toby. Toby, why be a whack packer? Because I've always had an unusual take on things. All right. That's a good enough answer for me. There's a $5,000 grand prize, America's Jeez. Next Whack Packer Contest, sponsored by GoldenPalace.net. All three of you are deserving, but we can only pick one. Please, no tears if you don't get picked, all right? Everybody's got enough of a sad life. All right, no tears. And I'm a good sport. All right, let's go first to Gary Delabate. Gary, it, can, you can only pick one. Yeah. Tell me quickly why I'm I running got, out of time. Cuba Gooding Jr., I, who won an Academy Award, is sitting out in the sitting green room. He's sitting out there, wait. He's in the green room, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can tell you really quick. <laughs> We've got a, a, <laughs> a Middle Earth person. <laughs> no, he's Yoda. Yes. It, really quickly, the guy in the wheelchair has a very interesting voice, but other than that, he's you know he's of normal intelligence, interesting stories. Yes. Uh, Toby, I think, has a very funny voice. Toby, of course, from the movie American right, Splendor. Right. But what's the gentleman's name in the middle? Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Bigfoot, for me, is like the clear-cut winner. He's got the voice. He's got the personality. So all the elements are there. All right. So, Gary, you have cast the first vote toward the $5,000 in a permanent place in the WAC pack, a position that is coveted by all. The first person with one vote is Bigfoot. How do you feel about that, Toby? Uh, congratulations. All right. Uh, he didn't win yet. He, he didn't win yet. Him. Dennis, yeah. how do you feel about that? Are you a little upset? Yeah, I'll challenge him. All right. Well, we're going to hope that you get some votes on the board here. All right. I'm going to go to Robin Quivers. It's next. a shame we can't take them all yes. because yes. they all deserve to well, be in the wagon. I pack. think they're all going to be our friends for a long time, but only yes. one can win. Only one can win, and only one can be an official member of the WAC pack. It's very close in my mind who I would vote for, but I think I'm going to go with Bigfoot. Robin says Bigfoot. Before I go any further, Thank I'm going to take a few fun. phone calls to see what other people have. Two votes, Bigfoot. Let's hope it's not a runaway for the other guys. Let's go to Brian on the air. Uh, yeah, you know, if you guys got to vote for Bigfoot, there's really no choice here. I mean, he's obviously the clear-cut winner. He's the funniest guy there. All right, that's your opinion. Let's go to Captain Jenks. Hey, good morning, Howard. You know, um, number one made me throw up, actually. He made you throw up? What, at what me, point? I threw up down my shirt when he was talking about jerking off and all that stuff. All right, let's go to Zolar. Zolar, who do you vote for? Yeah, although I want to see the one in the wheelchair get shit picked out of his anus, Riley Martin is history. Bigfoot is the ultimate whackbacker I've ever heard. All right, Bigfoot, are you saying could even have his own radio show here? Totally. All right, let's go to High Pitch Eric and see what he says. High Pitch, you're part of the Whack Pack. Who would you like to see join you? I want to see that guy Dennis. He's got the same voice as I do. You like that Dennis? Uh, has you're voting. Hey, voice. thank you, High Pitch. Hey, Dennis, how are you, buddy? I am doing good. I wonder. Hey, yeah, at least we I match. Know. I want to wish you good luck, man. Okay, thank you. All right, let's yeah, You're like a hat and drunk. All right, All high right. pitch casting a vote for you, but the only votes that counts are the ones in here. I'm going to go now to Artie Lang. Artie. Well, you know, it's rare on this show when we have these contests, I have a definite, <laughs> definite answer. Uh, Dennis, you're the, you're a great guy, and um, I think you should, uh, you're, you had a horribly unfortunate thing happen to you, and I can't get that out of my head. You're a great person. We're going to check in with you from time to time. You should go home and enjoy the show. Oh, I will. Toby is awesome, but he's been discovered already. Right. You know what I mean? Like, he's already famous, and I think the Howard Stern Show should be the person to introduce this person to America. And 
I got to make it unanimous so far. It's Bigfoot. I mean, he <laughs> is he's, he's, he's hilarious. He's a find. He's and a find. We, we have a chance to introduce him to the country. Yeah. <laughs> so Bigfoot it is for me. Howard, I just noticed something really amazing. I'm seeing a runaway here. Yeah, go ahead. Bigfoot went to open his mouth, and it took about five seconds for the skin on his lips to part. Yes. You know what I mean? Like they get stuck together. What is that? Do you have dry lips? Yeah, dry lips. Yeah. Uh, dry. Yeah. Yes. Just another plus in his corner. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to Pete, who's in Palm Beach and wants to weigh in on this. Bigfoot is the clear winner, but we can fly that other fucker with balloons. Who are you talking about, little Dennis over there? Little, little oh, Sagan come on, on pick on um, Eric the Midget. Right. Come on. Let's go to Fred Norris, who really understands the show, some say, better than anyone. Absolutely. I, I agree with Artie. I think uh, number three, Toby, is too showbiz for the show, quite honestly. He's, he's been he's, he's a little too slick. I hate to say it. Can you believe it, Toby? In this yeah, I crowd, believe it. Yeah, I've been, I've been in the business for like 20 years. You know, yeah. Toby, your whole yeah. life he comes on. off like really yeah. polished. To Toby, you've been picked on your whole life, and in here, you're you're too cool. This yeah, you can say that. Yeah, yeah. yeah unfortunately. Finally. And number yeah. one, uh, I'd, I'd be afraid to get a Attached to him because he doesn't look like he's in the greatest of health. We lost Cliff Pallet. We lost uh, the real Bigfoot. We lost Hank. I don't think I could stand another whack packer dropping dead. Are you here to stay? So Dennis? I'm going to say yes, you are here to number stay. Number two, yes. the retarded Al Capone, I, you know, who had, also was gay. I've been dead. I've been dead. I've jumped to death about 20 times, you know, and I've come back every time. How do you live and Christopher Reeve dies? I don't understand the difference. Well, the, you know, I have a good team. You have a very good they, team. Behind they you. take care of me. I have a bed sir right now. Oh. And um and if it gets uh, infected, well You're out of here. Yeah, yeah. I'm out of here. I I'd be, I'd be afraid I that this guy and, would be and, coming in one day and yeah, just well, you wouldn't make it. No offense to you, uh, yeah. uh Dennis, but uh, we can't have you dropping dead on us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna drop really dead on us. This is a very, very big show. I gotta have uh, lots he's of good times here. We can keep coming back to life. Yeah, you don't have do you have any bed sores? No. You do not. All right, all right. Don't just Relax here. We're going to get to this, Dennis. Don't be upset. Are you getting upset? You're no. going to be able to handle it. All so right. far, Bigfoot's gotten all yep. the votes. All right, let's go. Um, I'm going to say, uh, who's left? Me. That's it, yeah. huh? Yeah. I'm not giving Benji a vote. <laughs> it wouldn't matter at this point. What? Well, as you know, my vote counts the most. It is called the Howard Stern Show. If I was, the You vote, would overrule us all. I could overrule you all if I thought you were all mentally insane. <laughs> But, uh, guys, please don't hold it against our show. We love you all, but I have to go with Bigfoot. Bigfoot, you, oh, yeah. you've chaired it up in here. Bird. You've got the weird voice. You've got the weird way of speaking. You've you, got the weird look. You've got the weird look. Uh, people are just not going to know what to make of you. He could get better as time goes on. He's schizophrenic. It's not yeah. going to get better. Yeah, it's going to get worse. You're going to fuck up more and more. <laughs> yeah, of course I am. I could see people going to see yeah. you on appearances. Oh. Would you be willing to do an hour radio show? I could do anything you wanted me to do. <laughs> if you wanted me to stand on my head, I would be willing to do that. Are you willing to work for $5 million? Sure, uh, sure I right. will. Because some people around here complaining about their well, wages. Most of all, how well, I won't complain about my wages. Right. My biggest... Uh, Reason for picking Bigfoot, I want to see him get that apartment building. <laughs> I really do. Uh, Bigfoot, right, can you say something for me? You. It'd be helping a lot of people up in the Northeast Kingdom. There's quite a few people homeless up there. Absolutely. Uh, 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 but just so we don't feel bad for not picking Dennis, would you be willing to let us pick shit out of your ass? Uh, because we're going to miss out of that with Dennis. Absolutely. Oh, you sure, do I don't you care. Want you don't care. I'll put it even on my resume. Can you say, I love to kill deers? Oh, sure. Let me hear you say it. I love to kill deers. I like to kill deer. <laughs> I even like to eat deer meat. All right. Well, I like to kill deer. Well, first of all, let hey, me buddy, congratulate. Me. That's right. Let me congratulate Bigfoot, the $5,000 grand Our prize winner. Our new Are you going to have to split that with the guy who... Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to split that with him because uh, he rented the car for me. Do you know what half of 5000 is? Yeah, I know what 5000 is. What's half of 5000 Five hundred. All right. Ah, so when he you gets get five hundred, good for you. Yeah, he Congratulations. gets five hundred dollars. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Mister Stern. What about you, Toby? You know what half of five thousand is? Twenty five hundred. Exactly. That's the right answer. <laughs> yeah. You're too polished for this show. Yeah. Good. Good luck, Bigfoot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he can't shake your hand. He doesn't oh, move. Oh, all right. Dennis, I'll just he was pat trying, him on the back. Yeah, he, he, that's his be front. Careful. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. He, 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 he could be fragile. I, I, yeah, don't hurt him. Yeah. Hi, Dad, was, how you the doing, best buddy? move so far, you'll see it on the, your dad. the best move. I, I'm sorry, one second. I don't mean to interrupt that precious moment, but uh, the best thing I just saw was uh, Bigfoot trying to shake Dennis's hand. 
while Dennis can't move an inch. Right. That yeah. was very, Everybody very good. Knows That's it. true whack pack uh, material. And you were saying, Dennis, that you feel bad about Artie's dad. Uh, yes, I do. I feel very bad. Yes. Thanks. Yeah. I appreciate hey, it. Artie, how long did he live when he became paralyzed? He lived four and a half years afterwards. Oh my and, you God. know, a bed sore was, was a big was problem it with it. Well, one of the things. Oh, yeah. my God. I'm on a roll then. I'm 20 years. Yeah, you're right. gonna, Dude, you're going to be around a long time, man. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know, while I don't have $5,000 for you, I do have $500 cash from the new movie, The Descent. Oh, Half right. of 5,000. Right. Right. <laughs> Breathe your last breath in theaters everywhere. I have that for Dennis, and uh, I'd like to give something to Toby as oh, well. What do, we, what do we have for Toby? Yeah, I want to give him some money, too. I don't have any money for Toby. I, well, well no. we're going to get some money for Toby, aren't we? Let me try to get some money for Toby. All maybe... Right. maybe Maybe The Descent will give me a couple more bucks. All right, maybe The Descent will kick in some bucks. Toby, you know, Toby smile? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toby, let me see you smile. No, 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 no. You know, uh, I wanted to ask Toby one quick last thing. Hey, Toby, I'm I'm good friends with the kid who played you in the movie, Judah Friedland. Yeah. He's a good guy. Do you still talk to him, and did you like his betrayal of you in the movie? He did an excellent job portraying me. He was almost like his twin brother. In fact, I saw Judah Last week, he appeared at Hilarity's Comedy Club he's, in Cleveland. He's a great comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's really good stuff. He calls himself the world champion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, as a, an actor, Toby, I congratulate you on all of your success. Also, how, you, how are you, I know your community is reeling from the Mel Gibson story. How are you feeling about all of it? Uh, I could care less about Mel Gibson. Right. He's, he's <laughs> someone you don't even pay attention to. Not really, no. Right. How do you, how do you feel about the Jews? Uh, I'm friends with Jew people, so no problem. All right. And what about you, Dennis? You like the Jews? I don't even know what a Jew is. Well, you're kidding me. No, I don't. What do you mean you don't know what a Jew is? I don't know what a Jew is. Wait a minute. Let me uh, let me <laughs> rethink my vote. <laughs> Somebody at Pinky's Pennies is. Right. <laughs> Big foot, can you, so, Bigfoot, what can you tell Dennis about the Jews so he learns about them? Jewish people in there will pick garbage out of dumpsters oh. and the side of uh, street corners or bottles or whatever it is. You'll find them picking up all kinds of stuff. At so, so you're actually saying my family are Jews? Does your family pick garbage uh, and, and take money out of the garbage bag? No, not really, but oh. some of them, or quite a few of them, are scumbums. <laughs> oh, I well, that's what he basically are. Wow. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> well, a gold foot, mine. A gold mine it is. <laughs> we picked the right guy. Yeah, of course a Nazi. Nazi. <laughs> yes. Wow. Well, Bigfoot, you know, I'm going to think about your name. Because we had a Bigfoot on the show, yeah. and I was thinking... Uh, I got it tattooed my, to my arm and everything. Well, all right, I guess we we'll can't have, change his name. I was going to change it to Sasquatch, but... Uh, well, that's all right, too. Would you tattoo that on yourself, Sasquatch? I could. All right. It's the same thing. $5,000, I'll tattoo anything to me, it is. All right. Well, thank you. <laughs> I, I got to tell you, we've got ourselves America's Next Whack Packer, Bigfoot. He won $5,000. Thanks to my good friends at GoldenPalace.net, the Internet's number one free casino game site. I want to also thank Dennis and Toby for this uh, great, great contest. Yeah, well, thanks it, very much. Good luck, Bigfoot. Thank, yeah. uh, thank you, and thank you for saying that to Bigfoot. Dennis, if you want to congratulate Bigfoot, go ahead. I ain't saying nothing. Right. <laughs> oh, he's all pissed off at me. Yeah. Hey, Howard, since uh, Toby's gay, is, do you have an interest in putting him on the uh, Sibian? Uh, to I Toby, no. I mean, Toby's in a committed relationship. Yeah. I want to see that. Yeah, I'm, I want to remain committed to my friend. Well, uh, yeah, I, I don't want you cheating. Is there a marriage in the offing? Uh, maybe, maybe not. As I said, I'm... We're like 150 miles apart, oh. and we see each other off and on. Probably for the I mean, my job, my commitments are in Cleveland. His commitments are in Columbus. Uh, uh, ever make love to a woman? You ever try to make love to a woman? I had a close call once. <laughs> this is back when I was 15 years old. Yes. I was home alone. This girl who I went to high school with wanted to go to bed with me, but I can imagine how my parents would react if they were to come home and find me in bed with a woman, especially since I did not have any protection at 15 years old, I obviously could not afford a baby on a paper route income. <laughs> I see. Well, that was smart thinking. I really like you so much. Are there yeah. any men in this room that you are attracted to? I know you're standing next to Gary Delabate. You see, I never gave it any thought. You haven't thought about any of the guys no. here. What's that? I said, oh, come on, I'm paralyzed. <laughs> yeah. I, I, as I said, I'm, I am in a relationship, right. so I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Yeah, yeah. Stop teasing. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let me tell you something. Yeah. This is exciting. 
Bigfoot, congratulations. We're going to be seeing a lot more from you. You are going to be whisked off into a lifestyle you could never imagine. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. And you'll probably be on lots of shows now. You All right. You'll probably yeah. have to uh, do your own show here at Sirius Satellite, the Bigfoot Show. All right. And uh, <laughs> we are very, very happy to welcome we you to the family. We can't wait to All right. I'm more happy about... to be here. Yes. This is only scratching the surface, I'm sure. All right. All right. Thank you. And I, and I hope to hear from uh, Toby and Dennis in the future, yes. too. Yes. And care. as always, next time. <laughs> Thanks, Howard. All right. And uh, we might have to change your name. We've, we're considering Grizzly Moron, a Sasquatch, <laughs> all different names. Well, sorry? My name? Yes. we got to think of the right name. But maybe it'll just be Bigfoot and leave it at that. All right. All right. There Sounds we go. good to me. You want to make a creep? Around me, go right ahead. We were thinking about maybe, another maybe, name. Maybe we can make King Kong out of me. No, why not? King, King Kong comes to New York. I bet you were teased a lot as a kid, too. Yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah. A real lot. Another name we were kicking around is Big Guy with Weird Voice Who Got Blown by a Dude. <laughs> That's a good name. Yeah. Oh, another thing I have, I have a explosive outburst that is. I, I do things real speedy. It is. If somebody calls me out on a mission, it is. I'm right there like snap of the finger. I even had cops call me before it is uh, come up and pick up DWI people that have been dr drunk while we try, try to bribe. I right, don't use up all your material. <laughs> right you now. can drive? Yes, I can bribe. I even got my own Cadillac. Wow. Only Cadillac uh, Brom DeVille. Oh. All right. But there's a lot to learn, Robin, but we can't do it right now. I, I do know. have Cuba Gooding Jr. sitting in the next room. I want to thank these three gentlemen, these three great finalists. And I want to thank, of course, the great people at GoldenPalace.net. And I want to thank the movie, The Descent. And we'll be back right after these words. And let's all welcome Bigfoot to the family. Today on... The line. You know, Bigfoot, our new whack pack, we had him go sing Hotel California. I'm as bad as him. Like, he doesn't know one word to the song. <laughs> we said to him, sing your favorite song, Bigfoot. And he starts singing, and it's like every other word he gets wrong. This is his favorite. Yeah, this is his favorite. Bigfoot. Highway. my hair. up in the air. phony phone call he wasn't any good at that uh, he was pretty good it's just that he starts arguing with this lady and yeah, you know <laughs> what get back to gary's dad hello hey listen up at this yeah who's this this is the neighbor of this this is a neighbor of yours no it's a neighbor of yours oh of mine and who may i ask who the neighbor is brutus brutus yeah your cat keeps coming in my yard and is shitting on my bushes. I don't have cats to go into the yard. Bullshit. Yeah, maybe it was your pussy in my yard. How big is your pussy? How big is my pussy? As ah. big as your prick. How's that? Hey, my prick's pretty big it is. Well, then that's how big it is. <laughs> your cat comes into my yard again, I'm going to fuck it. You're going to fuck it? Well, I'll tell you what. You do that, okay? And right, I'm going to fuck you, too. I'm waiting for you with a 32. I got a 32-incher. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Get off the fucking phone. I'll get off the phone when you touch my cock. Talk dirty to me. Come on here, and I'll, I'll, talk, I'll talk personally dirty to you. Come on. Come on, I'm waiting for you. I'm touching my balls. I'm fingering my ass thinking about you. 
Oh, you are? Yeah. I beat the shit out of my wife. She divorced me after that. Then I went gay for a while. So now listen. <laughs> like I told you, I don't like your fucking talk to me. You better learn how to behave yourself with your mouth. Because if, if you're looking for trouble, I can give it to you. I'm tough. I love when you talk that way to me at this. Listen, Brutus. Ah. I didn't make the fucking phone call. You made it to me. Please talk dirty to me. You want me to talk dirty to you? Hold on. Brutus? Yep. All right. Now get real close to the, the phone. Get as close as you can get to it. Yep. <laughs> How'd that feel? Ah, I had the phone up my ass. You <laughs> fucked up my colon. I'm bleeding out my ass. Rub your cunt on the phone. Well, come on over. I'll show you how big my cunt is. I'll tell you. Dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I never understand why people don't just hang up. Like, why they have they to... They just get involved. They, they, they have to engage in this whole process. You know. Brutus. I, mean, I love that it is he thinks he throws yeah. into... Mm. This is your neighbor it is. <laughs> He's like a hobbit. <laughs> yeah. I got a game. Yeah, I have a game. It's the uh, the Bigfoot intelligence game. Okay. Okay. He's got to get three or five with that. Right, give, me, give me that Bigfoot yeah, I intelligence. I wonder what Bigfoot's intelligence is. Uh, I can tell you, it's probably the same as a pear. <laughs> All right, I don't see. know that for sure. It is. Is it? It is. It is. It is. All right. You know Bigfoot, the new whack packer we got. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You're gonna match up with him. You gotta play the intelligence game. Gary walked out. I don't even know how you play this, but I'll figure it out. I guess. I'll just hit a button and see. You're what happens. smart. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Want to give me a clue? Yeah, just like every other IQ game. Just going to start with a question, and you can guess whether you can answer. There's no sample question. Not with Bigfoot. We already know uh, who he is, I believe. All right, you got to get the uh, best out of five. Three out of five. Okay? Okay. Here we go. My name is Bigfoot, it is, and I'm 48 years old. And I went to school at Harper, Connecticut, till the sixth grade. Oh, only till the sixth <laughs> grade? <laughs> he's he's the best man. Oh, that's great. He, he did really go to is. college in Florida. <laughs> full sale. Oh, full sale. But uh, <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's see how well you do. How did President John F. Kennedy die? Well, will Bigfoot know the answer to that? Yes mm. or no? Yeah. All right, here we go. You say yes. He got shot. Well, oh, you look were at right. you, right on, uh, online with Bigfoot. All right, here's your next question. Name a state with the word new in it. Can he do it? Oh, yes. Yeah. A state. Will he know, let's say, New York? New York, New, new Hampshire. Hampshire. New Mexico. All right, you say Although yes. I have a feeling he might say New York City. But. Well, what do you want? To, what is it? Yes or no? I'm going to say yes. Okay, here we go. New Haven? So That's he, a city. Oh. That's a city. God, stupid. God, fuck. <laughs> all right, so, so you've gotten one right and one wrong. Okay. That's okay. You're, you're, you're doing all right. You know what? I don't think we should have let the first answer play on because you might have said he got shot by a bow and arrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. How many nickels equal one dollar? All right, there's a good oh, question. He's not going to oh. know this. Pretty easy question, don't you think? What is it, 20, Artie? It's, like easy, it's easy for us, I would assume, 20. Uh... <laughs> it wasn't so easy for me. I had to think about it. Yeah, um, guess. You're okay. guessing. <laughs> I'm, I'm rounding off. That's a good guess. All right, what do you say, no or no, yes? No, he's not going to know this. No, okay. Here we go. Uh, 20? Oh. Whoa! Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, I'm guessing. All right, you got another one wrong. Now you get into a little bit of trouble. You got to get them all right from now on. Yeah, you got to get the next two right. Okay. All right. Put, you on, put on your thinking cap. What country is cap. described as the Jewish homeland? All right. Now, the answer would be Great Neck, Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know that. New Haven? <laughs> well, the, the answer, of course, is Israel. Is, it is. Israel it is. <laughs> so, well, they're in the news. Will he know that? I'm going to say no. I think he's going to know. I think no. you're right. I don't think he'll know that. Let's see. Uh, Africa? Thank you. All right. Now you got yeah. a game. All you got to do is get the final question right, and you're going to Artie's premiere for Beer League. Great. Which, of course, opens uh, on the 15th of September in New York, Philadelphia, and Cleveland. And.
And, of course, uh, the big uh, premiere is Wednesday night at the Ziegfeld. Name those cities again. New York, Philadelphia, and Cleveland. Interesting group. And in the state of New Haven. <laughs> Here's your final question. It all comes down to this. What is a tsunami? Oh, forget it. Well, the tsunami was in the news. It was big news. Does he remember? You know, and these are sometimes tricky. Sometimes he gets things that you never think he's going to get. Right. I didn't think he'd get the JFK question. I mean, uh, how specific are we going to make him get? Like, if he says a bunch of water, is that fine? Anything close will be accepted. <laughs> that's, that's a tough one, because, I mean, you could be kind of close, but... Right, he could say Gary's teeth, and you'd say that's a sign of a tsunami. <laughs> We'll give well, him that's that another one. disaster itself. So. Well, what do you say? Yes yeah, or no? Yeah, what if he just says it's a disaster? Uh, I'll go with that. <laughs> Anything close, really? I will say You'll is a disaster. go with a disaster. Well, right. right. I'm going to say that he's going to know then, because he's going to have to have, I think he'd have some capacity there to know what that is. All right, let's find out if you're going to Artie's premiere. A tsunami is something that moves and makes a, t a tidal wave it is. Oh, yeah. he just that's the exact thing. I was afraid. The title wow. wave it is. Yeah. I was afraid he was going to say it's like like a salami, right? right. Like uh, something you eat. Right? No, uh -huh. he, he got it on the button. Well, you're going thanks to Bigfoot and your matching oh. ability. All right, Matt. Amazing. All right. Thank you. What a great game. Hold on. Well, isn't that nice, Robin? Hey, that's wonderful. I love a happy ending. I was very worried. I didn't know how that was going to turn out. I mean, he said it. I mean, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. The tidal wave it is. Matto loves Howard TV, and he loves Artie. And he'll be going to the premiere, which, of course, again, is September 15th. 15th. Oh, the no, premiere. the premiere is September. Please. Let him. He's a professional. Yeah, I know. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Thank you. And September 15th in New York, Philadelphia, and Cleveland, the movie opens. It's called Beer League. Artie Lang's Beer League. <laughs> All right. Good for you, Artie. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. You don't even know in your movie premiere. <laughs> I so think, did, did they give away all the tickets? I don't know. Because I would finish that game with, well, go ahead, what? I just want to let you know that the uh, Bigfoot CD is still in there. Yeah, the but game. I don't know if we have any more tickets. We do? We do. We do. You, you want to let this guy p p p play for a oh, uh, pair? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now you got me stuttering. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Howard. All right. Let me see here how I do this. Could this be right? Okay, let, let, let's see here. You know how it is. Best out of five? Yep, yep. Okay. Who is the vice president of the United States? Will Bigfoot know who the vice president? Um, For a pair of tickets to Artie's premiere of Beer League, I'll, Wednesday night at the Ziegfeld, and then, of course, it opens uh, in three big cities, New York, Cleveland, and Philly, on Friday. Okay, I would go with No. All right, you say no. Let's find out. Mr. Bush. <laughs> well, you got all one. All right, more. all right, all right. <laughs> okay, so you got one in the plus column. You need two more, and then you're going to the premiere. All right. People who speak French are from what country? Will he know France? I will say yes. <laughs> all right, let's find out if you're right. From Canada. Oh, <laughs> that's true. Though. He's not entirely Actually, wrong. Actually, you know what? He's true. It's true. He, 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 he um, did get it right. You're going to have to throw that question out. It wasn't yeah. specific enough. But there is French Canadian. But there's two answers. There's two right I'm answers. I'm giving it to him. Yeah. I say he's right. All right, all right. All right, you got it. So uh, you need one more and you're going. Okay. Notice we're very lenient around here. Uh -huh. Because you, our questions are vague. Actually, is Haiti, is Haiti another answer to that, too? Or yeah. yeah. Okay. That's right. A mako, a great white, and a hammerhead are species of what kind of fish? I'm going to say that he knows this. All right, you think he knows the answer is shark? Yes, I think he'll know because of a hammerhead. I think All right, that. let's see. <laughs> shark. Well, there it is. That Three was easy. Row, this guy's on his right. oh, wavelength. I, I love you guys. Robin, I think that you were the best singer. Artie, I love Fred. <laughs> All you guys, you got me to the list. 25 years uh, every day. I'm just so happy. I, uh. All right. Well, we'll see you tomorrow night. We'll all be over there with Artie celebrating his uh, premiere and the excitement of Beer League. Thank you. That sounds great. Thank Hold on. Thank you, Howard. <laughs> uh, here's three. I'm going to play you three phony phone calls, and then I'm going to let Jessica come in here and ride the Sibian for Beer League tickets because uh, she's anxious to go tonight. And I don't want to fall far behind. But here's a couple of new phone calls, brand new ones. Uh, this one features Bigfoot, our newest discovery as Whackpacker. 
We were looking for America's next big whack packer. We found it in Bigfoot, and he did a phony phone call with Richard and Sal. They call a U-Haul place. Hello. Yeah, I need a truck right away. Don't have one. You don't have one? No, I don't. Do you have storage? No, I don't. Oh, what the fuck do you have? <laughs> I got a big cock. You got a big cock? Yeah. Can I suck it? Can I beat your fucking ass? I'm going to fuck you in the ass. Okay, come on down. Why are you being a wise ass? Why are you being a fucking wise ass? Because you being one, that's why. You started this fucking shit. You called me. I'm looking for a truck, douchebag. I told you, we don't have any trucks. I'm looking for a truck to ride down by the river. I killed my wife. Look, I told you, we don't have no fucking trucks. I beat the shit out of my wife last night. I but think the cunt's dead. Come down here. I'm not your fucking block off. And I, I got a big cock and an attitude, I do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. The guy hung up. Uh, so there's Bigfoot. All right, there we go. Uh, Alice shot out of a cannon. Let's go to Bigfoot, who is in the pool as well. Bigfoot, how are you? I'm all right. I better can hear you again. Oh, when couldn't you hear us? I could hear you find the poor. All what? Right. What do you say, Robin? I don't know what's going on now. <laughs> I can hear you fine before. <laughs> All right, Bigfoot, what's uh, you actually won last week? Yeah, I know. You took the Jets getting two and a half points from the Titans. Another bet you felt was silly, Artie, and he won. Yeah. Well. You said the Jets were gay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> did I? I'm sorry. So uh, let's go to Bigfoot, who seems to be on a bit of a streak. Bigfoot, $25,000. You're one step closer to it. It's provided by BetUS.net, our good friends, 1-800-79-BETUS, or go online to BetUS.net, okay? So, yeah. All right, what do you like? I like the Patriots. All right, he's going to take the Patriots. What do you think of that, Artie? What is the uh, spread? I think of? he'll win by uh, over by six points. You think so? By, really? by a touchdown. They gotta win. The Patriots are playing the Jets, I think. Yes, they are, yeah. and they, they'd have to win. They're given seven and a half, so they'd have to win by eight, Bigfoot. Oh, you got to win by eight? Yeah, you a touchdown to won't do. Right. Oh, a touchdown won't do? <laughs> you got to win by eight. A dead down won't do? Yeah, so you want to stick with the Patriots? It's six right there on the scene. Wednesday. By Wednesday it said that. You got to look at the updated uh, lines all the time, Bigfoot. Oh. All right, well, BetUS.net, those are the lines we're going with. All right, Bigfoot. Are you keeping the Jets? You're keeping the Jets. No, he's keeping uh, the Patriots. He wants the Patriots. The Patriots. Yeah, that, that's a good bet. And the Patriots are always good. All right, so the Patriots are your team, and Bigfoot, we'll see how you do on Monday. All right. Real good. Thank you. That's uh, Bigfoot, everybody. All right, let's go over to Bigfoot. Let him make a quicker prediction, hopefully. Bigfoot, how are you? I'm all right. I'm losing <laughs> your sound. You're losing our sound? <laughs> Yeah, I barely can hear you again. Yeah, I don't know What's why. What's going on with his phone? I, I think it's I everyone's phone. What the hell's going on? Bigfoot, do you have the phone in your ass? <laughs> no, I don't. Alice, Alice seemed to hear you perfectly fine. Yeah. I, I'm not sure she heard a thing. <laughs> uh, uh, Bigfoot, you're you're doing good. You're in second place. You're one zero oh, and one. Yeah, I know I am. And that's not so bad. I mean, you you need a you win this week. You still win. Yeah. Yeah, I know I do. All right, what do you got for us? I got uh, the Titans, so uh, I want to take care of 11 points. You want the Titans? Right. Titan, yeah. He's taking the Titans, and he's getting 11 points and from the Dolphins. And don't to win by 11. All right. All right. Well, I wish you luck. All right. Don't forget, $25,000 prize, BetUS.net. Yeah, I know. What are you going to do with the money? I hopefully get a, a place to live. Nice. Where are you now? I'm still at the border motel. Oh. Yeah, he lives in a hotel. A motel. I'm sure they love motel. you there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right, all right. Good luck, uh, Bigfoot. All right. Let's go over to Bigfoot, who is very much in this contest. He is tied for last place with you. <laughs> Excuse me, he's no, in he's second not. place. He's, I, second. he's doing oh, better. Place. He's technically yeah. undefeated. Bigfoot, I apologize. You are doing very, very well. You are just crawling up Alice's ass. You are right behind her. Yeah, I know I am. And you're doing great. Sorry you, about that. Is anyone helping you with your picks, or are you doing them all on your own? Oh, I'm getting a little help with my manager reading the point sheet. All right. <laughs> but you're making the picks yourself. Yes, I'm making the picks myself. All yes. right. Who do you got this week? 
This week it is I want to bet on the Titans and I want to take their 11 points and the Cowboys have to beat it by 12. Right, that's right. Well, wow, so he's right up head to head against that. Right. right so. yeah, I have some upset news too. What's that? Uh, do you got a pen and piece of paper? Yeah. Uh, I gotta move again. Okay. And the number where you can reach me next week. Is oh, there. wait a minute. Well, wait, you don't want to give that out on the air. Let me put you off the air, all right? All right. All right. And why do you have a manager again? What are you up to? What I'm up to it is, what I'm up to it is, my manager reads the point sheet for me, it is, for me. And that's all the manager does? Yeah, I understand. Oh, he does a few other things. I got a father in Dartmouth Hospital, I do. Uh, Bigfoot is... a uh, bypass from his kidneys, it is. Uh, Bigfoot is uh, getting kicked out of his hotel. I have, yes, I why yeah. are they kicking him out? Probably because th- I got too much company coming and seeing me. Oh, he's got too much going on. <laughs> All right, Bigfoot. Good. Good luck to you. Uh, Bigfoot getting kicked out of his hotel. We're going to get his new number, and I put you back on hold so you can speak to Gary. Highway. My hair. Listen up at this. Yeah, who's this? <laughs> this is neighbor of this. This is a neighbor of yours? No, it's a neighbor of yours. Oh, of mine. And who may I ask who the neighbor is? <laughs> Brutus. Brutus? Yeah. Your cat keeps coming in my yard and is shitting on my bushes. I don't have <laughs> cats that go into the yard. Bullshit. Yeah, maybe it was your pussy in my yard. How big is your pussy? How big is my pussy? As big as your prick. How's that? <laughs> hey, my prick's pretty big it is. Well, then that's how big it is. Your cat comes into my yard again, I'm going to fuck it. You're going to fuck it? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. You do that, okay? And right, I'm going to fuck you, too. Uh-huh. I'm waiting for you with a 32. I got a 32-incher. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Who is Hello? Hello? Get off the fucking phone. I'll get off the phone when you touch my cock. Talk dirty to me. Come on here, and I'll, I'll talk. I'll talk personally dirty to, to you. Come on, come Tell, on. I'm waiting for you. I'm touching my balls. I'm fingering my ass, thinking about you. Oh, you are? Yeah, I beat the shit out of my wife. She divorced me after that. And then I went gay for a while. Oh, now listen. <laughs> Like I told you, I don't like your fucking talk to me. You better learn how to behave yourself with your mouth. Because if, if you're looking for trouble, I can give it to you. I'm tough. I love when you talk that way to me at this. Listen, Brutus, I didn't make the fucking phone call. You made it to me. Please talk dirty to me. You want me to talk dirty to you? Hold on. <laughs> Brutus? Yeah. All right. Now get real close to this, the phone. Get as close as you can get to it. Yeah. How'd that feel? Ah, I had the phone up my ass. You <laughs> fucked up my colon. I'm bleeding out my ass. Rub your cunt on the phone. Well, come on over. I'll show you how big my cunt is. I'll tell you. Dumb bitch. <laughs> All right, there's Bigfoot in action. Uh, I, know uh, I, I really, I, I can't say this enough how much I love our latest choice and best. newest choice for a, a whack packer. Well, Bigfoot is, let's go to Bigfoot Such now. Bigfoot film. is our, uh, he's not doing so well in this. Bigfoot uh, took a loss, although he is in second place. Yeah, and he he's went gave, not in bad shape. He's and he went gay for a while. He's 2-1-1. One, and one. Bigfoot, you need a win this week. Yeah, I know I do. Well, what do you got for us? <laughs> I got the saints it is I want to call on. The saints it is? Yeah, the saints. Oh, God, what a stellar pickup for the whack pack. It's just, I love it. <laughs> well, Artie, what is the line? On, what's the line on the, the saints? The saints are giving seven and a half to Tampa Bay. Everybody picking the favorites here. All right. I wish you luck, Bigfoot. Yeah. And uh, remember, it's a $25,000 prize thanks to our friends at BetUS.net.
Yeah, I got someone else to talk with you about, too. What's that? Uh, we doing some recordings, it is. Uh, some more uh, jokes and stuff, it is. And I'm wondering if we could send it down to you. Sure, send it. I'd Absolutely. love to hear it. Absolutely, yeah. it is. Huh? All right, it is. Is that your bird? Yeah, that's my bird. Well, who's what the broad? What kind of bird you got? I got a, a love bird. <laughs> and what is that broad's voice in the background there? Huh? Who's the girl? The girl? Is there a girl back there? Yeah, it's a couple of girls back here at this. They're chewing through the rope. That's my harem it is. <laughs> Your harem it is. <laughs> yeah, I think he's got them locked in a schoolhouse. <laughs> yeah. Is that a little hole in the ground? Yeah. A good day yesterday it was. <laughs> Picked me up three winches. Filled up the van that I did. <laughs> Put him in a hole, I did. I bought the chloroform, it was. Hey, guys. <laughs> Put it on the napkin, I did. How hey, did you guys. get shoved it on her mouth, it was. What are those girls doing with you? <laughs> hey. Knocked them out, I did. <laughs> Put them in the back of the van, it was. Hey. Yes. Uh, is there any way you can send me that contract? I'm making them fuck it? my bird, I am. What contract <laughs> it is? The, the, the one when I went in front of your... Uh, your guest there at this? Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, Bigfoot. Yeah, Bigfoot, take it up with Gary. I got to move along, Bigfoot, okay? Bigfoot, like the rest of the planet Earth, we don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Where'd you get those girls, man? Uh, oh, my elbowed him in the face, I did. Randy at this. <laughs> what? What? My new manager is Randy at this. You yeah. got a new yeah. manager. Yeah, well, the old one's dead. <laughs> he sucks a mean cock, he does. You're not sleeping with those girls. Um, I can't really tell you about that. Yeah. Wouldn't call it sleeping, I would. <laughs> All right, Bigfoot, thank you. They're knocked out, and I'm fucking. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Bigfoot. All right, no problem. All right, Bigfoot taking... Who what do you take? What the fuck is going on with the Saints? It is. Yeah, he took the Saints, Saints. given seven and a half. What's uh, going on in that hotel room? <laughs> uh, Bigfoot, you there? Yeah, I'm right here. All right. <laughs> Everybody loves Bigfoot. Uh, he's the latest addition to the Whack Pack. Isn't that right, Bigfoot? Right. That's right. That's right. And uh, hey, do you have a manager you're at war with? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, at war at uh, Mike Gallup, it is. Yeah, he's on the phone. He wants to yell at you. He's pissed off at you because you what dumped your manager. Yeah, I fired his ass because he was not doing anything. Mike, uh, you're on with Bigfoot. If you want to take it up with him, go ahead. Mike's calling from Newport, Vermont. Well, good morning, Howard. Yeah. Uh, well, how long have you been a manager, a personal manager? Well, since I found out about the Whack Pack contest yeah. and, and uh, took it upon myself to enter him. Right. Yeah, you know, when I wasn't doing anything, I guess, uh, and brought him to New York and all this and that. I got him uh, I got him $5,000. I got him a 16-week stint on Stern. I got, uh, I got him a chance to win $25,000, but he says I wasn't doing anything. And uh, just last week, just last week we were... I had him call the T-shirt company to start getting T-shirts going. We were just—I was looking into web pages. I was, you know, I. Bigfoot. I, what about that? He says he's doing something. Yeah, uh, you weren't doing much of this when I was up there. It is. <laughs> uh, you got a new manager, Bigfoot? Yes, I got um, Ken Sawyer. It is. <laughs> and is he doing something for you? Yes, he is. He's working on the pewter every night. The pewter? Hey, hold, okay. on, hold on. When, was, when were you planning to tell me that I was not your manager? <laughs> when were you planning to tell me that? Because last Thursday, we were good, and then Friday morning, I find out in front of 4 million people that I'm not your manager anymore. When were you? Thursday, we were good. Friday, you fire my ass on the radio. Now, when were you going to tell me that, huh? When were you going to tell me? You, to fire somebody, you got to tell them. You can't just... Uh, just I ain't doing nothing. I'm up here in the East Kingdom. I'm not making any money. What? I ain't going to do nothing. I'm not doing What about that, Bigfoot? The man makes a good point. Uh, what, were you going to just not ever tell him? I was going to tell him. And, uh, I just was not getting around to it right off of this. Hey, hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me tell you something. You've been scamming me from day one. When we, when we went down I'm there, I was scamming you. I've been paying you right on, along. Hold on. How much hold have you on. been paying him, uh, Bigfoot? Hold on. Let me tell you, Howard. Let me tell you how it went down. I brought him down to New York. I rented a car. I put him up in a hotel room. Da, 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 da. Didn't you get part of the winnings? I, he told me all the way down and all the way back, I'll give you $500 and 
and you write down all the expenses. You write it down. You write down the underwear you bought me, the socks you bought me, the clothes you bought me, the hotel room, the rental car. You write it all down. What about that, Bigfoot? The man says he spent a lot of money on you, and uh, now you're uh, now he's out of pocket. Knife me in the back. Just knife me in the back. Alice, I can't believe you want to give that man money. I tell you, Alice, do not give that man money. He's a big con. He's a big scammer. Dude. Hey, uh, Bigfoot, you got anybody in your life that's listening to Sirius? You got anybody that's tuned into the Howard Stern show? Oh, yeah. Oh, you do now? Yeah. Yeah, that was real funny what Artie said about uh, your new manager sucking your... Well, it doesn't, sound, it doesn't sound like it's going well between you two. And uh, any chance you can get you hire him back, Bigfoot, or is it over? It's over with, with him. Yeah. Hey, uh, 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 Howard. Uh, Bigfoot uh, is taking the high wait, road. Wait, 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 wait. Bigfoot, can you say injunction... What is this about? If I got to, I'm, I'm pissed. I'm going to take legal action here against Bigfoot because these guys. You don't know what he's involved with. You don't know the people he's involved with, man. They, yeah, but 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 Bigfoot has a right to choose his own manager, and well, he has a right to pay me too. Let me tell you how it went down with the payment here. How much do you think you're owed? Let me tell, first. Let me tell you the story. How much oh. do you think you're owed? Well, I'm down about four hundred bucks now. So if he pays you four hundred bucks, he's done with you. <laughs> No, we're gonna talk contracts and stuff because we do have oral. You have a you have a contract with him, Bigfoot? No, I don't have a contract. He with said him. oral no. agreement. Oral agreement, dude. Since you can't read or write, a contract really isn't uh, going to mean much. It's pretty much what's in your heart and what's coming out of your mouth. Bigfoot, you're not afraid of this uh, situation. I th it sounds like no. You're... I'm not afraid of this one single bit. I'm down here in New York. Hey, uh, how would you how would you say I treated you in the past three months? You seem to be scared of the city, is it? You know, every time you come down here, it is, you wanted to run right back to the mall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, this is not Wait a minute, up. let me ask something. This was only a three-month relationship? Yes. Yeah, well, how could you be so upset? Because he was down on his block. There ain't a well, if I was you, I'd take the high road and just say, look, leave Bigfoot alone. Okay, well, let me just tell you one story, please, about how he how he paid me. All, all the way down, all the way back. Right down, I'll pay you $500. Comes, comes a check. He comes in my place, weighs five thousand dollars in front of my face, and I say, "Well, like uh, you know, a bunch of that's mine, right?" Oh, I can't pay you right now. It is. I can't pay. You. I'll pay you two hundred now. I'll pay you two hundred on the first, and I'll hold a hundred so that when you need it, I'll have it for you. <laughs> well, all right. It's it a didn't brilliant negotiator. How do you respond to Bigfoot's uh, assessment that his new manager's on the computer every night? That sounds oh, like what, a what? None of those guys know who Howard Stern was, so, you know. Hey, Bigfoot, what, do you, what is uh, your manager doing on the computer? Oh, he's trying to find me a bunch of girls and stuff like that. It is. Uh, you have a manager <laughs> to find you girls? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, I didn't see you getting him any girls. Everything? Yeah, well, if he doesn't get you any girls, will you fire him? Huh? Will you fire him if he doesn't get you any girls? No, no. I'm not going to fire him. All hey, right. look, Howard, these guys just hooked onto his coattails to get their music played. Watch out. Dude, All right. He's a schemer and a scammer. He's All right. Thank you, Mike. You've scammer. had your say. And Bigfoot, now it's time Watch for you to make your pick. What'd you say, Bigfoot? Oh, I was talking to my other manager here. He was complaining about Mike Dell being on the phone and complaining. It is. I mean, well, I wanted to have been doing something. I wanted to have nothing to complain about. Hey, right. dude, what'd you do with that expense sheet that uh, you got from me? All right, you guys are going to have to work this out later. i got to move along. i got a lot of big stars. i got Elliot Offen waiting. So, Howard, uh, it was a very nice pleasure to talk right, to you. Think... So it's been the only thrill out of it. All right, thank you, Mike. Okay, thank and, you. And uh, Bigfoot, uh, what do you say? You, you're up for $25,000. You're in second place, by the way, still. Uh -huh. You're 2-2-1. Two, two, and one. You're in second place. Yeah, I know I'm in second place. $25,000 prize from BetUS.net. What's your pick? Uh, the Jet. The Jets it is? Whoa. Yeah. What's their line? Jets are giving two to the Dolphins. Giving oh. two? Yes. Wow, the Dolphins must be awful. Well, you know, the, the, the Jets and Dolphins seem to always play each other competitively. So Dangerous bet there. I don't know about that one. Mm. And we got two dangerous oh, bets. I'm taking my chances on that one. All right, good deal, Bigfoot. Thank you, and I hope you straighten out your management situation. Yeah, all right. I love that uh, Bigfoot. Hey, what do you think about me running for president? I think it's a good idea. I, uh, Where do you stand on the war in Iraq? Huh? Where do you stand on the war in Iraq? 
I think he should back off of it. That's what I think he should do. All right, well, there you go. The guy seems to know what he's talking it's about. The way he's accomplishing things it is, we're going to all end up dead. He's right, he's going. It's like China wants to get involved in his time of rocket over there. Yeah, highway. Our next president. My hair. <laughs> Let's run him. <laughs> you say China wants to get involved, huh? Yeah. No. All right. Very good. All right. Thank you. Yeah, bye. That's Bigfoot. Oh, you shut that off. <laughs> hey, John? Yeah. So he's got something going on. He's always surrounded by... We're listening to the Howard Stern Show. Wake up, America. Come on, man. You know where it's at. Yeah, wow, we've got a great panel of guys Wake today. Up, white people. Brutally honest men who all love to talk about one thing, women. Uh, let me introduce my panel to you. Everyone knows Ralph. Ralph is a very controversial figure on this show. A lot of people don't like Ralph. They feel that he's a loudmouth, has no right to an opinion. And Ralph, every once in a while, there is the odd true. Ralph fan. Ra once in a while. Very yeah. odd, very odd. Like Robin's. You are a lazy homo round, PK. <laughs> it's like you work in slow mo, you're a bum. No job gets done. While people go and earn their paycheck, you're at home just watching Star Trek Ralphie Cakes. You've got disgusting berries all over your face. You'd rather catch than pitch, that's why you're Howard's bitch. And your name is Ralphie Cakes. Uh, he takes a lot of shit, but there he is. He's That's a good the best sport. Line. Hey, and who did that song? He was in the other day, and he said, like, I blew him off. I, yeah, the comedian. I don't, I don't you, even know what he looks like. He, he was the comedian you goofed I on. I love him. I, I think that song is great. All right. Well, Ralphie Cakes has a telestrator with him today where he will be able to draw on Howard TV oh. any flaws he sees on a girl. <laughs> like he, John Madden. Like a twisted John Madden. That's right. So that's going to be a very useful thing. And if uh, the other guys have some comments, maybe Ralph will telestrate as well. I'm going to introduce you to our second judge. His name is Bigfoot. Everyone loves him. How are you, Bigfoot? I'm fine. Now, I understand you were in New York anyway, and we were able to drag you in here. Yeah. yeah. What were you doing in town? Well, I was doing in town, and I was just visiting around it is and seeing if I could get back on the Stern Show. Here it is, and crack, some, it more, is. And cr crack some more jokes. And, and here you are. Yeah. Yep, yep, you're here. And uh, what about you? You love pussy, right? Oh, I love it. <laughs> Any yeah. way I can get it. Right. When's How the last time? How often do you get it? Oh, I got it when I was up in Vermont. There's some girl named Mel is, and she was fine. Yeah? Do the authorities know? <laughs> yeah, you didn't oh, I didn't need to know, let no authorities know. I kept her in wine coolers and <laughs> oh, you all, all, all that kind of stuff. up in the basement. <laughs> How old abroad are we talking about here? Oh, about 45. 45 year old. <laughs> Yeah, I, she has had a decent body. Oh, wicked body on yeah. it. Yeah, and you probably got a big, thick penis. So you oh, <laughs> I told you, nine and a half inches. Yeah, and she handled it all? <laughs> she handled the whole thing with a pooper, she did. You didn't need to wear a penis? <laughs> with oh, a, and a pooper? pooper. She, she gave it to her in the ass? <laughs> no, I gave her ass backwards. Ass backwards. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I do things ass backwards, sideways, <laughs> wh wh whatever way I can get it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Artie, like, look who's here. This? Artie, Bigfoot's here. <laughs> I do things ass backwards, I do. Yeah. Hey, Artie. What do you think he's fucking a chick in the ass? What are you doing? What are you doing backwards? I don't understand. Oh, you can fuck a pussy his ass backwards at this. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you mean? Like she's on all fours or? Yeah, all fours. Doggy on her, uh, style. On her, uh, on her elbows and uh, knees. I see. Big Doggy Foot. style. <laughs> Doggy style, right. Bigfoot has clearly killed several people. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Have you ever killed anyone? Killed anyone? No, I've no. never killed was anybody. She, was she blindfolded and gagged? No, I don't blindfold them at this. I just, keep, I, I just keep them well al alcoholed up at this. There's four chicks tied up in a motel in upstate New York. Right Where did you find this girl? Oh, I just find them. It is like in the mall. <laughs> just like finding uh, What I do is like you use clothes. That's not right. Uh, yeah. no, really, where'd you find this girl? How'd you meet her? Oh, I've known her for a while, it is, and she kind of got interested in me, it is, after I had all that money and I blew it on her, it is. And, uh, yeah. yeah, so you need to know, so here's the deal. Bigfoot called, the, w the way we knew he was in New York is he called us yesterday. <laughs> his relationship with his manager has just deteriorated. It's gone. All the money's gone, Howard, that he won from the contest. Oh, no. And he was calling because he needs sixty dollars for money gas money to get back to Vermont. Five grand. And it's all gone? Yeah. What'd I you do with it? 
I spent it. I paid off my Cadillac. I yeah. Oh, now you can't afford gas? Yeah. <laughs> That's not a bad, good move. Bigfoot, do you work? Uh, I work when I'm up in Newport, I do. What do you do? I transport people around and deliver beer and cigarettes and tobacco and whatever else I can get my hands on. So you ran through five thousand dollars and you don't even feel bad about it. No. Oh, what I about? Think you, I think you need another five thousand. Yeah, but it doesn't <laughs> grow on trees. What are your caddy? I think it does. But how we're in that weird spot again, where he calls us to get him the gas money because. Who else is he going to call? Right. Oh, give yeah, him some gas his money. Parents again. Artie? Oh, Christ. This is the no one now I got to deal with? <laughs> Artie, give him some flyers for your movie. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to run for president. Yeah, with the tobacco and beer, I got something else for you to deliver. <laughs> well, look who else is here as a judge, a man we all respect. Uncle Luke is here. That's right. Yeah. Luke Skywalker, the man who really understands women. Uh, you, you more than anyone. Uh, Luther Campbell, a.k.a. Uncle Luke and Uncle Luke Skywalker. Uh, is a huge star, a and rap star. And probably had more women than Ann. I mean, probably all of you combined. Yeah, you're probably the world's <laughs> most authority on women, right? Yeah, they told me I was a pussyologist three steps out of the gynecologist. <laughs> That's right. Pussyologist I mean, I, three steps out of the gynecologist. Three, three steps out of the gynecologist. Yeah. Could, <laughs> you, could you actually fix a woman's vagina like a gynecologist who knows so much about women? Yeah, I think I can. Uh, you know, sometimes, uh, some of the, you know, the, the best remedy to fixing a pussy is... Is is soaking them in Epsom salt? Oh, really? <laughs> you, you know, come on, Robin. You know about the Epsom soaking salt. Soaking them in Epsom salt. You know, soak the pussy in Epsom salt. It cleans it out and it tightens it up. It is brings that, it back. It what kind of yeah. girls are you in? Brings it brings it back. It brings it back because you know, you know, the, the worst thing about a pussy when it's too big, too wet, too out of control because it's been beat up so much. So you got to. Bring it back. Episode what do you think these back. hairs on your chin for? You? Get right down there and eat it. <laughs> Uncle Luke, you've been with uh, so many women. Your stage show was second to none, of course. Uh, you had many female dancers who worked for you. Yeah. Uh, you call them your women. It's almost like you're a pimp, right? Luke girls. No, no, I'm not a pimp. Luke no. girls. I, cause pimps, the, the pimps actually take money from the girls. Right. You know, I help the girls make money. Right. No, you've yeah. always been good about that. And... Uh, you know, in, in listening to your audio book, uh -oh. a man can learn so much. You can you learn a lot. You listen to the book, huh? Oh, yeah. You can learn a lot. You you took your female dancers and you would teach them tricks. Yeah. You could teach a woman how to shoot objects out of their vaginas, right? Yeah. No, I tell them they have to be innovative. I mean, you know, you got to be creative. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's for their stage work, you say. Yeah, that's what the stage What work. are some of the things they would shoot out of there? Actually, uh, one of the craziest things, one of my girl dancers, she actually put a a, a small baby doll in a... A baby vagina. doll? Yeah, and pushed it out on oh stage. Oh, my goodness. That's nice. I'm going to say you wanted a freak show thing. <laughs> You're telling me she, she put a full size, uh, bigger than a Barbie? Oh, uh, bigger than a Barbie, yeah. And put it all the way in a vagina and, and all the way simulated vagina. giving birth on stage? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, exactly. The crowd must have went wild. Oh, they went bananas. <laughs> I mean, you, des no you described, too, uh, you taught a woman to shoot a fake eyeball out of her vagina. Yeah, yeah. She uh, took the eyeball, put it in there, and actually made it roll around. Wow. In a vagina. Then another girl... Uh, she took in a little torch. But did you, did you know, this This was the wildest thing. One of, one of my girl dancers actually took a light bulb, put it in her vagina, and made the light bulb come on. Ah, How the hell she did that? She, she made she the light that? bulb come on. She made the light bulb come Is on. Is that a trick light bulb? Uh, I don't know what it was. But Uncle Fester. They, they, yeah. David Blaine does that, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, but this, is a, this is out of the vagina. This is unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Um, you you even describe and, and and the reason I bring up all these stories about Uncle Luke is that he is here to evaluate women and you have to understand the level of expertise on right. this man. Uh, but did, when you see a woman shooting things out of her vagina on stage, does that make you want her? No, it's, it's <laughs> no, no. You, that's not sexy. It's more of a stunt. It's a novelty thing. Right? Huh? It's to make the act better. I, actually, actually, the guys all every city we go to, the guys jump on stage and. And, and want to be with the girls. Really? Right then. Right then. I got to show y'all some freak show tape. <laughs> Didn't you actually have a whole football team, a professional football team, get up on stage and all your girls blew the football team right up on stage? Yeah, you've been, re you've been listening yeah, to the well, audio. That's book. right. Yeah. <laughs> what, 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 who was, what was the football team? Uh, here we go. Was it a pro <laughs> team or a... Well, it was some football players. Uh -huh. it, it was, right. What it was, it was some basketball players uh, in Detroit. Uh, fab Four, Fab Five or something like that. And they... Came to one of my shows. The guys from Michigan? I don't know. The Fab Michigan. Five from Michigan? <laughs> uh, they, got stage, they got on stage and started pulling their pants down and 
Wait a minute, like uh, Jalen Rose and those guys? Some, somebody, I don't know what Chris name Weber, it was. Right? I don't yes. know what name it was. He doesn't know any names. I don't know what name. The details are foggy. All I know is there was those days uh, taking their pants off and getting blowjobs. Oh, my wow. wow. Yeah. That's a big story. Chris Weber and Jalen Rose got blown at all. <laughs> he didn't say that. I didn't say no name. See, last time I was on the show here yeah. at, at the University of Miami, they wanted to... Uh, Say that I say that I paid people off. He <laughs> said, so, yeah, you was on Howard Stern's show and you said that you paid people off. I was like, nah, nah, nah. So actually, you know, from the graces of the show, I'm back under investigation. Oh, oh no. no. Are <laughs> yeah. you really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. I stay up under the This is Join satellite, club. though. Nobody here is. So you can That's talk right. About you can talk anything. about anything. <laughs> so what, what, uh, and, and you know, you're so, such a ladies' man that uh, you once said, I'm going to break a record. I'm going to see how many groupies I could have sex with in one night. How many women were engaged in that contest? <laughs> it was actually, that was that was in my younger days. Right. You don't you know, do I, this anymore. No, no, I didn't do that. I don't do that anymore. I, you wanted to see how many girls you could bang in one night, exactly, right? Exactly, yeah. It was, it was at uh, in Daytona Beach at spring break. How many girls in one night? It was like about 12 girls. 12 girls. I, I, <laughs> it, it wasn't like, okay, To completion? I'm just, I'm just, no, it wasn't to completion. What do you no, mean? I was just going... Your- Going in and going out and then going to another room, yeah. going in, going out to another room. And I was just, you know, just having fun. Fun, right. yeah. Wow, that doesn't wow. sound so bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's unbelievable. I mean, do you even care about women anymore, you've had? Of course. Of course I <laughs> You do. never get enough, huh? No, it's, I, it, I'm always, I always, at that time, I always wanted to do something crazy. I, I mean, I, I went in Japan, I got on stage, and I said, I always want to get Rick Jane. Eats Tina Marie pussy on stage, so I want to get a blowjob on stage. So I brought some Japanese girls up and they gave me a blowjob. Wow. You know, you know, the only time I got fucked by twelve girls is when I bet on a basketball game and and the WNBA. <laughs> yeah, I lost. Can I, can I ask Uncle Luke a little question? Because yeah. that that story you were telling about the football players and stuff. I thought I read that from your audio book, and then afterwards, uh, everybody went back to hotel room, and some people pissed on the girl. Yeah. What do you mean? It was a, it was a golden shower night that night. <laughs> was, you know, it's Wednesdays. Called, see what we do is we call it sacrifice weekend. <laughs> <laughs> sacrifice weekend. Explain. Sacrifice weekends. What what sacrifice weekends used to be is like we'll just call it sacrifice weekend, and then we'll get girls, and it'll be like, hey, you know, we'll sacrifice a girl, and then bring the girls into a room, uh, bring them on the boat, and you know, we just do all kind of different things. Now, do you take <laughs> sexual pleasure in pissing on a woman? Yeah, you golden do. showers. Yeah, yeah, you like that's that. a good thing. Yeah, yeah, that's a beautiful thing. Is it? I never got into that. Like, what? Did, would you get hard when you uh, pee on them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And wow. then what do you do? Do you you just piss on them? Just piss all over. But do you have <laughs> sex with them after you do that? Oh no, 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 no. What would you? What you do is you lay them on a glass table. Yeah, a glass it's table. Like, like yeah, it's it's like a whole ritual. Uh huh. Uh huh. This German guy told me this one time when I used to cook. He said, "Look, you you gotta." Uh, you know, the golden showers, and then he he talked about shitting on girls, oh, but geez. I wouldn't do that. You know, he, he said all the things you eat and everything, you drink good champagne and, and eat good food and all that, and then you shit on the girls. But you I, want I, to I shit on them. <laughs> <laughs> but you never got into shitting on women. No, no, never did. So no. you just lay them down on the glass table and just go to town? Yeah, everybody just stands up over and Everybody. Yeah. Bigfoot, you ever piss on a girl? Oh, I, yeah. By on purpose, or... <laughs> An you pissed on a girl? Yeah, I pissed on a girl. It is when uh, I, 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 I. You thought she was coming, so you pissed in her mouth. No, I didn't piss in her mouth. I just. <laughs> it was online at the supermarket. It was. <laughs> no, she, she was a little bit too, little bit too dry. Yeah, she I was in, was in the, the express lane. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're missing a gem here. You're yeah, saying. Yeah. What did you say? What did you say? I, she was a little bit bry in the vagina. She needed a little uh, wetness. A little, a little wetness. So you peed uh, in yeah. there? You I peed right. in it? Yeah. That's oh. quite a lubrication process. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my god. Uncle Luke, did you ever hear anything like that? <laughs> no. Yeah. I, I heard a, one, one cat uh, <laughs> play for the Dolphins. He, he, he used to piss in the girl's mouth. Really? Was yeah. that Marino? No. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> you, once said, you once said you had sex with a groupie, and then you were nervous that she was like kind of crazy and that she would accuse you of rape or something, which she would never do. And you said in order to keep her calm, you went out with her for a while until her pussy healed. Now, I didn't understand that. What do you mean her pussy healed? 
No, what happened is uh, this one groovy girl we put on the tour bus. We got on the tour bus, and then she uh, she drove with us from Orlando to Alabama. We was doing different dates, and uh, the girl started acting crazy. You know, she was calling up. You know, I would listen to the phone calls in the in the uh, hotel room, and she was calling up her friends, talking about, "Oh, I'm gonna get him on rape. I'm gonna get him on rape. I'm gonna get paid. All this this stuff." So I had previously had sex with her. Right. So I just okay, we got to keep this girl on the road. For a little while bef- before she goes and, you know, after you didn't have sex with her. Right. Before you know it, you know, she'll be sitting up there saying she had rape. So then, you know, we then got the uh, tape recorder and started taping all the calls and everything like Smart. that. You know, the day that she she was going to go get the cops and all this, you know, it was like, okay, you know, put the tape recorder on you. Oh, so you got somewhere to go this morning, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had no, she started had, having an attitude and all that, like, you know, that it was a problem put the tape on the counter and say, oh, you want to hear yourself? Ah. You know, and bust her right there, and then we well, dropped her off. Because that's extortion. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's you... what those girls do. A lot of those girls do that. Right. You know, not Robin, because she's paid. You know, Robin. Yeah, right. Oh, oh, I would do it, but <laughs> I get paid. <laughs> no, no. If Robin didn't have this job, she'd get pissed on and uh, accusing people of rape. <laughs> I'm going to keep going out of you. I will you until your pussy heals are done. You had a great, uh, you had a great uh, moment in your uh, personal history. The great Muhammad Ali asked you to get him laid, didn't he? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What was that? We was at some, we was at some fundraiser, and he was sitting there, and I, you know, he was like, "Hey, hey, hey where, where's the girls, man? Where's the girls?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh shit! It doesn't was he matter. all shaky and everything? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter how shaky a man is; he still wants to get girls. Hey, right? man! Oh and, and then you start looking at the documentaries. It's like Ali had plenty of women. I'm like, shit! Yeah. I should have got him laid. <laughs> but uh, it's unbelievable. And a lot of celebrities flock to you. You are the man. Uh, a lot of uh, celebrities like Robert. De Niro. I know he loves black women. He used to come to your club, right? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I had this club on South Beach called Luke's uh, Miami Beach before uh, the city of Miami Beach ran me off the beach. <laughs> and uh, Miami Beach ran you off the beach? Yeah. They didn't back, like your club? Back then, you, back then, it was the first black club on the beach. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was, right. You know, we had races, everything. Races, uh, city manager, races, police chief, everything. And they There's just, a lot of races down there. Yeah, yeah, they couldn't understand me having a club on the beach, you know. And uh, <laughs> Even I don't like you having a club on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Imagine that club. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a, little, a little jealous it is. Yeah, or, that's right. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> jealous of the well, black man. Reading your mind already. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah You're no he dummy. Used to, he used to come in and uh, he liked that this one uh, uh, waitress named Frida. Right. He used to be in there every night, you know. And he, he loves the black yeah. ladies. He I sure didn't know does. that. Oh, yes, yeah. That's what we always read. And Michael Jordan, he never came to your club. He likes the white clubs. Yeah. Jordan liked the white girls. Right. <laughs> not, girls. not Jordan's coming back black right now. Is he? Is he? Yeah. What do you mean by that? Jordan, you know, Joe, when Jordan was Jordan in, in, uh, in the NBA, he wouldn't, he wouldn't frequent too many black clubs. Is that right? right but now, yeah. now, you He's know. He's back. Yeah. <laughs> I heard Joe was, I heard Joe was in the, uh, in, uh, Magic City. You don't get no blacker than that. If you go to Magic City in Atlanta, it's like, well, you know, yeah. You know all about women. You even say pussy saved your life a couple of times. Yeah, it have saved my life. Where you were invited out and uh, you didn't yeah. go. Pussy kept you at home. Pussy, pussy kept me in, <laughs> pussy kept me out of trouble. Mike Tyson, the story. Was you, were, you, were you supposed to? You were supposed to be with Mike Tyson the night of his rape. Car, yeah. Yes, and yeah. and, and uh, you weren't in the car because you stayed home because you had pussy. Yeah, the girl stood up. She came and she she was like, "You want to hang out with Mike? And you gonna leave all this?" She walked out of the room. She was butt naked. Like, came out of the bathroom. I was like, "Ah, oh, fuck, Mike. <laughs> like, yo, Mike, I can't come with you, dog. Not tonight." Right. And then next morning, you know, next morning I saw all this stuff on the news about him leaving town. Is pussy your lucky charm? Pussy is my lucky charm. I love pussy. <laughs> I, I mean, pussy is a beautiful thing. It is. I, I love pussy. Yeah. And yeah. now, where is your situation now? Are you still out there uh, no, available not, to well, women, or are you a one-woman man now? I'm a one-woman man right now. Oh, yeah. bullshit. I'm, try- <laughs> I'm, trying, that. I'm trying to hold that shit down. You've had so much pussy in your life. Describe the perfect uh, pussy. D- d- describe the perfect pussy. Uh... Uh, nice and nicely lubricated, uh, tight. It has to be tight. The pussy has to be tight. Yeah. It has to have a, you know, it has to have a nice size clitoris that, you know, comes in and out. And uh, carefully shaved. <laughs> Look carefully at shaved. I think Bigfoot, Bigfoot just popped a big boner. <laughs> you don't think so, Bigfoot? Like what it? do you what think? What is the best I, pussy I like for you? Nice, nice and hairy it is. Is it? Oh. Yeah. That, yeah. that way you get your balls off. It is. And that way. Oh. 
Fucking hairs the hairs. <laughs> you yeah. guys don't know. <laughs> Bigfoot, Bigfoot, you must have uh, you must have come encounter encounter some smelly pussy in your day, right? Some. Oh, I've come across some raunchy ones. It is. I the saddest <laughs> time it is up in Newport. It is about where I was fucking one girl. It is and it was this other girl is taking a broomstick to her vagina while she Whoa. had her period. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Oh. That's, that's, that's how horny she was. Whoa. They wanted me to fool around with her at the same time while I was fooling around with somebody else. So I, I was kind of this lost. In the situation it is, yeah. and I just didn't know what to do with two of them at the same time. Well, you should talk to Uncle Luke. He'll tell you what to yeah. do with 12 of them at the same time. Oh, yeah. D- didn't Bigfoot have a guy blow him, too, or something? Yeah, I did. What? what? Yeah. what? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Uncle Luke. You, 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 you a switch hitter? Huh? You, you a switch hitter, Bigfoot? You didn't tell me that in the back room. Switch hitter? What? Switch hitter. You back did you, from did you blow some place? guy? No, some guy blew me. Well, what I'm is that all about? Uncle Luke, isn't that gay? <laughs> That's gay, Bigfoot. Yeah. I don't say they're gay. It is, I mean, hey, you got to stay alive somehow. It is isn't gay. <laughs> hey, uh-huh. if you don't give a little, a, a little cock out to the, some of those uh, jailbirds, you can't get any of that happy smoke. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, let a guy, you let a guy blow you for weed in jail? Of course. What were yeah. you in jail for? How, how do you think I survived in there? <laughs> How many years were you in jail? Well, the longest was 18 months, and I was happy as could be in there. 18 wow. months? Yeah. Yeah, and you liked it in there. Why go- were you in jail? Oh, because of all those beanies I did. Oh, I, I, breaking and entering. Oh, yeah, I love that. It is. <laughs> how, 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 I just helped myself at somebody's home with this, open the refrigerator, and start, start eating out there like, I'm, like, like I own the place. Imagine you come home and he's in your house. <laughs> Bigfoot's in my house. <laughs> like a hey, are you on the Stern show? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Luke, he's a real player. <laughs> no shit. Yeah. Wrong. Hey, Wait a minute, Bigfoot, how much weed did you have to give the guy to get him to blow? <laughs> <laughs> About wait a minute. Four or five joints. You would, wait a minute. You would break into a home, right, during the day or something like that? During the day, it didn't matter. And then just go to the fridge and start eating? Yeah. He, he, would, <laughs> rape, he would rape and refrigerate. <laughs> and what happened? Like, but, people but, would come home uh, from work and find I, you eating? I, I mean, I was so good at it, I even went into a cop's house and, 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 and took his gun holster. And, and, oh, my wow. God. Well, uh, how did you get caught if you were so good? He just started cracking me down like he do a big foot. And he started seeing big footprints in his and say, oh, that must be big foot in his on one of his journeys. Yeah. I mean, ever watch that thing it is? Uh, when somebody's going through the snow, it is. Tracks, yeah. Tracks, yeah. Tracks, yeah. They track Tracks. you down. Yeah, yeah you hey. just, uh, track me down. And I, oh, I send them for a But you took money, too, right? And stuff like that. You I didn't... took anything I could get my hands on. Right, I see. <laughs> Did you ever think about waiting till there wasn't snow on the ground to do it? <laughs> it didn't matter to me. When I was hey, Gary, to... fix uh, Bigfoot's microphone so it's near, somewhere near his mouth. Just push that microphone down. Oh, there okay, now you got it. There, there you go. go. Okay. There you go. I don't want to miss a word of what wow. you're saying. Uncle yeah. Luke is fascinated by it. <laughs> That's so I even stole rear ends out of a uh, junkyard that isn't carried them over my back. It is it lo- 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 like it was a. Uh, you don't steal anymore, do you? No, not anymore. No. He's probably got retard strike, you know, like yeah. the oh, big yeah. heavy thing. 18 months in jail, so you say to a and guy, you were happy. I need weed, and the guy said, if I can blow you, I'll give you weed. Right. And, right. You, and you let him. West. And how hey. often would that happen? Like every day, every couple of days? It would happen uh, probably at once a week. What well, if you were like his big boyfriend or something? <laughs> well, I wasn't his boyfriend. I was, I was just a pimp. <laughs> a pimp? How do you figure? It's not a pimp, bro. <laughs> Don't you? Th- then you were able to get aroused with a man blowing you? Nah. You didn't get hard? I got a little bit hard and not that much. <laughs> I, I like my pussy just like he does. <laughs> and, what position, and what position would you be in when he blew you? Would you be standing or laying yeah, down? You'd be standing in it. Yeah, would you sometimes lay down? you stand in front of the window in you know, that way the guards wouldn't uh, get any close looks. At it, those square windows, you can't really see much when my head's up in front of the window. Right. It's a giant Damn. head. <laughs> Hello, guard Kelly. I'm getting blown again. I am. Hey, you this guy's life, he's like, I need some weed, otherwise I can't blow this 
enormous guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait a minute, did you threaten this little guy? No, he no. weren't little. He weren't little, okay. No. <laughs> no. All right, well, that's pretty good. i got to tell you, you've got some wild stories there. Well, Uncle Luke and Ralph and, uh, and of course, the great Bigfoot... Bigfoot's a little stinky, I gotta say. Is he a little bit stinky? Yeah. Yeah. Uncle Luke is standing way far. Yeah, Luke is leaning no, out the door. All right. <laughs> I took a shower yesterday. You took a shower yesterday? Yes, yeah. yeah, all right. He's well, on the Richard schedule. <laughs> but, uh, it's probably after all that walking here. This right, you're probably a little stinky. Yeah, go ahead. It was so weird this morning. I actually, um, we we don't have that many green rooms, so I go to the green room to see who's on which one. And I see it's just Uncle Luke and Bigfoot. Uh, so I actually yeah. asked Ralph to go in and sort of talk to Uncle Luke because I Uncle Luke doesn't. I, you don't never met Bigfoot before. No, right? I never met Bigfoot. And, and it's a hard thing to throw him in a room if you don't know who Bigfoot right, is. Right. Yeah. All right. Listen. A lot of women are very anxious. <laughs> they want to know one thing, guys. They want to know: Are they good enough for Playboy magazine? <clears throat> oh, we. Uh -oh. Yeah. You're the judges. Yeah. Let me uh, explain it to Bigfoot. You're the judge, not whether you're good enough for Playboy magazine. Oh. Yeah, that's what I thought you meant. <laughs> no, no. I don't think you're good enough for Playboy magazine. He was giving the blow job, getting the blow job. <laughs> All right, you three guys are experts on women, and I know we need an honest opinion, and I hope the women can handle it because a lot of women think they should be in Playboy. We want you to be brutally honest because right. they shouldn't go out of here thinking they can be in Playboy if they can't. All right, you so should put up uh, wireless A and hardwire A. And hardwire A. Okay, well, you have to be an engineering genius to work on this show. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to introduce you to the first woman. The first woman's name is Sierra. Sierra. Sierra? Sierra. Sierra is coming Sierra out? Sierra is up. Uh, there she... Woo. Woo. Hello, Sierra. Hi. Well, you're no slouch, that's for sure. Uh, at first glance, I say you were... Uh, a young woman. How old are you? I'm 18. 18 oh, years old. There you well, go. You look very, very good. You're in a blue bikini. Um, are you still in high school? No, I just graduated in June. Just graduated. Yeah. Okay. And your nice. dream is to be in Playboy? Yeah. It is. Now, these three guys, with your Uncle Luke a Skywalker, who's in a major rap band, he's toured the country, he even has, I think you've actually gotten women into some magazines, haven't you? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Quite and, a few of them. Yeah, and uh, and then, of course, you got Bigfoot, who says he's even gotten blowjobs from guys. That's how sexual <laughs> he is. And Ralph, everybody knows Ralph. And uh, you're tall. How tall are you? I'm 5'8 and a half. 5'8, you're thin. There's no question. What do you weigh? 120. You kind of look like Jennifer Love Hewitt a little bit to me. Has anyone ever yeah. said that to you? Yeah. Dark hair? Gary, don't you agree with that? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. And you're wearing uh, high heels. you got the hot shoes on. Mm -hmm. The nipple, I mean, the um, mm -hmm. navel piercing. <laughs> the nipple piercing. I haven't seen nipple. Do people navel have piercing. Navel piercing. Do guys ever tell you you look like someone? I don't like Paris Hilton. I got Paris that Hilton a lot. I got that blonde, and blonde hair. Right. So that match more with it. So Paris Hilton. And you say you're a virgin. I am. You're still oh. waiting for the right guy. Artie? Artie, you're a virgin. <laughs> oh, you made Bigfoot's hair. Bigfoot, have wow. you ever had a virgin? No, never have. Wow. I think the guy who blew you was a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Odds are. <laughs> you've got a boyfriend. You say you've been dating him for five months. Is yeah. that right? And you haven't given him any? No. What do I'm you waiting. do? What? Do you give him a hand job or anything like that? No, I'm a good girl. You're a good girl. So all you do is make out with him? Yeah. Does well, he get to fill you up? He respects my decision because he knows that when I'm ready. <laughs> and he's fucking some girl on the side. <laughs> do you, does he fill you up or he doesn't even get to do that? No. A little bit? I don't know. We'll do, leave it at that. Do you dry hump him? No. Don't worry because no. the girl he's fucking on the side is nowhere near as hot as you, I guarantee yeah. it. <laughs> do you rub him over his pants at all? To, to give him a... Sure. You do? Sure. No, no, I'm, I'm being serious. What no, is the extent no. of your sexuality? How's the, what's the furthest you've gone? Like some virgins will actually give up anal sex to make no, their boyfriend no, satisfied. Or oral or hand or oral, anything It'd like that. It would be the finger. You never give a man oral? No. Nothing? No. Wow, you really I'm are. Waiting. You're really waiting. Waiting oh, for the right person. A real virgin. I just got the information oh. on this. Yeah. Mom's in the green room. Oh, your mom's in yeah, the green yeah, room. Yeah, yeah, she won't talk about this. Oh, you're waiting. That's nice. Let's see your ass. No, but I really am a virgin. I turn why do you want to be in Playboy? Yeah, why do you want to be in Playboy? You're such a good girl. Because it's very classy, respectful, beautiful women. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I would love to, I would be honored. You would be it. honored. Yeah. You know, you're not uptight about nudity? No. You don't mind people seeing you naked? No. Right. Just right now, though, today, I decide to just stay in my bathing suit. All right, that's fair enough. Let's see, turn around with oh, the guys. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, thank you. Well, you're going to leave, you're, you're not even going to take the top off? Nice. No. That's a what? nice ass. I'm going to leave the bathing suit. 
All right. Well, that's yeah. your decision to make. Playboy, I would take it off. I'm gonna okay. tell you right now. This has happened no. this before. Don't burn us. You get in a Playboy because us, and you go out there and you fuck Paulie Shore. I swear to Christ, you're not no. coming back in the studio. <laughs> right. All right. All right, guys. It's a little hard to evaluate a woman for Playboy while she's uh, fully clothed. Yes, but, this is uh, uh, Jay Fuller. All right, but let's uh, not let's. Say. Well, I, we I can, can't we, we, tell. I can see. I just have no idea how good your breasts are yeah. for Playboy magazine. Uh, There's or probably something wrong with them. No. Are, are they, they scarred? Real? Yeah. Oh, they're yeah. real. Yeah. All right. And they're perky? Yeah. They're pert. There's no wire, nothing. Nothing? Perky. All right. Mm. You could well, just you could take the bathing suit off and just kind of cover the nipples or something. I'll take All right, that's fair enough. All right. Yeah. Oh, Lock the door, cause mom coming in. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to get our ass kicked by your mom. Will your mother get naked? Oh, oh that's a nice. Look at our. Ooh. Yeah, you got nice boobs. Nice. You got nice boobs. Wow, they're nice. You got a good point there. All right. Thank you. Wow. All right. Well, all right. All right. Well, now I guess it's time to evaluate. All right, I'm going to go to uh, Uncle Luke first. He is a ladies' man, and he would know. This is difficult because you know when you look at Playboy, you you the first thing you look at is between the legs right. and and the playboy pussies are carefully manicured right. and it's like you know the, the pussy is you we can't see no pussy if you, got, you, got imagination. So you, you have no information here and you can't honestly I, evaluate i cannot honestly evaluate this lady so is your recommendation that uh, she has to take the bottom off or the top all right off. well she's not comfortable with that so you uncle luke unfortunately cannot give you an evaluation i understand his dilemma what uncle luke is saying it's like asking us if some guy belongs in the hall of fame but we can't see him hit you know i mean let's right. see, exactly. see the pussy yeah. I know. All right. Well, you're not comfortable with that, I take it. No, well, how I, are you going to take your clothes off for the pictorial? No, if it was for Playboy, I would do that. Even uh, test shots? If they said they're going to test shoot yeah, you, you'll yeah. take it off. Well, Jason, Jason, oh, no. Jason, Jason is actually is a... Uh, yeah. Jason does have a uh, camera, if that yeah, helps but, you. But, uh, oh, yeah. no, play, I, this, oh, Jason. This is the biggest show in the world, sweetheart. I mean, Playboy ain't got nothing on the Howard Stern show. That's my if point. You're going to take, yeah. take it off for the Star show, shit. Well, I do agree with that. Bigfoot. Well, she came in to be evaluated for Playboy. I don't understand. Well, I think there's a confusion here. Bigfoot, are you able to decide? Oh, I'm looking a little bit there. She's got the little dimple over here on her side there. Yeah. Do you yeah. like that? Is that good or bad? Turn, turn around. That's, that's good in a way, and in a way it's not. So you <laughs> don't think she's a good candidate for Playboy? I don't know. I can't really tell if that's a scar mark or what. Where, is, where, what where? is the dimple? Can you uh, tell us straight that, Ralph, and point? I'm not sure where you're talking about. Where is here, it? use this laser a pointer. Part, here, little... here, use this. Use this. <laughs> yeah, point it out with dimple the laser. Right on here, on the on the Hello, camera. Easy. Oh, got it. Well, got it? I, I can't find the light. Okay. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's the red thing. It looks like a, a black and blue mark. Yeah. I have, like, two bruises. I don't know where they came from. All right. It's oh, a bruise. Oh, it's a bruise. That, that certainly is a cover. Uh, that, that's going to go away. Yeah. How'd yeah. you get bruised? I have no idea. Now, I honey, honey we're going to give you the light, and if you could point out some of Bigfoot's imperfections. <laughs> <laughs> well, well Bigfoot. Kind of a, uh, for a right. playboy, that would kind of set you a little bit off. Having yeah, but it, it, hey, but keep the camera there, Scott. If you notice, she's got a nice little camel toe thing going yep. there. Let me see that, Ralph. Okay, yeah, right there. Out, yeah. yeah, move it. Yeah, get away from the right, light. There's Ralph telestrating. See that, see that in there? See yeah, that? That's yeah. nice. You like that? Yeah, see, Luther, she's got a nice uh, yeah. little vagina I mean, going. But you gotta fucking use your imagination. And it looks like oh, it's shaved. It Go pull ahead. it down a little oh, bit. No. Pull down, pull down the, 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 the bathing suit just a little bit down to the top of your vagina. Oh, guys, honestly. <laughs> she's totally <laughs> shaved. That's nice. That is good. I, I I it. And no razor bumps, right? No. Good for you. I hate the sign repetitive. This is the hottest chick I've ever seen. <laughs> hey, Howard, can, can I point out something that the guys might not be able to see? Yeah. Can you sort of turn, look directly at the guys and give them a giant smile? No. Oh, yeah, so I guess in a two. Oh, yeah, you're missing I'm a two. Uh, I spotted that as soon as you came oh, in. Okay, all right, circle that, Ralph, please. Yeah, give us a yeah, smile. Yeah, smile. Now, if you're missing oh, a two, give side. us a smile. Oh. Yeah, you're missing a tooth. What yeah, right, right. There, you're no, a pretty I, girl. I know. Well, I need my teeth fixed. <laughs> Good yeah. lord. Yeah, well, how did uh, that happen? <laughs> did no, your boyfriend I, I punch just, you because you won't fuck him? Oh, Actually, she's not up. missing it. I think the tooth. There's a tooth. No, I just have like really bad. You have bad teeth. Your mom never got you braces. No, I need to get them. Yeah. You Would you grow up in a Dickens novel? What, I mean, there's dentists and shit. I mean, come on. She wasn't adopted by Madonna. Yeah. What? Right. Can right. I jump in here? I, uh, I never got braces either, and believe me, I suffer for it. Look at my beauty. Now, will her teeth keep her out of Playboy? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Bruce. It, oh, fake teeth. Fake teeth. Really? All yeah. right. If um, uh, Ralph, yeah, I you got know. you got to you got to fix your teeth, and you got to wear like more makeup, look like more hoary, you know. 
Well, yeah, enough of Playboy, she doesn't. Rock, yeah, yeah, a little, a little bit. bit. Makeup uh, on your eyes. Yeah, the, All right, I need an evaluation as best as you can, Ralph. Uh, and they're Uncle Luke you, says you might he need can't it. tell. Bigfoot says he's confused, but can you tell her, <laughs> is she good enough for Playboy or not? I think I you need implants. Don't you think, no. Playboy? She got nice oh, she's got nice boobs. A little bigger, a little bigger for Playboy. Oh, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, that's Rob's evaluation. I think she's really hot, though. I think she's Thank smoking you. hot. Very hot. I mean, you got to fix your teeth, though. I mean, I why would you not do that? They're Listen. expensive. Costs They're a lot cheap. of money. How much you need right now? <laughs> <laughs> what are you spending? Yeah, Artie, why'd you spend thousand? your money on something? Yeah, never mind Uncle Luke. How about Uncle Artie wants to pay for your teeth? Find somebody with a nice Cadillac dry hump. Well, I think what what the guys are saying is you're hot as hell. According to Ralph, I think he's saying if you fixed your tooth, you could get into Playboy. But see, if I was in Playboy and I got money, I would... Yeah, but they're not going to take yeah. you with a snaggle. Have you, have you ever seen a toothless girl in Playboy? <laughs> <laughs> Gumby, Gumby in Playboy. Well, you've, gotten, you've gotten a very high marks. Uh, unfortunately, Uncle Luke and Bigfoot could not evaluate because of your uh, keeping your clothes on. But if I do a quick... One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah, that would help. Right. Yeah, help yeah that would help. And Real slow quick. count. One, yeah, two, I'll hold, I'll hold the, uh, hold Not the... a quick one, two, three. Well, right. Go ahead, now. boys. I'll give you a chance to at least see her topless. Go ahead. Real quick. What you're comfortable with. Wow. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, she does nice. not need implants. No, no, I, don't think, I think for Playboy, though, Playboy is like really big chested women. I mean, like, they're usually like out to here. Uncle Luke, what no, did you no, think no, of no. those? That, see, that's natural, right? There. They're beautiful. Yeah. I, I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't say you, you need implants, but for Playboy, you know. I think is she, she Playboy material now? She Ralph could get says. in the college edition. She could get in college. Yeah, One of the ancillary magazines. Yeah, get oh, get it, go to college. All right, there's your honest evaluation. The boys say you're good, you're great, you could be in one of the Playboy Is there something editions. she could do to amp it up besides breast implants? Get the teeth fixed. Get the teeth fixed. Get yeah. a new get, makeover. Get a little scarf. That's when she step up to the, to uh -huh. the big leagues. Uh -huh. What are you saying, Bigfoot? A scarf would help? No, a scar on her side of her. It's not a scar. It's a little black and blue. Turn all the way around. Yeah. It All the way around. Like a little, a little around a little bit more. She was fucking big. Yeah. She's a little shaky there, you know? Oh, like a little, oh, little oh, lines oh, under oh, there. Oh, so wow. she better see, get into Playboy. Right, see quick. the lines under there, you <laughs> know? Ass, yeah. yeah, I see them, all right. Yeah. <laughs> you got to tighten up. You baby. just tighten up a little bit. Yeah. Don't bit. tighten up at all, honey. <laughs> well, look at Artie. Artie's like 600 yeah, I, I pounds. Yeah, I ain't her. Look at her. Let's meet girl number Sierra. Thank you. And that was a pretty good thing. You want to date this girl? Oh, of course. But uh, look at that. Look at that broad. That's a hot All smoking right. broad. That was Sierra. And uh, I don't know. She did pretty good. But uh, of course, uh, not seeing her nude did hurt some of her chances. Let's go to Marcy next. I'm going to ask you guys to look over Marcy and tell me what the deal is here. If she could be in Playboy. Marcy, why do you want to know if you could be in Playboy? Why is this important to you? It's something I've always wanted to do. Uh -huh. And you're wearing a purple bikini. I am. Uh, how old a woman are you? Can we ask? I'm 25. 25 years old. Have you ever been in a magazine? You've been there to, have, you think she's older or younger? What? You think she's lying? Just now. Why would she lie? Are you lying about your age? No, I'm not. You are not. Okay. You're 25 years old and you're saying, hey, maybe this is something for me. Have you ever been in a magazine? You ever been naked around a bunch of guys? You ever, come on. T tell me your background. I've never been naked in a magazine. <laughs> never. But you've been naked around a bunch of guys? Have you ever done more than one guy at a time? No, I haven't. You haven't. Okay. Well, on a scale of 1 to 10, you rate yourself a 10. Yes. Do, what, well, you get a lot of good feedback from men, I guess, huh? Yes. All right. And uh, there's nothing you would change about yourself? No, I'm happy with the way I am. Okay. Now, if the guys give you an honest evaluation, you'll be able to handle it. Yes, I will. Good or bad, you don't care. All Not right. that I won't care, but I can handle it. All right. It's very hard to get an honest opinion from men. Usually they want to get in your pants. These three guys have no other agenda than to tell you whether you're good enough for Playboy, okay? Okay. All right, let's let's uh, let's see how that goes. Do we need to see her naked? Am I taking something off? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Take yeah, off as much day. as you can. As much as you can, Marcy. As much as you're comfortable with. All right, Marcy okay. is here to be judged by three gentlemen, Robin, who are brutally honest. Oh. You've got And you're going to want to take off those Marcy. bottoms because it's really going to hurt you because it's like the, your, your bottoms are like two sizes small. No, they're too big. They're too small. They look horrible. Get them yeah. off. Yeah, they're, they're squinching you up. The bottoms are squinching her up. Yeah, yeah. It's like look at all the, uh, like it's, you know. Does she have lines? Yeah, all right, let's see. Here's them. a woman who does not mind being nude. That's what I'm talking about. You nice. want to be a playboy, take nice. it off. Nice, there baby. you go. That's right. right. There you Uncle go. Luke makes the point. You can't be uptight about nudity <laughs> if you want to be in playboy. While we're looking at you, how tall a woman are you? I'm only 5'2". Five foot two, okay, but that doesn't seem to stop women in Playboy. A lot of women are five foot two in Playboy. I've seen. See, this she statistic. looks better now that she's naked, right? Yeah, she yeah a lot Nobody better. Nobody should bring a bathing suit. I got the bathing suit from you. Oh, you, you, right. you should do that thing that like they do in the magazine where they sit down and they put their legs up and you can see your uh, no, vagina. No, I'm not doing that. 
Well, well, you happen to look good. Turn around so we can see your hands. Yeah, yeah, watch. Don't fall off that thing. She's right at the edge. Yeah, don't fall off. You don't want to do that. All right. Now, yes, you look very good naked. I'm going to go to an expert. I'm going to go to Bigfoot first. Is she good enough for Playboy, Bigfoot? Yeah, I think she is. You don't have no scars. <laughs> you got the nice smile. You right. like the smile. Pretty yeah, smile. Yeah, I like pretty the smile. smile. All should, her teeth. You think it we looks should, uh, like she got a tight pussy. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm sure it is. See what I'm saying? She was yeah. an Epsom salt. Yeah. She, uh, she made an Epsom salt. Well, so. Did you soak in Epsom salts at all? I didn't, sorry. Jeez, that's all natural. <laughs> you know, I, I figured out that it's rare that Bigfoot sees a chick without scars. Yeah, apparently scars are a big deal to <laughs> Or gagged. All right, let's go to Uncle Luke, who seems to really know about women. Yeah, well, I, I mean, she, she looks all right. I mean, you know, she got to still do a little bit of toning up. You where? Know, uh, where could in, she in come? The, in the stomach area and somewhere on the leg area. There. You can see a couple of little wrinkles there. But, uh, uh, you know, there ain't nothing. I think I know. He's like, yeah, you look like, look here on the lower belly. There's some Yeah, lines. yeah, on the lower belly. There. Were you, did you used to be fatter? Do you have stretch marks there? <laughs> no, it's from the bathing suit. Oh, okay. it's from the bathing suit. Oh, see, that bathing oh, right. suit was just yeah. horrible. The bathing suit. No, I meant on your belly right here. Yeah, right no, it's from the bathing suit. Well, yeah. there's six lines. I mean, I don't think the bathing suit did all that. No, it's two lines. Mm -hmm. Two lines. The, the elastic that was One, in it. One, two, three. Yeah. All right, Uncle Luke, is she good enough for Playboy? Is she a Playboy material? She looks like Playboy material, but. But if she was to do a little bit of poses, it's like... Uh, do you have a Playboy pose you could show us? No. Nothing like that? How about that? that one I told you about, you know, where you put no, your legs up? And, no, are The you, back shot, you can't do you a back a virgin? Shot. No, I'm not a virgin. Oh, oh. clearly, Bigfoot. <laughs> Let's check it. Do you like girls? No, I don't. No, you don't like girls? Uh, can we see your ass? Turn around. Those are points. Those are points. <laughs> She's losing points. <laughs> she doesn't like girls, but let's, let's, uh, let's Ralph. What do you say? Is well, she first of all, I, I don't get why. You, why did? Why don't you have heels on or something? Uh, just, I wore boots in. Nobody told me to bring a bathing suit. I thought I was just getting naked, so I wasn't going to wear boots with a bathing suit. You should always have heels on, even if you're naked. But have you, uh, been, I, uh, have you ever been peed on? Um, no. No. All right. Would no. you like to be? No. No. All right. Well, go uh, ahead and evaluate. I don't. Th I don't think so. She's a little thick. I, I, she's a little, she's yeah. kind of a large girl. A large girl. You yeah. think so? I Big think she's the enough. hips, roomy. See, I don't think she's. I don't think she's thick. I, I think that because she's short, she seems. The word that comes to mind is stubby. You know what I mean? She's I very think, cute. I think she's she could stubby. be in Playboy. I don't think. Come on. No? no you don't see girls I, no, like her I in Playboy? She no, she's got, like, go, go down by her legs. Go down by her legs. Like, no, pan down, Scott. Like, see, like, her knees are kind of lumpy and stuff here, you know? Like, mm -hmm. she's got she to gotta lose some weight. It's too much. You gotta, How she, much weight does she need No to lose? carbs. 20 pounds. 20 pounds. 20, 20 pounds. And she could be in Playboy. Yes. <laughs> You've got yes. the face, he says. He says you need to drop 20. What do you think of that? Do you think Ralph's insane? I like a Somalian if I drop 20 pounds. All right. 58. Uh, I weigh 100 pounds. Where would I lose 20 pounds? You weigh 100 pounds and you say, well, maybe get down to 90. You should huh? weigh 90 at least. Come back to us, see us when you're at 90 pounds. Right, and then the breasts well, will look bigger. And I geez. like I like her look. I think she's good looking enough. Tighten certainly. up, go to the gym. Oh, so what good. about her hair, Ralph? I mean, is that a little too severe? Yeah, it's a little, yeah. Yeah, as Robin is saying. Uh, <laughs> are the, are those extensions? It, it, you, don't, you don't want to pull your hair back. You see, like there are extensions. Don't you need a little hair on the face? Yeah, you should have a little hair like this, you know, look yeah, pretty. Yeah, she looks a little, you look a little butchy. Right, right, That's right. why I asked you that you like girls. No, I don't like That's that. That's a good hair do if you're going to cook some meatballs, because you don't get any hair in the sauce. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, I can yeah. see her in an apron. Yeah. yeah. Well, She's got nice teeth, a nice smile. Yeah. Nice yeah. smile, yeah. That's a good hair do. But, you know, this chick's hot and everything, but if you put her in Playboy, you got to create a, a better magazine for the first chick. So Artie's saying no. I say Bigfoot. Gave a vote of yes, that's good enough. That Jason takes some pictures and send them down to our guys at Playboy All and see right. what they say. And this remember, Playboy is real. The, the chicks are really hot in there still. Yeah. I mean, they're not yeah. like skanky or anything. Uh, they're the top of the uh, no, they're the top of the food girl. chain now. I've been to Playboy. Ralph, Ralph, and no. Luke, uh, Ralph and Uncle Luke. Ralph and Uncle Luke say she's not good enough. Bigfoot <laughs> no. says she is good enough, and we'll send the pictures over to Playboy for you. And that's the end of that one, Marcy. Thank you. All right, here's the next and final girl, Victoria Stevens. As you can see, Robin, the room is brutally honest. Yes. These guys hold back nothing. Victoria Stevens, beautiful girl, on a scale of 1 to 10. Victoria rates yeah. herself a 9. She yeah. wants larger breasts. She's currently a 32B, but I don't know. You look really tight. You look like you're in great shape. Are you a married woman? No, not yet. Uh, you're engaged? Not yet. You have a boyfriend? Single. You're single. single. She's got those uh, those crazy eyes. Yes. like the, like Recently the... single. Recently so, single. Yeah. Are you a little bit crazy, as Rob says? Is you have no. crazy you got oh, crazy like eyes. The runaway bride. The runaway bride eyes, yeah. yeah. That was, that was a I don't know what the runaway bride eyes 
these are. <laughs> what do people, what they're means? yours. Who do you t- people tell you you look like someone. Who do you look they like? They actually say I look like uh, Holly. Holly Madison has first girlfriend, his main girlfriend. Who? So. Uh, you've also heard Jessica Simpson, yeah, Courtney yeah. Thorne Smith, all, um, all different names. Yeah. And, and do, you, do you make a regular living? Or are you in the stripping industry? I actually work? work for Playboy. You I, do? Yeah, I do work for Playboy. Well, why are you here? Because I never submitted for Playmate. I work as a cyber girl, and I do their parties, and I did a DVD for Playboy. So. But you want the real deal. You want, want to be a centerfold. Deal. You want to do Yeah, I mean, I work with Mike Gesterman, and, and I get hired for events all over the country. But I What do you do I at these the real, events? Um, I just host parties. Socialize. They pay me to come hang out and make the place look better. I guess. That's, that's I nice. Know. Take your clothes off now. <laughs> and do you like girls? Yes. You do. Yeah. You have had sex with oh, women. I haven't had sex. I've hooked up with them. But <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not the about? full. Not the full. If you haven't uh, eaten one out. No. But they've eaten you. No. Uh, you've Kim, you've made out with them. Yes. Made and, out. and they've played with your chest. Yes. All right. Okay. Fingers involved at e- either way for you or for them? No. No. No fingers involved. No fingers involved. No fingers. Why not? I was young. I don't know. Uh, so you should do That's it again. Hard, hardly lesbian. Now, it? this girl has worked as a model in a... Uh, I love how you guys are taking this so seriously. Well, we have to hey. listen. <laughs> she yeah. in the first step. You mean like Playboy <laughs> listens to us, huh? Well, sometimes hey, they do. Jillian Grace. We right? did get a girl in, and then she oh, really did become funny. a centerfold. All right, I'm going to go to Ralph. Wait, Ralph, I'm going to go to you last because you're such a yenta. I'm going to go first to Uncle Luke. <laughs> Uncle Luke, what do you think of this girl? And let's hear what he, he honestly says. Are you going to take off yeah, your clothes? Yeah. Good. All right, let's take yeah. a look. Yeah, yeah. All right. yeah, how's he supposed to evaluate? All right, you certainly have a tight <laughs> exactly. body. I don't think there's an ounce of fat on this Ooh, woman. Oh, nice, See, that's what I'm saying. Nice yeah, that's Big nice. Big difference. Big difference naked. Big oh difference. Yeah. You're a hot chick, there's no question. See, I don't even notice those crazy eyes now. <laughs> there's a lot more to look at now. Wow, there's yeah. nothing. Uh, she has wow. not a hair See on her. No, no. Wow! You don't have any hair on your body. No. You're well my, groomed. I, I like my butt the best. Yeah, let's butt turn around. Yeah. Your butt's perfect. Yeah, that is a Did nice you ass. Over a little yeah, bit, over a little yeah, bit. yeah, a little bit more. And not more. just only the high. We are, we're the judges. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Over to the guys. <laughs> more, more, more. Oh, wow. I don't want to fall off. Gary, help her out. Help her, Gary. Help her so she doesn't fall. Put your face down in it, Gary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now go down more. Now turn your ass towards us. We oh, got to yeah. see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there you go. Oh, nice. Shit, man. Right. Yeah. Hey, can uh, Uncle Luke do a line of blow off your ass <laughs> no. just to see? I mean, that's going to happen if you're in Playboy. Uncle no, Luke, it's, you've it's been with shelf. celebrities, you know, that they do blow off your ass. Let me say a couple of things here. First of all, the pictures of the girls are on HowardStern.com. You can make your own decisions. Mm-hmm. And uh, also, uh, don't forget, uh, we are uh, affiliated with the Playboy channel. Oh, so that's we right. can also uh, they're we right have a, down the hall. We can also mm-hmm. uh, use that avenue. So you could probably pull up my pictures. We could also use that they're, live. They're on there now. Now you know what that means, honey. Victor- We're the ones to fuck. Gotcha. Right? Yeah. Are Are you on the internet? <laughs> I am on the internet. <laughs> on, yeah. on, under what? Under on Playboy.com. Under <laughs> chicks, Bigfoot will never <laughs> tell you. Victoria Stevens. Right? What's your address? Um, I have is. a MySpace account, so you can go to www.myspace.com/slash Victoria Stevens. How many friends you got? You do. I just signed up there, so like 800. 800 Bigfoot, friends? Bigfoot yeah. never bang a chick this hot, honestly. Um, I don't think not this hot it is. Right. It's been a long time since I've had one this hot. Yeah. What was that? I bet when that guy was blowing you in prison, you were thinking about her. That oh, type. probably. Yeah. Girls I, I, I had a few pictures of the naked women on my on my little jail cell little, uh, bulletin board. Right. <laughs> Girls just thinking. Tell, tell, tell he made rules about it. You couldn't have that kind of stuff in front of. He used to have um, <laughs> w- w- women jail guards. Right. And then he would come in there, and he th- he thought it was offensive, but it because he were uh, showing their vagina on the bulletin board and stuff like that. Right. Well, well, let's go to Uncle Luke. Room, huh? Uncle Luke, come on, you're such a man. You know all, all right, about let's women. Hear it. Move, move um, the microphone. Oh. You should do that sexy little pose I was talking about, you know, where you you, you kind of sit down and then you put your legs up and... Oh, no. no? No, she's uptight mm. about keep that. Trying. That's not working, Ralph. Yeah. Yeah. That, that keep, I keep trying. That question's real creepy. Uh, Uncle Luke, go ahead. Let's give you the floor. What do you think? <laughs> see, I mean, every, every flaw that the other girls had, yes. see, Sorry. she's correct. Because the lady came in here, she's got a nice toned body and everything, beautiful face, nicely, <laughs> carefully manicured, but does see... And she did a little bit of poses, but only one problem what? is the breast. Yeah. Katie's yeah, not big enough. Small. The breast is the breast is the she's in the itty bitty. But can I say, can I say something though? Go ahead. 
Uh, Carmela de Cesare made Playmate of the Year, and she was the same size as me. Oh, shit. She came in she with came stuff. With her and she came well, with her. I'm friends yeah. with some of the Playmates, and, and just this year, Holly Anduro made Playmate, and she was small. She's a but big. But she might not have crazy eyes, though, too, you know? <laughs> in my oh. pictures, I don't have crazy eyes. It could just be that I'm, like, wide awake. I got up at 4.30 this morning. I got to say so like, something. I think it's kind of refreshing that the boobs are real. I know what you mean. Perky, yeah. We're you used know, to seeing I'm, big boobs in Playboy, but yeah. I don't yeah, You guys don't even know what real breasts look like anymore. I think it's kind of... <laughs> A little horny and being around all these guys. You, you need a little, hold still, you need just a little something to round them out a little bit because it's, you know, you just need a you little like bit. The shape? A very yeah. small implant. They're moving down. They're, they're on the way down. You know, just, yeah, just, yeah. A, just a little bit. See, see how they concave right here? Yeah, you don't exactly. want that. You, you want them coming fussy. out. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, uh, Bigfoot? He's too fussy. This is Playboy. Now, I mean, hey, I would Bigfoot I, give his opinion. Go ahead. Is she good enough for Playboy? I think she is. Very yeah. much. <laughs> more, more than the other one. Is she don't have no... But you said the other one was good enough, too. Yeah. She, this one is a little bit... I'd say about 120 at this. She's... Good at. See, Ralph, right, well, we're, we're dealing favor. with Ralph as a heterosexual man. Ralph says if your breasts were a little round, pu push your breasts up a little bit. And yeah. Let's see what push that some, would look like. Can I put this down? Yes, please. Push them up a little and let's see if Ralph made a good point. Oh, I see. Yeah. see just yeah. Yeah. Not, not like, right don't get like D cups. Just get something yeah. just to fill them All in right, a little there bit. There it is. Is she good enough if she gets the implants? Yeah, no, yeah definitely. She's definitely right. good. She's a beautiful enough. girl. Beautiful. No Sexy, question. Not everything. I mean, all this shit is right. All right. Uh, yeah. Turn, turn around. Let's, uh, some objection. let's see your Let's see your eyes. You know what she's got that's really hot? Turn on the side. She's got that nice arch in her back, too. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, that, 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 yeah, that's a nice well, arch. Yeah. You want to ride the Simeon? No, 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 thank you. Right. I think that her I'm head. Kind of a, I'm kind of afraid of it. You're kind of afraid. Yeah. Let me tell you something. You should be afraid. See, you know what's good with the breasts? If the breasts get bigger too, then your head won't look so big. Oh, gee, oh. Thanks. Oh. It could be that I have giant, you know, earphones on right now. But your head just looks big. But thank if you, you. The, the breasts will balance everything off. I okay. think the breasts will be a home run. Bigfoot yeah. looks like he wants to commit a crime. <laughs> no. No. You can never make. Should the, I start running? At you can never make the giant earphone issue of Playboy. Me, Sierra, <laughs> Sierra seems to get high. <laughs> enough marks again from Bigfoot to say let's take her pictures and let's send them to Playboy okay we have our connections there and let's do it so Sierra for sure you need a little makeover and uh, possibly but chain you up and eat I your like foot a, I would neighbor look at her neighbor do the teleprompter on her neighbor she has a she has a, a beautiful my neighbor neighbor <laughs> sorry neighbor. Neighbor. Yeah, I mean neighbor. she's got a beautiful flat stomach yeah that's nice stomach. lines in it that's and, and, a, and a nice vagina nice, uh, look, yeah. at that. look at yeah, that all right good all right well you've done and it. she likes girls and she likes girls. Tiny bit of hair on that would be nice. So. Uh, yeah. Actually, when You're I posed for Playboy, I did leave now. a little oh bit of hair. You left a little bit I of hair. I left a little bit. Yes. But normally, you know, when I'm not posing for a magazine, I like full shave. I bet you'd be a great girlfriend, so. too. I bet you really put out in the sack, right? That, that's, a, that's, a pretty, yes. uh, that's a pretty vagina you got there. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. you got to pay attention to this broad, right? Yeah. Yeah. A plus. A plus, so yeah, baby. Thank you. Yeah. you think All right. <laughs> Jason, get to work on that. Make sure. Did you, hold on Playboy. a second. Hold on a second. I'm noticing something. Did you what? used to have a uh, uh, a belly ring or something? Yeah, I did. That's yeah, you gotta like you gotta like some. Oh, don't stick your finger Sorry. in your belly. That's gross. But uh, you got some sort of scar or something there. Yeah, it's right above my belly button. Yeah, you should put the uh, belly thing back in there because it looks weird. And have you lost yeah. a lot of weight? No, I've been like 98 pounds my whole life. Because it's it's weird, just on the side of a, the on the side of her ass, it's hard to see from there. They're just like tiny stretch marks, but I don't know what oh, from. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, lines. Yeah, you see, yeah. right there and there and there and there. Yeah, yeah. it's I like can't. a discoloration. Good observation. Uh -oh. Good observation. <laughs> but uh, I wow. still say it makes you hot. I don't know. Please, that, 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 yeah. please, yeah. please that you can airbrush it out in two seconds. One right. question: yes. do, do you spit or do you swallow? Both sometimes depends on my oh, mood. Oh, do you like it all over the face? It depends. You know, guys prefer different things. Do you like it on the face? Of it? I've had, yeah. You have had, yeah. That. Actually, I have funny. One time, I had oh. it on my face and it it burned. It I, burned. I literally, I don't know what this guy might have had a disease. Or, I don't know. Did, you, I was like, did you squirt in the face? No. Is that way your eyes are? I, like, I turned bright red. Who were you with? The fly? I, no. <laughs> were you dating a Mexican friend? No. He was like a really good looking <laughs> white guy. He was normal, right. you know. Well, there you go. Well, One in three of the hottest, you, but two will fuck you. What are you looking for out of the man? Um, just a nice guy, but not not a you know 
Would you, Lazy kind of guy. Would you ever go out with a guy who has a couple of breaking and enterings? <laughs> Bay and uh, nice I, I dated that people nice that were Cadillac. arrested, but yeah. not for breaking and entering. Uh, <laughs> Big Chris got a huge cock, so. Yeah. That's a plus. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, and thank good you. luck with your future. We will thank send you. those pictures on to Playboy, as promised. <laughs> would you ever date a toothless monster with a beard, would you? <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, you've come through for me. Bigfoot you... is in love. Oh, yeah. be quiet. I'm in love, too. <laughs> all love this is going to make a great, great television show. Don't and, forget, um, you have to kiss Blue Iris already, so enjoy it while you can. Coming up next, you, you got to kiss Blue Iris. Well, such a great time. Can the other girls come out? Maybe one of those chicks I'll kiss. What about that? Maybe. Yeah, it might, maybe you should kiss them instead. Yeah, why don't you, we switch you, the bit? You'll probably scare them away. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> oh, oh, Uncle Luke, uh, you know what Artie has to do. He I'm made a bet. Joking. He made a bet, but on the Yankees, he lost it, and now he's got to kiss Blue Iris. Have you ever seen a picture of Blue Iris? No, I haven't. Show the, put up the picture of Blue Iris and who Artie will be kissing. Picture Bigfoot in a blue wig. <laughs> God damn, Artie. He's got to make out with her for 10 seconds. You know what that's evaluate like? evaluate her, Luke? <laughs> that's like, uh, so that's like Animal House when Flounder comes up. Luke, like, yeah. Luke give him oh, some yes. advice. What can oh, he do to yes. make this thing uh, somewhat more palatable? He's got to kiss her open mouth with tongues for 10 seconds. With the tongue? With Head the tongue. for the hills. Oh, shit, Artie. You need a shot of stuff. <laughs> I'm going to shot. Can you, I start drinking Yeah, now? you better start Let's drinking Let's show up some whiskey, guys. I'll, I'll do a shot with you, Artie. Bigfoot, you want some whiskey with me and Ralph? Uh oh. I don't drink it. I'll oh, good. have another coffee. Can you get me some of that happy weed if I blow you? Uh oh, sure. Yeah. You give me some of that happy oh, weed. Shit. I'll let you do anything you want to me. Some of that happy smoke. <laughs> oh, you might want to look into it. Hey, did you ever uh, get it, like, in the backside from a guy? Maybe. Uh, say, have uh -oh. you ever been uh -oh. That's for some of that happy did coke. It, did you get it in the ass? Oh, uh, once or twice. God oh. damn. Oh. Hey, oh. oh. That's all you big yeah, ass. What did they give you after you did that? I was for Viking. No. Why did that happen? Why did that happen? Why did that happen? Why that big foot? A little happy smoke. That's it? What Damn. happened? He gets real happy when he smokes. <laughs> Boy, weed must be better than I know. What are you smoking, Opie? Good thing you don't smoke, bro. <laughs> smoke anything you no get your hands on. <laughs> Bigfoot, explain to me what happened there. I didn't know you took that quantum leap. Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> all, all kinds of quantum leaps I do. You're a big man. I wouldn't think gay guys would want to bang you in the ass. I don't know. He just sees something out of me when I don't see it. Is. Did he put a rubber on? Oh yeah, you put a rubber on. Uh -oh. most, most definitely. Have you have you given it to guys in the ass too? Yeah. Oh man! <laughs> Ain't nobody squirted in your face. He's right? what you call no, first. Nobody squirted oh. in my face. You no. Squirted in another man's face? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you came in a guy's face. Right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Bigfoot, how can you say you're not you gay? Know. Did you ever pee? Did you ever pee on a guy? I around with both sides, with women or guys. You a fucking beast, Bigfoot. Oh, I know I am. Did you ever pee on a guy or have a guy pee on you? Oh, he peed on me before in jail. Oh. He gave me their golden towers. Let me understand oh, something. Oh, man. What's better? Can I have my laser pointed at you? It's better to receive. Get up on there and get naked so we can evaluate you. Uh, let me understand something. What is uh, worse? Or what do you like better? Can get a shot now. What do you, what do you like better getting it in the ass or receive or uh, or Give giving it, it in the ass? You got me confused. <laughs> oh, Which did you like better? When the man put his penis in your behind or when you put your penis in the man's behind? And, and I think I liked it better when I was putting my penis in his behind. Oh, so you're not gay. You're no. not gay. What feels no, better, he's, pussy he's or ass? Right. Pussy it is. She's feels better. Yeah, a lot better. Pussy's better than ass. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Really? But you, you were able to complete in the man's... Yeah. Oh, yeah, see? You were able to get a boner and, and oh, come inside oh, a guy. Oh, only me. He had to pay really well for that. Wow. Yeah. Did you really use a condom? Well. Yeah, he used the condom. Yes. Yeah. Bigfoot, you're a trisexual, if anybody asks you. <laughs> you try anything. Of course. Uh, I, I told you that, that a long time ago when, when you when first you met say, me I'm a trisexual. Just sell I, I, I try anything just to get a rise out of people at this. Wow. Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, Bigfoot, we've learned a Bigfoot's lot. Bigfoot's a party. <laughs> I like to party all the time. Right. You're a bear of a man. In the gay community, you would be called a bear. They were a big, hairy man. They yeah, like that. I'm yeah. big and hairy. All right. Which guy would you like to have sex with better? 
Uncle Luke or Ralph? <laughs> I don't know. You don't either one of them interests me. Neither one. <laughs> that that you? Yeah. Yeah. Is Artie more now, 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 what about Artie? Now, now he talks a little cash, yeah. yes, okay. and I might get interested. All right. <laughs> Well, there you go. All right, Bigfoot. How about if, uh, how about if I take you over for ten bucks? Uh, what, if you, what if I take you over to shit. Tiffany, uh, Tiffany, and get you a bracelet? Or something? A bracelet? Uh, Marty, bracelet are you shocked by this? It's shocking. I, I didn't realize Bigfoot had gotten it in the ass. That's a big <laughs> yeah, man, He's done it all. That's I'm a cherry. He was in prison for weed. Though. Yeah, but you know, I, like getting in the ass is not a question for me. Never ever. I'm trying right. to think of my most addicted state. Would I let a guy blow me for heroin? You would probably. That's a yes. Probably not. I hope not. I don't well, think so. I don't know, Artie. Yes. You were always a moneyed guy when you were in this situation. Yeah. If you weren't a moneyed guy <laughs> yeah, yeah, and couldn't a... afford your house. Oh, no, I had drugs and issues when I was broke, but I never I never Might considered, be a whole new Artie. Oh, I never considered oh, anything gay. That would be too rough. Uh, well, Bigfoot, you've certainly had an interesting oh, life. There's yeah, no question yeah, about it. You've going to be about. more interested in before I get done. Right, I bet. I don't think there's much more you can do. What else is there to do? I don't know. That's why I'm trying to figure out with you guys. Have you then. been with an animal? Hey, you got it. You, oh, well, I've been with all kinds of animals. Oh, uh, I've I've loaded animals in my Cadillac. No, uh, no, 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 no. Fuck an animal. No. You oh, ever yeah, fuck like a sheep? Well, there's something. When you were growing up, you never had sex <laughs> with a sheep? There's something to hang out to. No. You never had sex with a dog or a cat? No. No, chicken? Never put butter, peanut butter on I had a cat your... there for a while. It is, and he, once in a while, I get an upset stomach, it is, and I let him heat up my stomach, it is, from the the heat from the cat to my stomach, and he would make me feel better. All right, but you would fuck the cat. No. No. He probably, he probably claimed I was fucking the cat. <laughs> How often did you have anal, either getting or giving it? Was that like a once a week thing, or how often were you doing that? In the ass. What? Getting what? it in the ass or, or giving it to a guy in the ass? Oh, that ha happened to be once in um, a great while at this that wasn't a regular thing. Not a regular. No, it wasn't. No, no, not, like, not like getting blown. Yeah. No. That happened all the time. I can only hope that the cat that had a heat up Bigfoot stomach and another life was Hitler. Right. That's a bad assignment. Check out Uncle Luke, by the way, at LukeRecords.net. That's a very important place to go. You can check out Bigfoot on uh, his MySpace account, MySpace.com backslash Mark Shaw Jr. Right. Whatever that All right. Means. Whatever that means. And uh, and Uncle Luke, we wish you luck, of course, with LukeRecords.net, a big organization. You certainly are the man. And Ralph, thank you. And uh, Ralph is on the Friday. Show. Ralph is on the Friday show. He's uh, occasionally on the wrap up show. He's all over the place. And uh, three gentlemen Can't get rid of me. who were really, really on top of their game today. Uh, congratulations to all of you. And we will be back right after these words with Artie's worst nightmare. I'm going to get loaded. Go get loaded. And I'm going to chat up some of those chicks outside. Go chat them up. You might need to do that. You're you're a very beautiful woman. Hey, Bigfoot, Artie's got some of that happy smoke over there. I yeah, think. I know. The happy smoke yeah. can't get me nowhere with the bros. It, it, it looks what? pretty brown. I don't think it What would you do for Artie smoking. for a cigarette? <laughs> All right, thank you, and we'll be back right Here, kitty, warm words. up my stomach, you will. <laughs> what is it, Gary? I just wanted to let you know, because she was late, but Blue Iris is in the house. Oh, great. Right. Right. Oh, she got here. Blue, blue. blue. Artie, it's your day. You know, if she was absent, we would have had a substitute or one of the broads. Let's try it. I was thinking you would have kissed uh, Chris Canyon. I'll give you a last minute uh, choice. You could go with Blue Iris or Bigfoot. Oh, to make out with him. <laughs> I can entertain that, but listen. <laughs> what, if, what if it was just. Wait, 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 wait. What if it was just. just Bigfoot just kiss him on the lift. You don't have to use your tongue. Wait, hold on a second. Stop, what if it stop. was just. What if all. My Big, Italian uncle's hold on. What if all Bigfoot had to do was. Reach in your pants and cut your balls for three seconds. It's not kissing. Um, we're not going to. We're going to stop talking right now. <laughs> stop it. What if I give? You know, what if I give Chris bothered. Canyon like? What well, tell Chris Canyon? What if I give like ten grand to Glad or something? <laughs> yeah. Well, let's talk to Chris when he comes in. But I think you got to go through. Would you I do that, Artie? Gotta... Would you pay him ten grand to get out of it for real? Yeah. No. No. No money. No will money. Be I give him ten thousand dollars. I give him twenty. Hey, uh, I'm going to give a check right now. Yeah. Give a check. Bigfoot, you ever kiss a guy? Oh, I've done, I've done that, yeah. Damn, big foot. You are, 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 Have you ever kissed a guy while he's in your ass? Wow. Uh, no. No? Did you ever you? kiss a guy's ass while he was in you? No. No? I, I got him to say no. Have you been with more than one guy at a time? 
No. Oh, no. Shit. what's your favorite position, Bigfoot? Like, do you like to get it like behind, or you like the guy to be on top of you, or you like the guy in all fours? Like, how do you like the? It uh, don't really matter to me. It don't. It's, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> One more question, because I always ask this to the women. So, Bigfoot, have you ever had uh, your tongue in a guy's butt? Oh shit. Uh, nope. How about a guy for you? Guy had his tongue in your butt. Yeah. Hey. Oh, 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 hey, oh, oh, I took the shower and it didn't got all clean. Oh, y'all took the shower together? <laughs> no, together? no, 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 no. Oh. I took shower with other girls together. Oh, okay. Now you took a shower and then the guy tossed your salad. Yeah. Yeah. In jail, was this in back. jail? Is this in jail? <laughs> no, this was on the streets <laughs> when I was in Orleans and I was a little crazy back then. <laughs> so so you don't have to be in jail for all this. Some guy, on. some guy was yeah. so hot for you, he licked your whole asshole. Yeah. Wow. Damn, Bigfoot, you was a beast. <laughs> Uncle Luke, so crazy. Uncle Luke, you're gonna have to take him on tour with you, uh, Uncle Luke. <laughs> Uncle, Luke oh, shit. Uncle Luke, girls have put their tongue in your ass, though, right? No, no, I don't. I don't let them do that. You don't let no. your no. salad be no. tossed. No, no, no. 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 I'm That's... kind of the same. I don't like anybody fucking with my ass. No, don't fuck <laughs> with that. I don't yeah. want to put any girl through that. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, we've learned a lot. It's great. Uh, Ashley wants to say hello, and then we're going to take a wow. break. And then what Artie's, Artie's going to take a couple of drinks. Uh, Ashley, go ahead in Nashville, Tennessee. Go ahead. Hey, uh, man, this was well worth sixty dollars to get Bigfoot in today. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I mean, money well spent. Yeah, money well honestly. spent. Yes. Hey, and, and uh, Artie, I love you, man, but pucker up, Buttercup. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wow, it's uh, going to be a go tough for one. It. I'll give Chris Canyon ten grand. Uh, That's yes. my last goal. JB, you're on the air in Inglewood, New Jersey. Yeah, I just wanted to thank Blue Iris for a nice blowjob last night, and. Ask Artie how my cock tastes, if it tastes like a devil dog. <laughs> Good one, John Boy. <laughs> nice. All right, it's time. Let's take a break, Artie. I'm sorry. So what if he takes the 10 Gs? No, he's not taking the 10 Gs. All right, he's 15 Gs. He's the kind of guy. <laughs> Good luck with that, man. I, you, would, you, would, you would pay 10 Gs not to kiss her. Yeah. God, you got a lot of money to piss away, don't no, you? I mean, I don't, I, He's I, got a $13,000 watch. I'm not giving him a watch. Hey, for 10 G, I'll sell you my caddy. As well, as, what year is it? Is it cool? No, it's a 93. Oh, what great. kind of caddy? Um, Cadillac <laughs> Brown de Bell. <laughs> nah, that's all right. Big it smells like big foot of toss. That's hey, 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 oh, oh, hey, yeah, hey. Yeah, are you, are you throwing a, to a salad toss? It probably yeah. smells like guy's ass. <laughs> no, it's been well used. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> I'd make out with blue iris for 10 grand. You ever have uh, cum in your beard? <gasps> Who, me? Yeah. Guy uh, come in your beard? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Oh. The guy shot his load in your beard? Yeah. Damn, when, was the last time, when was the last time you were with a guy? How long ago? Wow. I'd say about... Uh, Six months ago, wow. when, I, when I was down in uh, Barton. And I was a little crazy back What then. happened? Oh, I got a little hard up with some happy smoke. It is, and he <laughs> dug out some happy smoke. It is, and I kind of uh, let him do whatever so he wanted. So when you're high on pot, you're gay? Yeah. Bigfoot, yeah, just say no. As, as long as my brain is happy, it is with the smoke. It is, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever had a fist up your ass? Oh, shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. You yeah, put your fist up some guy's ass? No. No. Wouldn't you stay away from weed if that's what you <laughs> did when you were <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Say no, Bigfoot. Just say no. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. No, no to what? No to drugs. Yeah, get hey, that drugs weed away from me. I'm happy it is. <laughs> Why? No, drugs make you gay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if I'm gay or what I am. I'm just a gigolo. Oh, okay. Oh, oh you are. Oh. Kind of like David Lee Roth. Gigolo. I just would love to do like a documentary of a beautiful boy being born and their parents holding him and then cut right to his tongue and Bigfoot's ass. <laughs> <and boy. laughs> In Orleans, it is up. The uh, $25,000 prize for our football pool is provided by BetUS.net. Call 1-800-79-BETUS or go online to BetUS.net. All right, let's get over first to um, Bigfoot, who I see is already on the line. Bigfoot, how you doing? You were a big hit yesterday. I was a big hit yesterday? Yeah. yeah. With your happy oh. smoke. Happy smoke and getting banged in the ass. You know my friend there it is? What? You know my friend there I brought in it is? He said it's me like a load of wood it is. Whatever. What What was that, Robin? I don't know. Load of wood it is. Something about a friend being a load of wood. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, Bigfoot. He, he thinks I'm a load of wood and I'm tying him down. What's your football? I'm staying with here. <laughs> 
What's your football pick? <laughs> the the Bengals. All right, the Bengals and Artie. What's the line on that? The Bengals are given That's, three. Points. Uh, minus three to the Panthers. All right, given three points. You had a big win last week. You took the Jets. And yeah, you I know, and I won. And you're in second place to Crazy Alice. Right. All right, very good, Bigfoot, and good luck with your Bengals bet. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Good seeing you yeah. yesterday. All right, that's Bigfoot, everyone. Now, I would say to Alice, this guy just went through $5,000 like it was water. Why should she give him any money if she wins? You say it to her. I don't I don't even care. <laughs> oh, uh, I'll, I don't I'll say it to her. I don't see Alice on the phone. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, Alice is on the phone and ready to give her football pick. Hello, Crazy Alice. Hello, Gay Howard. Hi. Hi. Alice. Hi, friend. I love you. Alice, I hope you keep your money to yourself if you win, because Bigfoot just blows money all the time. He won $5,000, didn't even hold on to it. I heard about that the other day, the damn fool. Yeah, don't give him your money if but you, you win. you know what? what? I'm going to tell you something. The man that used to work with him, uh huh. I will give him the money that uh, Bigfoot owed him. All right, if you want to. All yeah, right. the manager, not Bigfoot. I love him, but he's he fucked up. All right, the $25,000 prize for our football pool is provided by BetUS.net. Call 1-800-79-BET-US or go online to BetUS.net. As I said, Crazy Alice is 5-2. and two. She is in the lead. Uh, Bigfoot in second place. Artie and Elliot often are in dead last place. Let's go to Bigfoot. What are Bigfoot's numbers? Bigfoot is 3-2-2. Two, and two. He had a push last week. He All took right. the Bengals. Uh, Bigfoot, you're doing okay. You're in second place, but you got to win this week. You need a win. Yeah. You could use the money it is, I think. <laughs> By the way, uh, Bigfoot is uh, new to our show. He's our newest whack packer. He is not the old Bigfoot who died recently. Bigfoot, could you turn down your radio and get into this a little bit? You what? What's wrong with you, man? I don't man? know that that's a radio. Where are you? I'm in Gene, New Hampshire. Yeah, but what kind of a building are you in making this call? Uh, I'm in a motel. And what, what is was the... all that noise? <laughs> what noise? What? There's there's noise behind you. Are the girls getting loose from the ropes? <laughs> I don't hear no noise behind me. Do you have a TV on? Do you have a TV on, or are there people in the room with you? Uh, it was TV on for a minute or two. Yeah, you just turned it off. Yeah. So <laughs> when we say there's noise behind you, that means the TV was making noise. Oh. Uh, you sound like kind of dopier than usual. What's going on? Are you on oh, drugs? Oh, just my medication. I'm so a little tired. What kind of medication you on? Oh, a Seroquel seizure medication. Oh. Uh, schizophrenic medication. Schizophrenic? <laughs> what did you say? What kind? Schizophrenic. <laughs> schizophrenic. That's schizophrenic. Right. All right. Well, you do sound in bad shape, dude. Wow. Now, schizophrenic is a technical term, Howard. It's, <laughs> it's when a schizophrenia victim has the shits. Bigfoot, who's your pick this week? Uh, the Buccaneers. Mm. Uh, Tampa Bay. What do you say there, Artie? What is the spread on the Buccaneers? You went against my Giants, you motherfucker. The Giants are giving the Bucks nine. Well, you're taking the underdog. Yeah. Bigfoot, are you there? Yeah. <laughs> Did we wake you up? Uh, no. Are you getting in the ass from some dude? <laughs> no. Bigfoot, is there a dead forest ranger sleeping next to you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was going to say, does any of that medication keep you from going down on God? Yeah, uh, I hope so. You got the anti-give guys head medicine? <laughs> All right, Bigfoot. What? <laughs> Do you want an update on uh, Bigfoot and where he is with his management situation? Because it's funny. Okay. So he's back with his original manager. What happened was last week, Bigfoot was in New York and he got a flat. Mm. He didn't know who to call, so he called his ex-manager in Vermont who drove all the way down here to fix the flat. Oh. The guy he fired. Right, now they're back together. But we were surprised, Rich and I were surprised that Bigfoot's allowed to drive alone. You know Are what you mean? allowed to drive your own vehicle? Yeah. Like, if yeah. you had an accident with Bigfoot, right, and he gets out. You think that he's drunk, yeah. right? Bigfoot, don't you think you shouldn't be driving? Why? You have seizures and you're Bigfoot. <laughs> you know, this is all right. The medication controls it. What kind of a car do you have, Bigfoot? Uh, so I can look out for it. A Fleetwood uh, Bronzeville. <laughs> you got a caddy? 
Yeah. What year? 93. Wow. <laughs> That's a big car. Let me ask you something. What do you do at a yellow light? Slow down. Right. Well, he seems to know what he's he doing. He knows the basics. Yeah. What do you do at a yellow light? Slow down. What, what do, do you do at a yellow light? Cautious. Be cautious. cautious, right. Bigfoot, what do you do if your car starts to <laughs> skid? Do what? You sell it. You shit your pants. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bigfoot. You take your schizophrenia tablet. <laughs> what what kind of schizophrenia medication do you have? Uh, it's some green pill. Hmm. All right. Hey, listen, brother. Okay, we got Daniel. You know what? That pill makes him stop saying it is after everything. Yeah, it, su it, su it sucks, that pill. Stop oh. taking it. Hey, uh. What do you do if a girl breaks out of your trunk? <laughs> uh, I don't think a girl is going to break out my trunk. I don't have a lock on my trunk. Oh, there's no lock. She can get out. Oh, that's very good. What a in the basement I do. So, Bigfoot, you're up early, ready to greet the new day. When you're gonna, are you going to hit Starbucks and get going, or what are you going to do? What? Yeah, eventually. Yeah. When do you get up now? What, what's your day like? What do you got planned today? Oh, I'm driving back to Vermont. Oh, you got to still get back to Vermont. Oh. Yeah. This is the longest trip to Vermont we ever. He didn't say Vermont. He said Mont. Oh, sorry. He left Vermont. New York. Vermont. He left New York two weeks ago. Mont is just an hour away. Ah. All right there, Bigfoot. Thank you. Let's go. Just go online to BetUS.net. Just to give you a recap, uh, Crazy Alice is still in first place. She took a loss last week. She's five and three. Bigfoot's still in second place. Bigfoot took Tampa Bay, getting nine points from the Giants. He had a loss. He's three, three, and two. And uh, in in dead last place is Artie and Elliot often with the same record three and five. But Artie had a win last week and Elliot had a win last week. Let's yeah. go over to Bigfoot. Bigfoot, you need a you need a win this week. Come on, what do you got for us? Yeah, I'm calling the Falcons. This the Falcons. It is. They're giving. And sick. I want to thank you, Mr. Howard Stern, for able to give me that money. It is to able to get me back up here. It is. Yeah, we lent him. We not lent him, but gave him some money. And yeah, don't yeah. expect it back. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to thank you for that. How much did it cost to get him back there? Uh, of course, I think give him five hundred bucks. Really? Yeah. Where are you back there? Where exactly are you? Oh, I'm at the Bayview Motel. You always live in motels. Yeah, I'm like a brifter. It is. I brift from place to place like oh. a bad penny. I see. Yeah, he he doesn't really have a home. Motel to motel. What do you do? You have like a bag you carry with you? Yeah. Yeah, but you have no possessions, no furniture or anything. He has that Cadillac. I got, I, I, I got furniture. It's just in storage right now. It is. All right. Well. And what what's the overnight charge for these motels you stay in? Uh, pretty steep. Really? Yes. Like yesterday, I paid a hundred and something dollars. Wow. For how long? For a week stay. Oh, oh a week? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Imagine that place. hotel. It's, 20 it's less than $20 a oh. day. Oh. And where do you get the 100 bucks? Oh, I get uh, SSI and Social Security and all that stuff I do. Yeah. All right. Well, let's hope you get the 25000 Maybe we can get you a little home or something, you know? Yeah, I hope so it is. Yeah, up there. Well, he had 5000 and he did nothing to get himself stabilized. No, nothing. Uh, all right, so... Uh, Bigfoot, for fun at these motels, uh, you know what I would do? I would take a shit in the ice machine. Oh. Yeah, right. That's a lot of fun at a motel. Oh. oh, I can imagine it would be. All right, Bigfoot, what do you like? Give me again. So the write Falcons. It. Falcons. Uh, the Falcons. Artie, give me the line. Falcons are minus six to the Lions, so they're giving six. Minus six. I wish you luck, Bigfoot. Yeah, all right. Thank you. God damn, fuck you, too. <laughs> all right, Bigfoot, what do you like this week? The Ravens. The Ravens it is. Ravens are giving a touchdown. Minus seven to the Titans. All right, Bigfoot, you're in there. Come on, pal, you need a win. You're in second place, but you could use a win badly. Yeah, I know I could. What about you? Do you, uh, do you, how do you pick these, uh, these teams? Do you have any expertise in this area? No, all I do is just look for the spread it is and see what the spread it is. And then once you see the spread, you pick the team. Right. Hmm. Do you know anything about football? Uh, very little. 
Right. <laughs> Meanwhile, this guy's beating you already, and so is Alice, I, and, uh, and you know about football. I mean, I guess. I mean, <laughs> not much more than anybody. I don't know. Hey, Bigfoot, you know how to read, right? Very little. Oh, boy. Because, uh, <laughs> then how does he do this at all? Well, no, last night we're, we're writing these scripts for a bit we're going to do uh -huh. next week with Bigfoot, and I was sitting there writing one of them, and I said, gee, I don't know that he can read this. Who's going to, who's going to, how's he going to do this? Right. That's where my manager comes in place. <laughs> oh, he reads. Yeah. My manager reads it to me. He does. We're, we're going to give him an earpiece. Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah, so we good. can feed him the line. Okay, great. Throw that earpiece out immediately after that. Right. So how do, I mean, he does no numbers, I guess, though. So he can read the, the spreads? I don't know. That's uh -huh. fascinating. All right, Bigfoot, I wish you lots of luck with the, your pick this week. And, uh, again, you've chosen the Ravens, and we'll see how you do. All right. All right. Okay, uh, Tabitha Stevens is here. She's a porn star. I told her to stop by. She's going to do one more porno film, and she's looking for a woman to star in it with her. So we have two women who want to compete for this prize. And they will do a little scene with Bigfoot. So uh, let's get right to it. Here comes, let me take a look at Tabitha. She's blonde now. Wow, look at you, honey. Your oh, body looks hello. as good as ever. Skinny as can be. And that's the way I like my women. How you doing, baby? I'm fine. What's the matter with you? I'm sorry? What's the matter with you? What's the matter you with you? You look a little dazed. I am, but I can't hear. You can't hear a thing? Mm-mm. Gary? <whistles> Her. Gary came. Oh, Gary, come on me. No, I'm joking. No, Gary hates. Oh, here we go. Gary hates my hair. He told me. Why? You're He's, fine. He didn't like it. <laughs> what? What don't you like about it? What the blonde? She, she said, "What do you think of my hair?" I said, "I'm not used to as a blonde." She goes, no. "You like it?" I said, "I like the other way better." He said, "No." He didn't say he didn't like it. He says he likes the other way. I like better. the other way better. Oh, yeah, okay. she's all paranoid. Listen to this. <laughs> Tabitha thinks she's fat. She probably weighs eighty pounds. Bad. So she's going to get two ribs removed next. Oh, my <gasps> goodness. Get yeah, out of here. I, they don't really do that. I heard that's dangerous. Oh, they do it. But let me let me see your body. Stand up. Where do you think you're fat? Where are the ribs oh, coming from? I, me, my head is stuck. Look at this. This is great. This is take fat. off your clothes and let me see why you take think you're fat. Your where do you think you're fat? I'm not fat. I Tabitha, just want you're enormous. Well, Artie. <laughs> you're getting out of the porn <laughs> industry. What do you need this smaller well, weight see, All right. For? Now, like, the small, like it's. Let me see. Pull in your dress so I can see what you're talking about. Tits I don't look see it. good. Man. Tits oh, look nice. You. No, but I just feel Honey, like this could go a little bit more. You're crazy. You're insane. You're well, just look addicted. At you. You're addicted to plastic surgery. All right, so. <laughs> no, I'm not is your, is your asshole still white? Is um, it, is let me see not. your asshole. No, 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 no. I haven't done it in a long time. I'm gonna. You bleach your asshole, don't you? I did, and I stopped because it constipated me. Oh. Oh, really? And so yes. you think your asshole reverted to the brown color? Um, more pinkish, but yeah. Let's see, bend over and crack no, a smoke. No, I will not do it. Come no. on. Later. I'm like, I was not prepared. Why? You did your duty today? No, I didn't. You didn't? No. I you see a vagina. Are you wearing panties? No. You're not wearing panties? Let me no. see. I don't believe you. I am not. Yeah, you look good. Thank you. Why don't you shave the whole thing? You know what? I like it like this. That's, that's good. So they just take <laughs> off that bottom rib? They take the bottom yeah, the oh, bottom two. When really you go nice. to a plastic surgeon and, you, yeah. and you're a skinny, beautiful, bodied girl, do you, and you say to him, I want you to remove two ribs, does he tell you you're out of your friggin' mind? No. No. They don't say, no, we won't do it because you don't need it. No. Oh. Wow. Mm -mm. You're really going to do really it. Helps. You really would risk your life to remove two ribs when you got well, a body Well, i got to check like into it a little bit more. But Stop it. Yeah, won't that make scars? Check into a they psychiatrist. Do. You really need one. I you're mentally ill. I am not mentally ill. Honey, you got a skinny, perfect body. Why would you want visible just, scars? No, they fix the scars afterwards. Why would you oh. want your ribs removed? I might oh. not. Worry. It's a thought. It's yeah. not I'm going to do it. It was a thought. Please don't. Stop thinking about Please it. Please don't. Yeah, leave yourself alone already. It's enough with the surgery. So what are you doing? You're getting out of porn, but you're doing one last porn film? One more. One more. Have you said this a hundred times before? No. I, you said when you made the movie The Shaman that you, you were out of porn. You were out of yeah, porn. Yeah, you said yeah, you were out, out of porn. So now you're back in porn. I'm not completely back in. I'm going to do one last one. One last porno yes. with well, a chick. With everybody. Are you kidding? I'm oh, men, do, women, oh, everything. Oh, yeah. I'm going, yeah. So you're like the Rolling Stones. This is your final concert. <laughs> yes. And then, gonna, and then you're going to get out of porn. Yes. Completely. And then what are you going to do? You're just going to hang out and I live mean, your life? And raise alpacas. Remember You're raising alpacas? No, I'm joking. No, I actually, I like goats. <laughs> but You're going to you bought a farm somewhere in Utah? No, I don't. I didn't, no, I live in a um, turn of the century hotel, which yeah. isn't done yet. We're still finishing it. Which yeah. century? Um, 
one last year. And you got a boy. <laughs> and you got a boyfriend now. Uh, yeah, I and had you, him for a while. And you live with him. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you guys are going to shoot a porno, and you, the, two women from our audience want to compete. Okay. They're each going to do a scene for you. Okay. In front of, uh, they're going to act with uh, Bigfoot. I never met Bigfoot. All right. Bigfoot. Can I say something? Yeah. Tabitha seems different, doesn't she? Like, what some, do you mean? Are, you, are you high? I think no. I don't think she's high. I think she's very like I, 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 the direct opposite. Actually, I think this boyfriend's calm. To die. You seem uh, don't get insulted by this. I'm normal. <laughs> <laughs> you seem more like, normal than you ever have. Oh when you, you seem really? very lucid and sort of calm and non-porno crazy, like we're used to you. I like both ways, but you're usually sort of porno crazy. Oh, You're not. They haven't here. come out yet. Are you? Yeah, I know she's. Sort of, she seems like she's on an antidepressant. She's so. sedate. No, no, are you? Are you? Maybe are you on some sort of like you sedate? You seem is what. Yeah, I you're say. on a sedative, right? I take Xanax. Yeah, there's something yeah. going on here. But no, I'm not. You're very. I mean, I don't know. Usually a little more bubbly. I want to say, but I you, am. I think she's so. like in a coma. Yeah. Not in a coma. You're very. You're very. Uh, it's fine, but you're very like sort of. Uh, yeah, it's no, you know it's weird. I haven't been here. And what? I haven't seen you guys in eight months. So right. it's a trip. Is I that what it is? Yeah, I get nervous. It's Let really me see the inside rude. of your ass. If, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> bend over and crack a smile. Well, if I can see the inside of Artie's ass, then I'll show you. All right. I don't care if you do. <laughs> no one's seen me. I'll let you look. No one's seen me. Artie, let her take a look. You know, God, shove your face right in there. <laughs> uh, you've done it all in film, right? You've you've licked a guy's asshole on film? Wow. Yeah, I think I have. Yeah. Yes. You've taken you it in the ass? Oh, yes, I have. Have you ever taken two guys at the same time on film? Yes. You In the vagina and in the uh, anus? Yes. At the same time? Double penetration, three wow. of them in my career, yes. Wow. All wow. right, all right, so you've done it all. <laughs> uh, let me introduce to you the two women who want to compete. This is uh, Z- uh, Zoe, I believe, and this is Isabella. Zoe and Isabella. Are you Zoe or are you Isabella? Hold on, let me get a microphone working. I don't know which one you're on. Hardware. Okay, hi, girls. Hi, I'm Zoe. Hey, Zoe, where are you from? I'm from Brooklyn. Where? Brooklyn. Brooklyn. You got an accent of some kind? Well, I'm from Atlanta originally, but I've been in Brooklyn for the last six years. I see. And you want to get into porn? Sure. All right, and you're a nice-looking girl. You got a uh, thin body. Are you, are you, are you good-looking naked? Do you mind taking your clothes off so we can see what you got? I don't mind. You don't mind at all? Go no. ahead. Show hey, what does she do now that she wants yeah. to get into porn? Do you take off your clothes and let's take a look. And... I'm a, I'm in grad school. I'm going to school to be a sex therapist. Well, kiss oh, back good. goodbye. Oh. Kiss <laughs> back goodbye. Get naked. Do you bleach your asshole? No. You do not. You right. will. You will eventually. <laughs> take a look at her tab. It's okay. Could she uh, be in a porno with you with that body, or would that be a uh, turnoff? She needs a few ribs removed. Yeah. <laughs> she needs implants, right? Yeah. A little bit? Does she need them, Tabitha? You know what? Not really. Cause no? it, yeah, she's got that young look. She's got a young look? Uh-huh. You would yeah, keep that really for... Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. So you, you want to be in a porno real bad, and you want to act with Tabitha. Is that correct? Yes. All right, let me see what you've have done. Have you been with girls before? I have. Oh. You've ooh, done nude ooh. modeling. You've done fetish modeling. What is that? Um, You know, latex, uh, any kind of fetish content. Yeah, and you worked as a dominatrix. Yes. How much can you get make a year as a dominatrix? Um, You know, I was doing it part-time with all my other projects going on, so I yeah. never really kept track. But... Yeah, but you can make some decent money. What do you get paid oh, an yeah. hour to be a dominatrix? $200. $200 an that hour. That was my fee. And what kinds of things do you have to do when you're a dominatrix? Oh, you do all kinds of things. Um, pee on people, poop on oh. people. So you pooped on a dude? <laughs> oh. What do you do? How do you plan that? Let's say you guy's coming in, he only has an hour and he wants to be pooped on. Well, normally people have a pretty clear idea of what they want to do. They come in with a little list. Yes. Know? So so in other words, if a guy says he wants to, you, you're to poop, but what if you're not, I mean, you're a thin girl. I mean, what if you don't have a, a one in the uh, chamber? I usually have to use an enema. So it's kind of violent. Oh. It's really gross. It's actually something I won't do anymore. But. So if I'm a John and my thing is that I like to get shit on, you're telling me that at some point you'll excuse yourself, you'll take an enema. Normally another Dom would come in and give it to me. It's a little sexier that I way. see. Yeah. I would eat a bowl of shredded wheat. That makes me poop like crazy. Ten yeah, minutes. Yeah, but I mean, ten minutes is all it takes? Ten minutes right really? through me. Yes, yes. And so, and then you would shit on a guy and then he would pay you? Would, he, would you Would you masturbate him while you did that? No, not at all. You never I touch him? I let them masturbate themselves. So I could lay on the floor, have you shit on me and masturbate myself? Yes. And that would be $200 for that privilege. Yes, and you'd so love you every go moment. Right. right on the person. 
Yes. Now, and after you wow. shit on someone, does the room stink to high heaven? Oh, my God, it's horrible. It's horrible. Just because it's your own shit doesn't mean it doesn't smell. Right. And does the guy go, oh, Tell me about smell it. Is, <laughs> the, the guy goes, oh, is that so unbelievable? The smell is so fantastic. Oh, God, the rubbing it in, loving it, ooing and eyeing. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. I guess Man. the smellier wow. the better. Howard, huh? Can I ask you a question? Do, do, does it get so weird that guys would actually request that you eat certain things for you to crap on them or not that weird? Um, I've heard of things like that. I never got that request. And when a guy when a guy wants something like that, do you ever since you're a, in college, do you ever analyze that? Like, why does a guy want to be uh, pooped on? Why does he want that? Oh, it's easy. It's easy. I think that um, well, the pooping I'm not so sure about. I I think in, I can I can say with dirty talk, you know, if someone was raised in a, a yeah. way that. Um, you know, maybe they were abused verbally or something. They're they're kind of owning it, you know. I see. I so. see. I see. So that does but sound. You can weird. take it to a further level with with the pooping. You say a businessman, a Japanese businessman, once paid you to stick three eggs and three candles and three flower bulbs in his ass. Not at the same time. <laughs> in other words, but in the course of an hour. What yes. would you do? Would you have him chained up when you did this to him? Uh, well, he came in. He had a little thank you note, and he had all the directions written out specifically. So because he didn't speak English. No. All right. No sick egg. It was on a thank you card, a Hallmark card. It was so really somebody cute. actually wrote that out for him. Yes. Wow. He had to share that with somebody. And what did it, it say? Dear mistress, please put three eggs and a flower bulb up my ass? Uh, pretty Whoa. much. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. It said he wanted to be Mitsuko, my slave dog. Okay. Um, I remember it very well. And uh, so, yeah, we start off with the candles, and it had little bells on the on the edge. How much of a candle would you put in a guy's ass? Um, well, you know, probably that much would fit. Well, how much is that much? Two inches? Yeah. Two inches. Secretary, you take Lena. You take Lena down. <laughs> how much of an egg would he get in his ass? Um, well, I put three eggs in his ass at once. Hard boiled? Oh, Hard boiled with condoms wrapped around them. I and, see. Uh, oh. Then I, I made eggs? him box like a chicken. I have no idea. <laughs> And uh, did you ever play feel the eggs. Did you ever feel bad doing this kind of? I mean, you got a nice body. I'm looking at you. It's growing on me a lot. Did you ever? Did you? Did you ever? Does the guy orgasm when he has the eggs in his ass? Uh, he didn't orgasm. Actually, one of the eggs got stuck in his ass. <gasps> How'd you get it out? Um, I had to put a glove on and fish it out. Oh, it was so funny. You should have seen the look of concern on his face. Oh, well, yeah. Did you pull out a turd with that? No. No, with the eggs discolored in some way. Well, I guess it was wrapped in a condom. So. Oh. Hello, doctor. Egg stuck in ass. <laughs> and what is this? You stepped on a man's balls with stiletto heels. I've I've oh, got balls. Yeah. I'm a Man, I can't imagine anyone How do you surviving that. that. Doesn't yeah. that puncture the testicle? Well, you know, there's some bleeding. Oh, know, for Christ's it, sake! <laughs> well, don't you ever feel bad, even though these people no, want I it? I love it. You love Aren't it. They it's, so much fun. Yeah. It's, it's very symbiotic. They're getting something out of it. I'm getting something out of it. You know, wow. what's there not to enjoy about that? Zoe's bisexual. She's been in long relationships with women. You're looking at Tabitha Stevens. Are you attracted to her? I, I imagine you are. You like that yeah, body? Stand up a model for her a little bit. See what she'd get if she could be in a movie with you. I don't think I could stick eggs in my ass. Though. Yeah. I mean, I, I bleach it, but no, I right. haven't bleached it more. All right. So, I mean, you so. miss using eggs. They're great with peppers and stuff. I mean, you know, not for sex. All right. You're 30 years old. You live in Brooklyn. You're single. You're 30? You don't yes. look uh -huh. that at all. You look all. a lot no. younger. You do. Thank all you. right. Now, you ready to do your scene with Bigfoot? I am. All right. Uh, Bigfoot, we're going to bring him in, and then we'll meet uh, woman number two who wants to be in porno as well. Uh, Zoe, let's hope that you pass your audition and you get to be with Tabitha Stevens. She says, physically, there's no problem. You look good. Chick is hardcore. And there is our actor, Bigfoot. <laughs> How are you, Bigfoot? How are you? Hi, Bigfoot. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, it's me, Howard, over here. Bigfoot, look at me. <laughs> it's me over here. Yeah. How you doing, pal? I'm doing fine. All right. Oh. Are you ready to act? You like this girl that you're going to act with? Oh, yeah. All right. Now, I'm going to ask you in this scene that you're going to do with Zoe, I'm going to ask you to pretend that you are a, what are you? You're a proctologist, right? In this scene. Is that right? She's studying to be a proctologist. Yes. All right. You're studying. <laughs> Professor Bigfoot is what the book says. Is that what it is? You're Professor Bigfoot, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. And, and, and Zoe. I'm Professor Bigfoot. Yes, I am. Zoe, what are you in this scene? Uh, candy melons. I'm studying to be a proctologist. She's All right. horrified. All right. So you're a student, <laughs> and that is my your, teacher. And he is the teacher. Mm -hmm. All right. You're going to your. You're going after hours to visit your teacher. Is that right? So it seems. Hi. All right. Uh, hi. How are you? I don't know that guy. Uh, Tabitha, sit quiet and watch the scene. You, I'm sorry, you, you, he looked at me. I don't know right, him. Don't worry okay. about him. Okay. All right, Zoe, you are a student. Shut up, Tabitha. 
That's not Tabitha Bigfoot. Tabitha's on the couch. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Excuse me. Bigfoot, did you get a hold of some of that happy well, smoke this morning? I'm confused here. Did you smoke weed this you got, morning? You got a happy smoke? You got yes. That? Yes. Right. Oh, okay. That explains a lot. <laughs> How much do you eat when you're on a happy smoke? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. Right, let him let him act now, Artie. Here I we go. I can't wait. All right, your candy melons. You're a student. Your professor is. I'll eat you your come. ass, Artie. <laughs> oh my God, that's All right, horrible. Let's go. Here we go. Go ahead and act now. Here it is, your audition. Hello, Professor Bigfoot. May I come in? <laughs> yes, you can come on in. Yes. Are you sure it's okay for me to touch your rectal cavity? I don't want to get in trouble with Principal Benji. <laughs> stop stop the small talk and, and stick your finger up my rectum. <laughs> okay, well, here goes nothing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yowzers, your rectal cavity is tight for an older gentleman. <laughs> Milk that prostate <laughs> and shut up. Ah, ah, ah. Oh boy, you just sprayed all the MacBook. I'm ready to shoot my love mayonnaise. <laughs> ah, ah. Oh boy, you just sprayed all over my MacBook. You're goddamn right I did. <laughs> well thanks for helping me learn all the <laughs> learn the, the human prostrate English or excuse me, Professor Bigfoot. <laughs> All right. Oh. Shut up. Tomorrow we'll study the at, uh, area of <laughs> ass and balls it is. Okay. The pain. Uh, there you go. All right. Well, that was Come pretty, back in the morning. That wasn't a bad scene. I, I have to take off points. I think we found a new star, oh, Bigfoot. Uh, Bigfoot was terrific. And Zoe, you didn't put your finger up his ass. I'm surprised you didn't do it to him. Was I supposed to? I don't know. Do it now. Go for it. Uh, he can do this. Come on, again. baby. You, uh, the acting was... Uh, my foot. I took, I took the shit this morning. Oh. Oh. Uh, Stick it in there. There's a motel in Vermont that's down well, in that real estate good. value. Thank you, Bigfoot, and uh, thank you, Zoe. That thank was your you, opinion. Howard. Now, Robin, I want you to pay attention because I'm going to ask everyone at the end of the second audition who was the better oh, girl. Oh, do we have to judge? I didn't we know We all that. do. Now, and um, of course, Tabitha Stevens is here. You can check out Tabitha, TabithaStevens.com. You can see Tabitha on Dr. 90210 tonight at 10 o'clock on E. And that was Zoe who badly wants to be in porno, and she just did a big scene with Bigfoot. <laughs> now, our second contestant, her name is Isabella. How are you, Isabella? I'm good. How are you? Wow, you look very sexy today. I think you're a nice-looking woman. you got too many clothes on for me for porno. I agree. You, are you uncomfortable taking your clothes I off first? I love taking them off. All Ooh. right. Well, Tabitha. I like that. See, yeah. I'm listening up, Artie. Oh, very, very well, nice. uh, Artie's like, oh. What do you do for a living <laughs> that you're so comfortable being naked? I used to be a stripper. I oh, design were. stationery now. I bet you made a lot of money as a stripper. You're a nice looking woman. I know a little bit about strippers. Really? <laughs> what I used know? to have one for I two used... weeks. Oh, she's great. Wow. Then what happened nice to little her? Little there. I know that they fit in my glove compartment. I think you've got big, beautiful breasts. I want to kill the stripper. Yes. I yeah. thought so. We got it. Thought. All right, just hold on. I don't on, have any friend. underwear on. Oh, <laughs> well, no, you don't. You've got what a some... snatch. <laughs> <laughs> What a body on you. Turn around Turn so we can around see here. it. You can see it. Wow, nice. The whole thing. So now she wants to be in porn too, huh? Nice old bush on you. Well, let's hold off for a second, Bigfoot. And let's, hear, let's hear from her. Uh, this is uh, Isabella. Isabella, why do you want to be in porn so badly? I love Tabitha, and I always thought it would be fun to be in at least one porn movie. And you don't have any problem making out with a woman and oh, doing everything? I love it. You love it, and you like to be on film, though. Tabitha, you attracted to her at all? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, she's a very beautiful woman. Absolutely. And you'd have no problem making love to I her. I would have no problem. Right. You would go down on her and everything. Yes, I would. You're my newest experience. What? Should hear my newest experience. What Having two at the same time. You had two at the same time? Yeah. You did? When? In two different impressions. In what? So when one won't put out, the other one will. You had two women at the same time? Yeah. When? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, really? uh, 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 uh. <laughs> when did you do that? Just a few days ago. Really? Where did you find these two women? Did they struggle? No, he don't struggle. He'd love to hear about you. Yeah. 
Okay. Oh, so you drop Howard's name? As soon as I mention anything about you, he just instantly takes their clothes right off. Oh. <laughs> Howard, fuck me. Howard, <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> Now, let me uh, see what I have uh, information-wise on uh, Isabella. You are a lovely woman. You do look great naked. Thank you. You uh, are bisexual. You, was one, you were once in a relationship with a woman for five months. So you I were don't know pretty... what she's jittering about. Uh, well, I mean... What? She's yapping too much, Big one. You say that uh, you've had a lot of one-night stands. You say you've been with over 100 guys, so yeah. you're very loose, huh? Probably more than that. No kidding. Why do you think you're so sexual? What happened in your I'm life? I'm a horny girl. You are. Yeah. You love sex. I love sex. Wow. And, and and even when you were a stripper, they say, oh, strippers hate it and stuff. You probably um, liked it. Almost every night if there was a cute guy, I was going home with him. No kidding. Absolutely. And why, I'm why a cute you... guy. What's stopping you with me? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, why did you and get I even got nine and a half inches. Imagine. So <laughs> why did you get out of the stripping business? You're beautiful. I got too old. Too old. What you look good to me. How old are you? I'm a couple months you, older than you. You just got started. Wow. Well, you, We've got strippers way older than her, right? That's right. You say you love <laughs> anal and giving head, and you don't mind tossing a salad I or two. I love wow. to toss a salad. You'll put your tongue up a man's oh, way ass. Way up there. No kidding. Really. What's the wildest sexual thing you've ever been involved in? Or the hottest thing? Okay, this is back when I used to do a lot of drugs. Um, what kind of drugs did you do? I was on ecstasy, and I met these five guys, and I said, give me one hit of ecstasy for each of you and go to town. What do you mean? I had all five. You had all five guys at once? No, well, I mean, they had to obviously move well, around Tell me what they bit. did to you. Did they bring you, where did they, where did they uh, take you, to a house? No, to a hotel. To a hotel. And you, and you took how many hits of ecstasy? Five. You took five hits of ecstasy. Ah. Did you get them up front or after? Up front. Oh, good for you. Right. And then they all went to the hotel with you. Yes. And, and you got naked. And they took turns. And they took turns, what, with your mouth, with everything? Everything. 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 Every indignity they can think Absolutely. of. Absolutely. And you enjoyed the whole thing. Hell yeah. <laughs> Robin, is that a fantasy of yours? No. I'm not saying you would act on it, but to have multiple no, no, men no. taking you. Not like that, no. I've, no. I've had the fantasy of two guys at once. Not but five? Not five, no. It's never gone beyond two. I, I, I've done 10 without being on drugs wow. in my personal life. When you, I was, in your personal when life? When I was 21. Yeah. You did wow. 10 guys at once. Why yes. would you do I mean, how does that happen? I mean, how it does just, it, It's fun. You were in a room and you and all 10 guys wanted to do well, it. Well, one of my friends had friends and I said, well, let's just do it. And at the end of it, I was completely raw. I had to go to the hospital the next day. Raw? Oh. Yeah, because I'd been doing it. Yeah. Wow, because you Excellent. got banged so much. Yes. What about you? Did you have to go to the hospital afterwards? No, no it was oh, easy for you. My ass hurt the next day. Your ass hurt. <laughs> Probably too much tequila <laughs> mine did too <laughs> big had it in the you ass got right you. had a guy up your ass right yeah yeah you had a guy up your ass oh, would right. it be weird if they shared he's a guy he's still in there he's still <laughs> in there <laughs> that's what he just told me all right he's trying to get out all right in your script i'm going to ask you now to act for us and i guess this is a different scene because bigfoot yes. i mean big yeah bigfoot is holding a baby this bigfoot i will play this time um misty you're going to play misty isabella i mean uh yes isabella you're going to play misty and misty is a very famous actress who wants to adopt an african baby i see that's why bigfoot is holding a black baby bigfoot is in charge of adoptions <laughs> uh, we find uh, Bigfoot in the adoption agency. The babies are crying. And as you can imagine, um, Isabella wants a baby and will do anything to she get a baby. She wants it in the worst way. And Bigfoot yeah. is dishonorable. He will take anything he can get <laughs> for an African baby. Go ahead. <sighs> yes, ma'am. What can I do for you? I want an African baby like Angelina Jolie and Madonna. This is a new black baby right out of the oven. Cool, I want it. <laughs> <laughs> you have to live in this horrible country for a year first for, for a baby like this. I can't do that. I'm a huge star in America. You're not shit here. It is. Just get in line. It is and... <laughs> and shut up. <laughs> Surely there is something I can do. Don't call me Shirley, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there something I can do? Hmm. I can't think of anything. That's because you're a big fucking retard. <laughs> Try putting your hand on my tit. Oh, Ooh, yeah. <laughs> It feels nice. Oh, good. 
And I still can't give you a black baby. <laughs> then, then put your hand on my, you know. Where? Oh, my, you know. I'm a retard. <laughs> I don't know. Where? Listen, you dumb lummox. Put your hand on my hole. You know, the stinky place. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> He's really into his role. <laughs> Bend over. That's not in here. <laughs> Feels good. <laughs> the not baby's my, dead. Not my ass, my kitty. Oh, your kitty? Oh, better perfect. Your pussy. Now drop a big load in my hair. Beat that retarded meat in my hair now. Yes, ma'am. Here it comes. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, ah! Oh, yeah. Now can I have my baby? Here comes my retarded load. <laughs> Great. <laughs> now can I have my baby? Now, that, that was nice. Now you can have two Negroes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Thanks. Uh, Bigfoot. Big you can let go now. You can let take, go. Take, take a, a big step back. Want. Now that her ass. Take now, two steps back. Now that her ass two smells like buffalo back, wings. Right. <laughs> well, what'd you think of that scene, huh? Very nice job. Very good. And you got your black baby. Isn't that nice? He was really going to town on that ass of yours. <laughs> How'd that yeah, feel, all right? It was a little scary. A little bit scary. Howard, the weirdest thing is when she goes, no, touch the other place. She had her hand over her. <laughs> 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 she was afraid my... he might go for it. Yeah, you didn't put your finger in her ass, did you? He for tried. That? He tried. He tried. No, I pried. Right. Did you, did you Look, squeeze it? I a little bit. I mean, why not get a little bit on the stern shelf? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Isabella, I got to say, you were uh, terrific in your scene. Okay. Very nice. And your body is gorgeous. Thank and you. you look great. And uh, this was a very hard decision because your competition, Zoe, was very good, too. She was. Although you were more physical in your role with uh, Bigfoot, and i got to say, you are a brave woman. She had more to work with in her script, though. Do you think so? I think so. Oh, oh. We should make her do something else. We make her do something else. Oh, well, can I touch her ass? Uh -huh. oh, that's up to her. I don't know. <laughs> can you spank? Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> well, now it's time to vote and figure Yikes. out who's going to get to do the scene with Tabitha Stevens. You know, this Bigfoot a... holding that black baby, you looked exactly like Brad Pitt. <laughs> What, look like who? Forget it. All right, let's uh, let's uh, let's find out from everyone here. Both girls worked Ooh. very hard. Tabitha, Ooh. I what should touch you? them. It's not go over. Go, well, go over and touch the girls if you want. If that okay. will help you make your decision. Oh yes. Yeah. We're gonna really leave it up to you mostly. Yeah. We can try. Yeah, You'll well, have most of the vote. Yeah. You have most of the vote. It's your movie. Ooh. Both these girls Ooh. would very that much like to be in a movie. <laughs> he thinks he, Bigfoot thinks that Tabitha is like a sacrifice. Well, hold it, Tabitha. Before you do anything, face the camera. And yeah. Tabitha, uh, I see you're busy over by uh, Isabella now. Yeah. Uh, Isabella, you really are attracted to Tabitha. I am. Absolutely. And Tabitha, right away, you have your hands on her ass, don't you? Oh, it's on her breast. Oh, on her breast. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was trying what to is wrong with you? I don't know. Reach behind me. Wait, where? <laughs> Ooh, she's nice. Take your underwear off. <laughs> All right. Well, why don't you, you, you guys want to kiss each other and see if there's any on-screen chemistry? Sure. I think All right, go ahead. All right, go ahead and see if there's any chemistry between the two of you. Oh, there's obvious chemistry, and they just met. Well, this girl just wants to do a movie with Tabitha. Yeah, well, that's all she'd have to do. She doesn't want a career. She just likes Tabitha. Hey. Wow. Oh, that's hot. Too bad I couldn't uh -oh. get in the middle of that. Oh, yeah. Bigfoot, okay. that would mess it all up. Uh, yeah, for all of us. Wow. Thank you. Oh, how cute. Oh, oh, I like this. is nice. Wait. What are you looking at, Tabitha? Nothing. What do you say? Nothing. <laughs> You're I'm touching just, her? Yes, I'm touching her vaginal region. <laughs> are, you have, are you getting excited? I'm sticking my finger in it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you two are really fast oh, friends, God, aren't you? Yeah. Boy, oh. chicks know exactly what to do. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> She's oh, wow. shaking. She's shaking. You really do love Tabitha, don't you? I'm shaking. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, I wish I could make a broad do that. It takes me hours to do that to a girl. I get down there and lick that cunt. Well, let's not be gross about it. Uh, let me talk to Isabella. Isabella, before Tabitha, you seem to be really shook up from that little sexual experience with Tabitha. I know. I said it. No, go ahead. This is all very exciting. It is, yeah. Yeah, you have a look of love in your face. Yes. For you and Artie and Robin. Oh, isn't that nice? Eric back now, <laughs> why don't you say hi to uh, Zoe, uh, Tabitha, and say hello to her. See, try hello, her. Oh, come here. Oh, my God, Zoe. Stick out your tongue. Like, really, like, uh. Like, All the way up. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. The two of them are just going right at it. Wow.
You guys are in love. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Tabitha knows what she's doing. Well, she's a, she's a professional. A right how was that see. kiss, uh, Isabella? Was it nice? Oh, she's all here. I mean, Zoe, how was that kiss? Oh, it was good. And you like Tabitha doing that to you? You do? Yeah. Feels good? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Same finger? Nice and smooth. Ooh. Wow. Very nice. Can I have both of them? Uh, <laughs> you want them both in your movie? Your movie. <laughs> you want them Why both? not? All right, when, when you see a scene, would you ha Would you rather see me with two chicks getting all a little crazy and like... Hold on, uh, Bigfoot. We're trying to do a show. What is that? What are you asking me? Would I rather see you with two chicks or one? What would you rather see, Artie? Just one or two? Wow, that's an interesting question. No, I think if you're going to go that way, you might as well put as many hot chicks as you can there. I, the three would work out for me, I think. Yeah. Girls, how do you feel about all being in a scene together? I'm game. You are game? All right, well, everyone's a winner then, I guess, except for Bigfoot. Oh, that's good. Yeah, but Bigfoot's going yeah. home alone. You what? You big nine, is it? Nine and a half. No, you don't. You want a bat? I want to see it. Oh boy. Can, can we I'll show it to you right now. <laughs> you want to show it to her? Go ahead. Prove her wrong, Bigfoot. Oh, my God, no. I don't want to see this. Oh, oh God, what's coming out of there? Exactly. <laughs> Bigfoot has nine inches. Is that true? I see. It's, there's something in his pants. Let me see that nine he inches there for Tabitha. Let's see it. Pull, it. pull that sucker out. Now spit in your hand. Oh, no. Spit in it. That is not nine inches, Bigfoot. And when it gets hard, it is. All right, put it back in your pants. Put it back in your pants, Bigfoot. It's ripping out. Wow. It's a dead skunk in his pants. Holy cow. I don't think it's nine, but it's kind of, it's it's nice. All right, well, Bigfoot. When it gets hard, it is. Oh. That wasn't hard, Bigfoot? That's just somewhat hard. When it gets hard like a banny, you know it. What are we gonna wash a everything banana. Bigfoot touches? I mean, what's like going a what? On? Ever had a banana? A banana? A banana? <laughs> what's a banana? A banana. A banana. It's a fruit. It's a vegetable. A vegetable. <laughs> are you talking about a banana? <laughs> yeah. How do you say that? A banana. Oh. Banana. <laughs> 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 well, Bigfoot, you're all turned on from these girls, aren't you? Huh? I said you're all turned on from these girls, aren't you? Do what? I oh, said geez. you're all turned on from these girls. Oh, you better believe it. Yes. He's the Michael Jordan. Take, him, take him home with me, and then I'll be turned on for the next week and a half. Well, girls, you're going to all be in a movie with Tabitha Stevens. Bigfoot, you're going to hey, go we home. Got a we can load him right in. You're damn right. And uh, Tabitha Stevens will check you out at uh, TabithaStevens.com. And by the way, if you want to see Zoe, you could see her at TheSlip.com. What is that? Well, actually, that's a band that I'm helping to promote right now. They're okay. on tour uh, promoting their new album. Album, Eisenhower, and if you go to my MySpace page, MySpace slash Zoe Wilder, I'm having a little contest, and if you go and you can prove you went with like a ticket stub, I'll send you a naked picture. Oh, isn't that nice? And Isabella, you got anything you're plugging, or you're just a regular girl who just want to dream? Yeah, I just want to dream. <laughs> yeah, she's going to be with you. I've got a plugger. Yeah. You're going to have a great time, and let me know how the movie turns out. Oh, when will you be shooting, Tabitha? When will you get We're in touch with February. In February. Well, girls, yeah. be safe. You know, listen, this stuff is very high risk. That's all I can tell you. But uh, go have a good time if that's uh, what you're into. And, and dreams do come true on the Howard Stern Show, Thanks, don't they? Howard. Yes, they can do. Can I say both girls were great, but what Isabella was doing when she was getting fingered, that shivering, wow. was the sexiest thing I've ever seen. Oh, I love you already. Thank you. Yeah, you're, you're three sexy women. That's wow. Sure. That was like, like how the broads know exactly where to touch it. I mean, that was within seconds. No, no. I never know where to touch most, most, girls, most girls just move my hand away. Yeah, I mean, she was like the like when Fonzie hit the jukebox, you know, <laughs> it went right on it. You're the Fonzie of fingering. That's Tabitha true. knows how to turn on a woman. I yeah. have no question about it. I bet it. she knows how to turn on a guy, too. Yeah, I like this. Very good. Yeah. I'm like coming over here and fingering me, honey. Uh, you know, Artie, yeah. I'll go over. You pull it out, and I'll, uh -oh. I'll jerk you off. I got 10 inches of it. You say I am boring? Watch me. I didn't say, say you were like boring. You, you said boring. you were fine. Just said you were different. I was happy to see you seem happy, and I'm happy I about am. that. Good. Okay. Okay. Tabitha, we're happy for you. You're always thank a great you. guest, and thank I you. wish you luck with the porno. And Bigfoot, thank you so much for participating. Yeah, no problem. What yeah. a great actor. And what a great actor you are. Unbelievable. Right, we're going to take a break. we got a lot of I'm going to play a couple of tapes now. Thank you. You. That's a lucky find for you. I would love to see something like really? that. Yeah, it was cool to see in the movie. I have received so many emails. Everybody loves the Gilbert laugh, you know, when, when Fred plays that laugh. They love it. It was great yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> it works in the news especially. I have to compliment Fred. It was very, very good. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Can you guess? A Bigfoot was down here yesterday recording some stuff for us, and um, can you guess what song he's singing here? I got it in one second. All right. I'm telling you, I got it real quick, and Gary was shocked, and I think you will too. And I'm broken hearted. Broken hearted. You know what song that is? Hmm. See, I got oh. it. Go ahead. Uh, this bon is the song for the broken hearted. Broken hearted, yeah, yeah, Bon Jovi. Okay, the Bon Jovi song. So broken hearted. Broken <laughs> hearted. He's amazing. How could anybody not like him? guys just do shit with him all day they tried an experiment uh, you tell me how it worked out uh, they did a jack and rod show and uh -huh. they put they well, what we do is we get an expert on the phone in some field and then they said to him just bigfoot when we get him on debate him and the debate is just ridiculous they didn't coach him in any way they didn't give him any line yeah they just experiment <laughs> there's a big petri dish back there they stick bigfoot in it and just do experiments <laughs> sounds on good there's something gross and we're back with the Jack and Rod Show. I'm Jack Mayhoffer with my partner, Rod Stivington. And today is Powerful Political Monday. Yeah. And we have a special guest, Alex Stewart, author of Moral Health, Why Lobbyists Are Running Congress and What We Can Do About It. Hey, you want to tell us a little bit about your book? I'm sure glad you brought this up. you got to have a little background on this because... This is a little complicated. Actually, we have a special guest in the studio today that I'd like to introduce now. That's right. He's, he's Professor of Political Sciences, Brutus Kennedy Rutherford III. Hey, this is me, Brutus. Let's be very specific about this. Congress knows that how the old system worked, and they don't want to go back to it. Hey, what what you want to do about the system it is? Well, we have to pass H.R. 235, which would restore the old system. Well, well, I have a cure of how to cure the deficit. It is, if anybody take the time to listen to me, it is, because the people used to run moonshine unlegally, it is. And you can run the other stuff, it is, the same way it used to run the moonshine, it is. Right or wrong? I didn't quite. They understand exactly what your point was. Would you mind bringing it, bringing it by, Glenn? So messed up in the fucking head, that he don't know their What's fucking that? ass from their fucking nose. What, what are you talking about? Lobby this, or whatever you talking about. It is like Sanders it is not knowing which way to go about the fucking, or anything like that. <laughs> you lost me. <laughs> Excuse me. <sighs> Is the moderator still around? The talk to your host there? I am right here. You talking to him? Oh, well, I'm t that's that's one point. Now there's there's several other points. <laughs> that's one point. That, that uh, I think are points apparently. about what? Well, I was trying to explain it. Are you going to explain it to me all day? And you'll be all day explaining it to me. I'm trying Apparently. to explain something to you, and you, you, you just, we just don't seem to fucking get nowhere. <laughs> but we're not, we're not making much progress here, are we? The problem with Congress is he don't even know nothing about their own fucking uh, Sanders there at this. <laughs> well, I'm really not tracking you. Um, you would only listen five minutes, and you would have the problem cured. Yeah, this is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Talk saying. about the Democrats. How much longer are we supposed to be on the air? <laughs> Legalize marijuana. <laughs> We're not communicating effectively, <laughs> and so I'm going to sign off. I'm All right, good up. idea. Bye -bye. Wow. Bye -bye. Yeah. There he is in oh, the debate. Oh, that's hysterical. Well, that guy stuck with him, didn't yeah. he? He sure tried. People are rabid for air. Let's go over to Boy, Bigfoot. Those, Boy. Are, those are getting out of hand. Yes.
The Broncos. You think? She was yelling. The Broncos are giving two and a half to the charge. All right. Uh, let's go to Bigfoot. How are you, Bigfoot? I'm fine. It is. I get up for this and listen to him carry on like a stupid blooming idiot. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> I know. Well, That's exactly mean, why you get up. Get, get fucking real people. <laughs> <laughs> I wake up at six o'clock to listen to that. What? I know. <laughs> Uh, by the way, you did a great job on the show. Uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before. The day before. You, you, you did, yeah, you did a great job in those sketches where you acted and there was a lot of fun and you, and he even got your penis squeezed by one of those nice looking girls. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Bigfoot, Too bad I couldn't even got more from them. Bigfoot, some people here thought you had a little body odor the other day. Is that something you encounter a lot? People think you stink or? I took a shower that that night before I went to the studio. Yeah. yeah I know when you pulled your pants down and you started manipulating your genitals that uh, there was some odor, <laughs> some people said. Oh, it was? Yeah. I didn't know that. Did you right. wash your cock? Of course I did. Maybe you wash a little more carefully. Did you, did you powder the pen? Powder the pen? Yeah, right. There's no pen. <laughs> Anyways, I'm picking the Titans and taking their 13 and a half points. I love it. All right, the Titans taking 13 and a half the, points. The Eagles, wow. the Eagles are giving the Titans 13 and a half, and I don't know. I'm going to tell you, Bigfoot, you, uh, Elliot, and Artie really need a win, I mean, to get back in this Yeah, thing. yeah, I know. Am I still in second place? You're yes, in you second are. place. Your record is 3-5-2. and two. You're, you're firmly in second place, but uh, you need to win this week. You really do. Right. All right. Alice is going to run away with it. There's two. Yeah. Th there's two things you need, Bigfoot, desperately: is a win this week and some front teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. All right. Work Thank you, that. Bigfoot. And we're going to go over to. So what's the line on Dallas and the Giants? Cowboys are giving four to the Giants, and the Giants are home. All right. Let's go to Bigfoot. Bigfoot, how are you, sir? You there? Yeah, Bigfoot. You're in third place behind Elliot Offen. I'm in third place Yeah, now? you slipped. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're in third place. Oh, can you have time enough to listen to a song I recorded? Sure. Oh, All right. Just a little bit because we're in a rush. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> I buy the big white Cadillac. Oh, this is horrible. All right, Bigfoot, what's your pick? You thought it was going to be good? I don't know what I thought. And now we won't be able to get it back on the air. He's the retarded James Taylor. Oh, it's so bad. Let me go to Elliot and we'll come back to him. Let me uh, talk to Elliot and get his pick. <laughs> Let me get back to Bigfoot so he can um, do his pick. pick. Is he finished singing? Yeah, you done singing, Bigfoot? Yeah. Uh, right. Hey, what you think of that song? Oh, it was great. It was great. What's the uh, What's your pick? The New England Patriots. New England Patriots. All right. Now, Ellie. Giving them half, 14 and a half points. Wow. Is it 14 and a half, Artie? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what he said. All right. Yeah, Elliot took the Patriots last time, and he won. Actually, yeah. actually, it's they're giving hey, 145. If I win this week, it is, would that bring me back in second place? If you win, let me see. You're four, six, and two, so that would make you. What would that five, make? Five, six, and two. If he won. Five, six, and two. And Elliot's five and eight or something. Uh, he's five and seven. Five and it seven. It depends on who wins and who loses. It's a whole thing. Oh, all right. I just say, if I did win this week, it is, would that bring me back in second place? We don't know what the other people have done. Oh, all right, all right, all right. See, it depends if they win or lose. Oh, yeah. All right. I see what the confusion is. Oh, all right. Very good. If we make it clear to you, then everybody should understand. Yeah, all right. I, I, I didn't know what you I just... Are you crying? I'm not crying, no. All right, all right Bigfoot. Good luck. All right, I'll see you next week. It is on the same phone here. That's right. And uh, wait You can use a different phone. One minute. <laughs> All right. What? what? He's staying at Richard's All Seasons Lodge in Newport, Vermont. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's this? This is Laura. Hi. I uh, run the pub. Yeah, we're on the air, so. Yeah, yeah, I'm just telling you that's where he'll be. Okay, thanks. All righty. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> what the hell's going on? I have no idea. This is... 
I, did we just call a mental institution and just talk to the inmates? All right, let him come in because uh, Jeff the Drunk feels slighted that he hasn't been on the show in so long. Big issues with Bigfoot. That's a big yeah. thing with him. He now. thinks he's been replaced by Bigfoot. Yeah. It's funny how, like, he'll focus on Bigfoot, but not on Beetlejuice or somebody else. He considers Bigfoot to be the most like him, I think. Oh, here comes the big pain in the ass himself. Couldn't wait to get in here, and then they can't get him in. What happened to your job? How come you're not working today? Yeah, would you take off just to come up here? Oh, oh God, he's going to make a mess of the studio. Oh, he's so oh, wasted. He almost broke your glass, Robin. <laughs> oh, jeez. His beers just almost broke the glass Robin sits behind. How you doing, Jeff? What's up, Howard? Hey, man. How you doing? Sorry, Gary. Just calm down. I will. Calm down, bitch. Gary tells you to calm down. You got to calm down. I am. <laughs> Well, look at his hair. You got a haircut. You look groomed. Thank you. Because he has to go to work. I do. Yeah, yeah you got to look presentable when you have a job. Exactly, Robin. <laughs> Not that it's good that your mom died, but by your mom dying and you having to take care of yourself, now I see you're groomed, you're shaved. You look clean. You look clean. Thank you. You actually look better. Oh, boy. It's weird. And then would you cut your hair off? Like, I, I did, too. Let me see. Take your hat off. Oh, boy. What's up? I can't yeah. hear nothing. Look at this. Wow. Man, yeah. Better. Better. Oh, boy. <laughs> you look like a well-groomed 65-year-old man. Boy, I got to tell you, Bigfoot's way funnier. Yeah, oh, so oh, far. Oh, right away you got to start, right? <laughs> There's no fucking way. The big Try this. I big. cut my hair, I did. <laughs> no, why you fucking say that fucking bullshit? I got a job in this. Think about it. <laughs> Think about it. I'm drinking it. I contributed more to this show than fucking that fuck face. Wait a minute. Where are your stories? The man's been in prison. He's had sex with What do you mean where are my stories? Where are your stories? I drove to the fucking cornfield. <laughs> you know my fucking story. You know that I like the happy smoke. <laughs> and yeah, I always love to get high. Can you say at the end of every sentence it is? No, I Please. fucking can't. Come on, man. It is. So I can't, it, it is. <laughs> Sorry. It's not shit, it's a blister, it is. <laughs> yeah, let's go back and just recreate all your stories with it is at the end. <laughs> What's you missed no, me You No, I gotta here. come down here. I feel like a fucking jerk. Bigfoot's on Artie, the phone. Thank you I don't give a fuck. Bigfoot's on the phone. You're making phone. me look bad, Jeff. Because yeah. I was the one who fought for you to come down. Oh, yeah, I'm so bad. Right, right. Bigfoot, you're on the air. <laughs> What's up, it is? Come on. What's up with you? What's up with you, it is? What's up? Jeff thinks you... Come on, I'm a lot better uh, whack back than you are. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a lot better. Oh. It is. Why? Fuck you, dude. <laughs> what an argument. <laughs> you fucking... You the know this girl at work? <laughs> this girl at work comes in and says... What? <laughs> she says... Who? Go back to the Taco Bell This old lady at work, yeah. a customer, she comes in and says, I told her I'm going to be on out soon next week because she listens to the show. <laughs> And I'm like, <laughs> you know, I'm going to be on Howard Stern next week. You're going to get me fired, Jeff, for some You know, you just second. said you know I'm going to be on Howard Stern next week to the old lady twice. What's the rest of the story? <laughs> she said. She said, you're weird. <laughs> no, she said. Could you stop telling me? That? I don't know who's funnier, Bigfoot or you. Oh. But I know who's better looking. Bigfoot. So shut the fuck up. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm, I'm way better looking than that. Hey, What's Jeff, it? from That's now on, fuck? when you have yeah. a story from now on, could you call Bigfoot and tell him the story so he could call in with it? Mm. Yeah. You could be his writer. Fine. Nice. So. Okay. All right, uh, Bigfoot, what do you like? Um, uh, what? What team do you like? I'll tell you in a minute. Atlanta. Atlanta. All right, your buddy's helping you over there. Who's on the line? Oh, yeah. All right, Atlanta. The Falcons are giving three and a half in uh, in Bubba Town, Tampa. All right, and uh, all right, New England. Uh, let's go to Bigfoot. Bigfoot, what do you like this week? Yeah. $25,000. You're in second place. You had a win last week. You could use yeah. a win this week, too. 
Elliot Offen was in second, but he took a loss, so now he's in third place. But you had a win. You're five seven yeah. and two. You need another win because, as you know, the pool is about how many wins you have. Go ahead. Yeah, all right. I want to say Merry Christmas to you and Happy Happy Hanukkah, is with Mister Stern. And um, my pick is is what. The Chicago Bears. Oh, okay. Wow. Chicago Bears. Bears. Oh, the Bears are, yeah, and the Bears are giving thirteen and a half to the Bucks, and that's right. uh, that's a lot of points to cover, but they're good. All right, well, that's his pick. Yep. That's Bigfoot's pick. Can't wait to see who wins. You this. You really can't comment hey, on picks, Artie. I, not at all. You're Artie is dead last. <laughs> Elliot, Bigfoot, and Crazy Alice all beat Artie. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Hey, hey. Yes. yes. You want to know something? What happened up here too? Okay. Remember that 81 mile hour speeding ticket I had? 81 mile an hour speeding ticket, okay. Right. He <laughs> dropped it entirely. He did like it never even happened. Oh, lucky you. Because of your fame? Uh, partially, yes. And what was the other part? The, 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 the I ate him. <laughs> Uh, no, I didn't hit him. It is. He just said Merry Christmas to me. It is. said me not to do it again. Well, well, that was nice. That's very nice. And that was a, a state off. I mean, a state cop. Very nice, Bigfoot. I feel so safe. <laughs> All right, thank you, Bigfoot.